Hello mortals, I'm Jensen, welcome back to Minecraft! We are not going to screw around too much, we are going to fire straight into the game. Now, I do have a little something to disclose. I installed another mod, and it's going to change the entire game. The entire game is going to be different, right? This mod is called Borderless Full Screen. Oh, that is gorgeous, isn't it? No matter which way you look, it's pretty. I like this so much. All right, let's put on some music in the background there. I've decided that we're going to be using next week's You Bop You Lose, which is Cold Rain. Let's see. It's a bottle of full screen. It means I can alt tab without anything crashing. Laggy? Absolutely, it's not. The game just had to load. You just, you literally only needed five seconds of patience. I think the brain rot might be getting to you, my dude. Okay, so now that we have this, we do have a goal for this stream right here. We have to get to the nether. And the reason for that is we need heaps and heaps of uh, redstone quartz so that we can actually start making some contraptions. Music's a little loud. All right, I'll turn it down a little bit. See, it's already changed the game. I don't have to minimize it. Hey there, Scott's World. So you're checking off everything you've done so far on the list today? Yeah, we'll do that in a couple of hours. Um, I kind of want to rush the nether right now because we need lots and lots of nether quartz so we can get a food farm essentially set up right this second. So we'll get rid of... Why is that inventory full of such crap? Okay, let's make ourselves another chest, and we'll we'll put down something that's not so crap. There's our crafting bench. Uh, yeah, we don't have enough logs. We'll just get these turned into planks. Then we've got two chests made up, I think. Now, I'm a little rusty at this game, and I don't know why, but I'm also a little bit shaky today as well. Kind of strange. I had a really, really tough day at the gym uh, yesterday, so I'm, I'm kind of feeling the effects of it today. Hey, when's the Undertale thing? That'll be months away. I'm literally not even close to getting finished with just the script alone. Yeah, okay, so we want to go and set up a base over on that mesa right there, I think, because right on the outskirts of our view distance, we should be able to see this, this, this village right here. And we also want to rush as fast as we possibly can to the nether so we can start getting ourselves some automatic food. I'm just gonna dump everything I don't want in here, probably don't need raw iron or anything like that. Actually, we probably should be cooking the raw iron. We've got 10 ink. Probably putting that in the valuables chest, honestly. Okay. We'll, we'll not screw around too much. Flower pot, yuck, jungle button, yuck. Uh, we'll keep the arrows on us. No, we won't. We don't have a crossbow. What else we got? We got a shield. That's nice. Got some bamboo. Don't really care too much about that. All of these building materials and this one torch can also go in there. Done. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to jam this here iron into the furnace. And that should cook out and output into the food chest right here. Gonna move all of these blocks here too. Charcoal should not be in there. We'll just dump it all in here, I think. Stone blocks, yes. We'll keep those acacia logs because it's really, really handy to have wood with us. Question mark? I, I already answered the question. The uh, If you're talking about the Undertale game theory that I'm working on, the script is maybe like 15% finished now. I've only given down a psychological rundown on four of the characters Gaster is enormous. It's going to be about 20 minutes on uh, in speech. Yeah, man, the great Papyrus is struck once again. Hello there, Papyrus. Do you want 100 users active on your chat? Uh, maybe. Maybe. I'm not going to pay for it, though, if that's what you're asking. Most certainly not. Okay, so how do we want to do this? There was a nether portal somewhere around here already that we could probably just use. And we also have a giant pit of lava pretty close by, too, that we could probably filch resources from. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to climb up here. We'll see where this nether portal is. We're going to go in and we're going to see if we can't get ourselves some nether quartz and then maybe dip straight away. Where was it? I think it was off in that direction, wasn't it? It was close. It was really close to this village. Or maybe I'm thinking of the other village. No, I definitely don't see it. We can most certainly make one though. We can definitely make one. Do we want to make one? Maybe. If we do make one, I'll probably just go ahead and jam it in that gigantic chasm right there. Okay, so for anybody who missed the last session, essentially what we did is we set up some of the foundations of the villager agriculture that we kind of needed to get out of the way in the first place, right? And then we terraformed a lot of this village as well to kind of make it look a little bit better. Uh, this right here, this is what we made. We made a big old vineyard for crops, and I'm not entirely sure what they're going to be growing. It looks like wheat and beets. I was hoping for carrots, but... That's pretty much what we've got going. We've still got two fields at the other end here that are completely unplowed. And I tried to kind of like barricade this area off so that nobody wanders out here and then falls into this giant chasm of death because it is a giant chasm of death. And essentially, that was it. I'll explain the details later. 
Well, let's make a deal. All you have to do is shake my hand. Oh, no, I'm done making deals, honestly. I've made enough deals. I lost my soul to a deal once. Whew. Sounds like a struggle. It is a bit of a struggle, isn't it? Sorry for missing out a lot. Just had tons of drama and stuff. It's absolutely fine, Pepper is. Uh, these videos aren't going anywhere. They're always going to be there for your viewing pleasure. Don't do it. No, I, I won't do it. I won't, I won't make that deal. Oh, my God. This game is still beautiful. Uh, what was the hide everything key? Nope. Right here, right? Boop. Ah, I missed it. I missed the, the end of the day glow. So we're going to go ahead and do a sleep. And then I think we'll just kind of make a nether portal somewhere around here. Thanks. Awesome. No worries. Uh, what is the, what's the response? Uh, bitte. Bitte in German. Danke. Bitte. Right. Let's get some of the obsidian. I think we already had some over here. Yes, very nice. I tried to make a cobblestone generator, but it seems like it's different than on bedrock. Regardless, let's get some of this obsidian with our iron pickaxe. No, we need diamond, don't we? Do we have diamonds? I don't think we have diamonds just yet. Oops. Accidentally put that down there. We've got emeralds. We've got one diamond. So realistically, we should just be going down into the mines, shouldn't we? I thought we also had obsidian somewhere. Oh, we do have two obsidian. Okay. Let's go to the other village, because I know that there was a portal over there that was almost fully deconstructed. Minus one block. I'm also playing Minecraft, just testing my texture pack, and then get my shaders and game with you. Uh, we're using BSL, and we are also using complementary shaders. We're going to be swi switching and swapping between those two shader packs, because they are both gorgeous in different ways, and I really kind of like... I, I really... I want a balance. I want a balanced approach. BSL is really, really good kind of like cinematic experience, but you really can't get past the just consistently nice feel of the complementary shaders, which I know is kind of like a better optimized version of BSL, but at the same time, who cares? Who cares, really? I'm pretty sure the other village was this way, wasn't it? There could have also been a portal in the forest over there. I don't rightly remember, but I am going to flank around here towards what I think is the other village, and we'll try and make another, another portal there, because we're basically done with it. Minecraft day! Yes, it is, DJ. We are going to go ahead, and we are going to annihilate this game. Essentially, our first point of call is going to be, where the hell is a nether portal? Even a deconstructed one would be absolutely... I'm certain there was one around here, though. Did anyone else remember seeing one around here? Hey, pal, draw a triangle, or make a triangle in Minecraft. All right! I like my texture pack, but I need my dank shaders because without it, it's lame. Oops. And I need to get a texture pack, a friend. So I actually, I, this shader pack has kind of like made the vanilla textures grow on me a little bit because initially I did not like the vanilla Minecraft textures. I was more of a, oh, what is it called? Uh, pure BD craft guy. I saw the Yogscast use that once and then I fell in love with it. That's cool. We're right next to uh, Mount, oh, what was this called? It was the... It was the one from Lion King. Mount Doom? No, that's, uh, that's Sauron's place. Let's get some high ground. Maybe we'll be able to see better from up top. I do remember there being kind of like a deconstructed nether portal around here. I just don't know where it was. I'm certain it was in this jungle. A little bit. A little bit hidden. Hard to say. Okay, that's death. We won't go down there. Ah! It's called Mount Ebert. Is it? That's an Undertale thing. I definitely wouldn't have named it that. That would have been silly. Okay, what else we got? There is... There's some cocoa down there. We got lots of bamboo. Okay, I can virtually guarantee I haven't been in this area. Okay, we probably should eat as well. We should probably... Should probably get some meat on the boil, right? Unless we got some. No, we don't. We just got 10 bricks of iron, which we stupidly did not put into our valuables chest. Maybe we should just make a portal. We don't have enough diamonds, though. Which means we have to go underground, into the floodlands. The floodlands are actually a bit of a pain in the ass to navigate, though, on account of the flooding. Giant bamboo forest over there, that's nice. Good source of scaffolding, that will be. What else we got? Not a huge amount. Not a huge amount of good stuff around here. I also think I saw a panda for the first time ever in the last session, too. Pretty good. Lag a lot, I go. Is anyone else actually lagging? I highly doubt that it's my machine. My machine's running this perfectly in front of my eyes. Bye-bye. Wants me dead, wants me to rot. Okay, that's uh, needlessly depressing. Okay, I'll come in here. We'll run around. No, I'm not lagging. Yeah, I thought so. I thought we were fine. Where the hell?
hell was it? I know there was one around here. Maybe it was around the temples? No, it was nowhere near the temples. Maybe it was underground. Okay, we'll make a boat and then we'll go back to the other village. I think that's just going to be the easiest way to do it. Should probably go ahead and deposit our things before we go. Uh, and by things, I mean iron. We'll keep this obsidian on us because we're going to need it. And then I think we'll turn a bunch of those hay bales into a stack of bread. Because we're definitely going to need the food if we're going into the nether. Toriel saves me and takes me to her home. Oh, I see what you're doing. You're doing that thing where you demand I sing a song I've never heard before again. Ah, very cash money. Okay, we'll uh, mow the lawn a little bit. Got a couple of these iron golems here. Have they got different textures on their back? They actually do. This one's rusty. This one's new. Weird. wonder why that is. Strange. Okay, we'll go back home. We'll get some food and then we'll actually prepare ourselves for the journey. Because we probably need to prepare ourselves. Uh, let's get a whole stack of this crap. We'll go up to our handy dandy crafting bench. And now we'll kind of like halve that. Put that there. Uh, uh, 20? 21. 21 breads. Wait, is this not how we make bread? How do we make bread? Oh, maybe it wasn't the hay bales. Maybe we needed to take this and then de-stack it, right? Ah, uh, yeah, there we go. Okay. So now we put these in a line of three, don't we? And that's a stack of bread, baby. I'm actually going to transfer all of these into stacks of bread. Because we're not actually running much lower on anything else. It really doesn't harm us to do so. Put all of these up here. This is three stacks of bread, by the way, from a single stack of the hay bales. That's pretty crazy if you think about it. Okay, I'll put all that in there and we'll go to our valuables chest, dump our iron. And we should be good to go now. We also have an egg, which is awesome. I don't know what we're going to do with that, but we'll figure out a, a thing. So I got this uh, chicken cooker, basically half made, minus a bucket of lava, and also the redstone clock out the back here is not functional either. Why do people insist on doing that? Oh, why, why do people insist on uh, g getting me to sing songs I've never heard before? I think it's like an autism thing. People don't really understand that other people can't read their minds. I miss using my laptop. Oh, that's a, that's a shame. I ain't lagging? Good. Maybe a little bit, but it's nothing. It's just my Minecraft because it's open and the bugs are lagging a very small bit. Okay. I miss seeing the stars. You'll see the stars eventually. Unless you're singing that song. In which case, that's annoying. Okay, we've got a bucket of lava in there. Let's get a boat. And then we'll go to the other village. Like, right now. We should have one here somewhere. Where is our boat? Maybe it broke. Oh, well. We can always make another one, right? What do we need? I think it was just logs, right? And kind of like a, a little cup. Yep, there we go. An acacia boat. Nice. That's bougie. That's very bougie. Okay, so now that we've done that, we probably want to go ahead and... We also probably want to stick some markers down, don't we? So that we can actually go straight to the village. I'm going to run over here. We're going to dump this right in the water. I know we're going at about midday or so. Or maybe not, hard to say. But I think we'll make it to the other village by the time it's sundown. I'm missing the surface. Oh, you poor babies. You poor babies. I'm still really surprised at how many people roleplay Undertale here on YouTube. Okay, I'm crouched. That's why I'm not going up. We'll go over here to this mountain with the peak that I've forgotten the name of already. We probably also want to put some kind of marker down on the mountain so we don't forget that. But I do remember we have to kind of like go around this thing, right? Yeah, there's no other mountain off in the distance. I'm certain it was just this way. We'll go this way past this pumpkin patch here that we didn't fully harvest. Uh, we also kind of want to get some pistons. We want to get some redstone together. And we want to make an automatic melon farm. Because that is also going to be a huge cash cow for us. And by automatic, I mean maybe not necessarily automatic. Like over and over again ticking. But, you know, a lever. We hit one lever and then all of the pistons kind of just bump a, a melon off. Into maybe a river. Which would then lead into a hopper. Which leads into a chest. That'd be smart. We could, like, frame it up like an aqueduct as well. That'd look really cool. Bro, I had a one-hour roleplay on a live stream on YouTube, so uh, now it's better? Okay, good. Uh, it should actually be significantly worse because we are now loading the rest of the game. <laughs> so if anything, the quality should be dipping, not improving. Okay, so we'll drop this right here. Nope, that is a torch. We'll put... Please, can I put this in the... Water? No? Okay, there we go. Uh, across here should be the kind of spit that juts out into 
the ocean. And that should kind of mark the other village that we found. What the hell is going on over there? Hard to say. I don't really care, actually. I don't care what's going on over there anymore. Good time zone, people. Hey, the Easter lamb. How are we? I was really sorry to hear about your experience with your ex. Um, I'm, I'm not going to talk about it too much in the stream, obviously, for privacy reasons. But it, it really does suck when somebody you used to have a relationship turns out to be somebody you don't actually ever want to have known. I literally invited the whole chat. You can make a completely automatic melon farm. How do we do that? Do we do that with, um, what are they? The, uh, they detect the sun. Is that, is that a thing? That's a thing, right? There's a, there's a little item that detects whether or not the sun's up and then it activates things. And we could probably inverse that and then have all the uh, pistons, you know, just like pull back in the, in the daylight and then at nighttime they just push forward. Is that what you're talking about for an automatic farm? Because that would be nice. It would be nice not to have to hit a lever. But if it's just like a repeating redstone clock, that'll just be really annoying to listen to. And it would probably demotivate me from actually wanting to build it in the first place. All right, we're back here. We probably want to go into base number one. And I know that the Neville portal is over there, so we'll regroup in the morning, I'd say. There you go, everybody. There's the stars. Excellent. Oh, I didn't have to do that. I didn't have to close the doors on account of the, the pressure plates. Observers is the way to go. That's the one. The observers, right? Or are they the ones that kind of like detect when a block changes? Because again, all of my experience comes from the bedrock version. Okay, we'll go this way now. What a gorgeous shader pack this is. Is this not awesome? Uh, screenshot. Ha. Ha. Says the villager. Ha. Ha. I found out how the uh, the voice actors made that noise, by the way. They had, like, a, an empty toilet roll tube, and they just made funny honks through it. <laughs> That's how the, the villagers were voice acted. Weird, isn't it? Yep, weird little penis-shaped thing jutting out into the, into the ocean. Most people would call that a dick, but I don't. All right, let's put that there, and now we need flint and steel, don't we? I don't know if we have flint and steel. We probably have some back at home base, but maybe not. Hmm. Oh, I almost just fell into the chasm. If I wasn't looking, I would have fallen into this chasm right here. Whew. Thank you. Yeah, it's rough, which is why it's good I have this to fall asleep to. I'm, I'm glad I bring you a little bit of joy, even if it's just a little bit to fall asleep to. I'm glad that I can add something positive to your life. When it comes to redstone, I'd always recommend tutorials to learn, to be honest. Yeah, but that's, that defeats the purpose of the game, which is literally Lego that you figure out by yourself, right? I never actually made a desert build yet, sad, didn't have a place to build something like it, sadly. You gotta terraform in the deserts. Uh, if you set your kind of like biome blend to like nine by nine blocks, you'll get massive biomes. I think that's, wait, what the hell is this? Oh, I didn't realize we were still cooking charcoal. Wait a minute. We haven't been here in ages. We didn't put these in here, did we? Is this somebody else's charcoal? Maybe, I'd say. Uh, we should have something in here, right? Like a flint and steel? I'm certain we've got a flint and steel somewhere. Maybe in here, in the valuables? No, maybe we took it with us. That would have been stupid. Okay, we need one little brick of iron. Maybe we don't have a one little brick of iron either, which would kind of suck. Means we have to go back to the other village again just to get a single little knob, a single knob of iron. Yeah, I don't see any iron in here, unfortunately. I do have fire protection on these leggings. Whoops, hit the wrong scene. I need to, like, get a soldering iron and put a little notch in the W on my keyboard because I keep getting turned around every time I put my fingers on it. What about in here? Oh! That's useful! I'll be taking that. Uh, we also have one diamond. Actually, we probably shouldn't be taking any of this out unless we're going back to the village anyway. So we need to go and get a flint and steel, don't we? Which I'm pretty sure we have to go right back to the other village to get because we have one there. Congrats on the thousand subs. Thanks, man. I don't think anything's changing. Like, I've had a, a bunch of people come up to me and say, oh, nice, thousand subs. You're going to grow way faster now. And I, I don't really understand the logic, but if it's kind of like an establishment thing, then that's absolutely fine. I don't mind too much. Ah, my texture pack would fit desert, not going to lie. Is it pure BD craft? Because that is a gorgeous texture pack. I love it so much. It gives more details to blocks and doors and everything. I think every single texture pack does that. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna take the boat all the way back to the other place. We could actually mine out a canal where we can just boat straight through. 
And then we won't have to worry necessarily about crossing this little area here on foot. Ignoring, you know, the fact that we've got a boat. Because I see that, that mountain right there. And once we reach that mountain, we can see the other village. But we probably do want some kind of canal that just goes through this area. Unless there is actually a canal that just goes all the way through here. I'll go all the way this way. See what happens. Oh, I think I just found the other nether portal too. We can probably try to activate this one. This is the one I was talking about earlier. Ah. I consider redstone a very different portion of the game. More like any other automation. I like the redstone though. It's, it satisfies the electrical engineer inside of me. And there is an electrical engineer inside of me. It's like... It's kind of like art, but at the same time, it's, um, it's purely functional and mathematic. I don't know why. It, it, it feels balanced. I, it, it caters to all of my skills. Okay, this is just collapsed. This is actually kind of cool. I do like how this is set out. What is this one? Is there anything dif different here with this glowing obsidian? Is that different? I'm using Faithless and Patrix. Then I'm going to add the shaders. I've never heard of that uh, texture pack. Is it like super hyper realistic? Because that'd be kind of cool. Oh, maybe we can actually just kind of boat around. If we can boat straight to the other village, I will be in a very good mood. But I don't seem to remember we could on account of the gigantic chasm in between here and there. Oh, there's a thing over there too. Weird. We're still discovering things. But let's just follow this river, see what happens. Worst case scenario, we don't end up at the other village and we have to go there on foot, which we have to do anyway. There's a giant keystone over there. That's kind of cool. There's another temple way off in the distance. If I can stop moving, I can show you. Nope, it's behind two cacti. Oh! I think we're here. I think we're actually at the other village, more or less. Unless this is just another doomed chasm. Because of doom. Okay, good. Let's go ahead and just walk on foot, I suppose, like an idiot. Ah, you can check it out. It looks great. You get money at 1k subs. You also get money at 500 subs as well. It's just at 1k subs, you can... Claim it. I don't have enough money to meet the threshold, though. I have to actually get 130 New Zealand dollars before YouTube will even consider paying me out. Uh, which is actually pretty nice. And they'll, like, hold it for you as well. So I can kind of, like, also gauge when the Forex is going to be ideal for me to exchange it. That'd be kind of cool. But a lot of people just say, yeah, you earn money at 1,000 subs. It, it doesn't work like that whatsoever. It's com it's, it just does not work like that. It's completely different. Need to eat some bread. Uh, you basically just become eligible to claim the money that you're already earning. Uh, technically, you can earn money from 500 subs now. So, in my eyes, nothing's really changed. Okay, I'm going to throw the boat down in here. Or not, please. Yep, there we go. And now we're going to sail all the way over here to there. Probably do want to have some kind of aqueduct system just going through that chasm, because that would be handy. It has mud and everything. That's awesome. That is really, really cool. You can get on the YouTube partnership program with 1,000 subs. Uh, yeah, they changed that last March. It is now 500 subs. I've already set up all the AdSense stuff and everything, so... Uh, it's literally going to be business as usual. Like, nothing changes. The only thing that does change is that I can now claim money when I reach a certain threshold, which I never reached. Just to call my number to make it to. It looks prettier, so there's that. Yeah, that is true, actually. There was one guy complaining about being the 999th sub. I feel bad for him because I probably would prefer being that number. It's much more interesting than being the 1000th sub. Which, I know that 1000 sub is a nice even number, but 999 is an inverse 666. And if you're, you know, not new to the channel, you know just how much I love my demonocracies and demonologies and stuff. Right, so let's go ahead and try and find the flint and steel that we almost certainly have here. And if we don't have one, we'll go ahead and make one. Okay, it's probably not going to be in the food chest. We'll probably have to make one. We've got 10 iron ingots right here. Now we just need a piece of gravel, which I'm pretty sure we can just find in a bush somewhere. Actually, around here, it might be harder to find gravel than I think. Where did we put our mine? We had a mine, didn't we? It, it went very deep underground, but I don't quite remember where we stuck it. And there was gravel everywhere. Actually, there's gravel at the other base. I know that right down the chasm that the village is attached to. So we'll just go there anyway. We'll make a flint and steel there, and then we should be absolutely Gucci to go into the nether. Nothing really changes. It's basically just a basic milestone. Yeah, I'd, I'd probably agree with that. Probably more so than, you know, the thousand number is, is it's, it's just a milestone. More so than uh, everything changes now that you've got a thousand. Although, I got a friend, Epiflying Flying Horse. He's got about 60, 70, maybe 80 million subscribers on YouTube, something like that. 
you know, I'm just spitballing. Could be, could be lower than that. Could be higher than that. I don't remember. Uh, but he was saying uh, that when you hit the 1,000 mark, subscribers just keep on subscribing to the channel because you're at that point an established creator, which I mean, it's yet to be seen. It's yet to be seen. I was gaining subs at a pretty alarming rate before, like between five and 15 a day in between the 800 to 1,000 mark. It's pretty cool. So how is the Portal franchise going to work? Is there one dedicating weekdays or are there going to be vote options? I'm just going to get to them randomly on the Mondays and Tuesdays when I pick the days. I also now have compiled a rather large list of retro games myself on my Steam account that I kind of want to get through. Okay, we're in a bit of a bad spot here. Uh, let's get rid of the boat. And we're going to go over this little mound here to find that water. Yeah, if we can kind of like dig out a canal or something that allows us to get some water that just runs through here, we can boat straight to village. Straight from village to village. I think we'll do that. We'll make like a giant aqueduct that we can just sail through eventually. And we'll make it out of like nice sandstone bricks. We'll make it like an actual proper aqueduct, not just some garbage bridge. We'll give it some nice trimmings, maybe machicolations in case we want to go down south side as well. Patrick's shininess and very much details. Faithless adds other models for blocks and some more details. Mud is when it rains in a forest place or a cave. Oh, that's kind of cool. I was wondering what Pack did that because I saw a bunch of YouTubers using that and some other things. What you got on the list? I got the original XCOM. I got the original Fallout. I can't remember the third one. I can't remember the fourth one, which is why I am saying that I can't remember them. And I'm also still counting. Uh, what else was there? There's the, the first Spell Force game, which by its own merit is just a really innovative game. It blend. It had a very, very good way of blending. Are we going the right way? I don't think so. No. Okay, we're not going the right way. It blended real-time strategy, like Age of Empires combat, with... Uh, kind of like the, those old school RPG top-down arcade elements, right? You know the ones. You know the ones I'm talking about. Uh, okay, I'm going to go around here. Because <laughs> I know that monster is going to be sporting at night time. Ah, uh, so pretty here. I love this so much. What the hell is that? What is that? Oh, I found some kelp. Weird. That looks like certain death. Let's make a base there sometime. I think that might be a really good idea. Is that an eclipse? Cool. Haven't seen that before. <sighs> Faithless is also mostly wooden builds and stuff, and the redstone thing, like lights, also remodels the lantern. The lantern looks great, so I use a lot at the snowy biomes. Oh, that's an Enderman. I almost looked at him, too. That was very close. I also built the Skeller Brothers house in a snowy biome. Are you... I wonder if somebody's actually, like, remade the Undertale game in Minecraft. There are skeletons on that shore. I'm going to go around them if I can. There's probably going to be an arrow whizzing past my head. Okay, we are lost. We are completely well and truly lost. We probably want to... There is the village! Nice! Okay, so we weren't, we weren't actually as lost as we thought. There's a skeleton over there. I'm just going to dip out on this side. Right here. Get rid of this boat from the water. Uncrouch. And now we are going to eat and just gap it to the village, I think. Yum, yum, yum. I love bread. Yum, yum, yum. I know it's a hot take and people think bread is evil, but what's actually evil is eating bread without moderation. That's evil. <laughs> That's what people should be vilifying. You know, just not eating a balanced diet. Rather than whether or not bread is just an evil concept in the first place. <sighs> 2012 was retro? Yeah, relatively. It's, it's relatively retro. Relatively. Like, it... Older than 10 years, I would say, kind of does fit the bill, but at the same time, I'm going to be prioritizing the really, really old games, like pre-2000s first. What else I got? Uh, the Sims 1, that's a, that's one we're going to keep coming back to. Uh, okay, that could have gone massively wrong. Wait a minute, this is the... Oh, bugger, we went in a circle. Oh, well. Or did we? No, we didn't. Okay, good. Uh, we are at the other village. Let's go ahead and do a sleep, and then we'll go into the nether. 1995, damn, yes. Uh, there's one from 1994. I think it was the first XCOM, specifically the first XCOM. There's a few of them. There's a lot of them. Sims 1 can be every other week. Seems like a good idea. Oh, I'm probably just going to kind of like announce it in the moment rather than kind of dedicating specific days to it. Just as long as it has that nice CRT TV aesthetic, uh, it, it, it'll qualify for the, for the game. As long as the base resolution is like... I think, is it 600 by 1900? Oh, hello there, Creeper. 
How are we today? Uh, th this was a, a strange time for you to come and ambush me. Uh, would you like a, an axe to the face? Whoops, almost just lost a villager. Excellent. Got him! Let's go and try and one hit this uh, spider as well. So yeah, it should be good. The retro game should be coming along well. We basically just want them to be in that weird ass resolution that got outdated whenever, you know, digital screens came out. FNAF 1 is almost retro. That's actually on the list, the, the first Five Nights at Freddy's. That was 2014, if I remember. Oh my god, that was so close. I wasn't paying attention. What are those blue things? Is that ore? Is that lapis? There's iron down there. Apparently we had some kind of swimming affinity. Oh well. All right, we'll move on. We probably want a bunch of cobblestone, don't we, to create a little bit of a nether base? Because we don't want to screw ourselves too much. Oh, we didn't get the gravel. That's right, we need the gravel. There should be gravel down here, essentially, if we just kind of... Yeah, it's right here. All right, let's see if we can't get some gravel out of this. Sorry, some flint. We need flint, not gravel. There we go, flint. It was the second one we got. Uh, we're stuck in here. Let's go ahead and mine our way out. Nice. We'll get all this crap off our hotbar as well. Egg, that can go. Boat can go there. We're probably going to need it. Kelp, why the hell do we even have that? Stone Axe is about to go down Charlie Brown. Flint steel like this? Yes. Okay, let's open up this portal and we'll see where we end up. We'll see how buggered we are. And if we are totally buggered, we'll go ahead and we'll just, you know, just deal with it. This is cool with the shader pack. Look at that. Nice. Ow. Oh, that was close. Let's take a screenshot of this. New beginning. New, new beginnings. Actually, let's get a nice... Uh, let's use the rule of thirds right here. We'll have this in the center of the picture. We kind of want the sun haze in shot as well. That's nice. Right there. Oops. Done. Hey! Retro is Game Boy Advance and older. Oh, is it? My mistake. I thought I was the one running this channel, Isaac Bluestone. From Dust Hype for next week. That was f such a fun game. Yeah, I'm pretty excited to see it again. I didn't get very far in it when I first played it. Uh, we blasted through Insane Aquarium in three hours, which is pretty crazy. Took me 10 hours to get uh, into the first, like, 10 missions. Oh, this sucks. We've already got a ghast up our bum bum somewhere. Where is it? Where's the ghast? Ghast? I hear it. Extinguish that. There he is. Okay. Probably do need to encase this place in some kind of uh, cobblestone, but for now, we just want to rush and get some quartz, don't we? Some nether quartz. Some uh, food, some mushrooms. Don't even know what the hell that is. Everything is new and I'm afraid. Okay, I think we just had a... Just had someone spit at us. What? Is that a hog? What the hell is this? I just got stunlocked and railed. Amnesia the Dark Descent doesn't have a finished remake in Minecraft. That's unsurprising. I don't know what to build. Any of y'all got ideas? Yes, build a gigantic citadel to honor Sauron. Your portal was destroyed by the gas. That's funny. Yep, and we also just lost our flint and steel, and we're on the wrong side of the portal. So we are going to need to just gather a ass load of cobblestone, and then we'll probably just mine downwards from where we are in the game. Actually, if we go back in here, we do have a couple of picks and some resources. So do we have cobble? We got two cobblestone. Diorite's useless. But we could probably just throw that in some lava. We don't have any sticks in here either. We've got some logs. Got a bunch of acacia logs. We didn't necessarily lose anything terribly important, did we? Okay, we've got 24 planks. Don't really see many resources. We do have this iron pickaxe. We'll use this to get ourselves a heap of cobblestone down south side in our little mine here, because we do have a little mine here. Welcome to the nether. The nether is really rough, at least early game. Yeah, uh, usually my strat is just to encase the portal in cobblestone, because I know ghasts can't blow that up. But we weren't, we didn't really have enough cobblestone, did we? We'll actually just mine out down here, couldn't we? Yeah, let's mine out down here. We'll play it a little bit safer than we usually do. Get all of this out of the way. Nice. We'll get like a couple of stacks, I think, of cobblestone. Now, I have to ask, is the cobblestone generator, the kind of like, you get the water moving into the lava, is that still actually a thing? Because I seem to remember that was a really, really good way of just generating cobblestone without scarring the landscape. Although, I also, at the same time, I do understand that if you scar the landscape, you can 
create uh, mines where you get other additional resources. But at the same time, I don't really want to do that necessarily too much. I'll start building, but I am not very sure because of lagging the stream. You're not going to lag the stream, my dude. Nothing's going to happen. Yes, it works. You can still make a cobblestone generator. Okay. So it's not like two by one with the dirt block in the middle, is it? With the water on the, the two blocks flowing into the dirt block and then you remove the dirt block and that should be cobblestone. Because we tried that and it didn't actually turn it into cobblestone. It turned it into, it turned the lava immediately into obsidian. So is it different on the Java version? Or, that is basically how you do it on bedrock. Is Well, at least when I was first playing this on bedrock. Just look it up. Descriptions is difficult for me. Okay, I'll wing it. I'm not going to be using wikis for this playthrough whatsoever. That That is kind of like half the point of this playthrough. We're not going to be using wikis. Okay, I'll go through here. I want to figure everything out for myself because I am a veteran player. I just haven't been playing this for like six years. Maybe longer. Maybe way longer. Okay, we'll get all of this out. Uh, we should probably light this area up. We don't have torches, but fortunately we were smelting lots and lots of logs topside in our little area over here. So we should have enough. We should have enough. Now we also need a bunch of iron because we're probably going to need a couple of flint and steels to get the nether portal completely in case so that gas doesn't rail us every time we spawn in there. We probably have enough cobble though. We probably do actually have enough cobble. I just don't think we've got any other resources here. Yeah, definitely not. What about in here? Now we've got one diamond. I don't really care about that too much. We've got two cobblestone here. We'll take that out of here. Diorite's absolutely useless to us. We've got a golden sword. The Bane of Arthropods, that's probably useless in the nether. Unbreaking Golden Hoe, that's funny. That's a funny one. It's one of those games that's almost impossible to figure out from just in-game context. Oh, I'm still going to do it. I'm still going to keep on doing it. I liked. That's good to hear. You'll end up seeing more of this type of content then if you actually did like the stream. That is that is how the algorithm works. It doesn't influence... M the like button is not for me. The dislike button is not for me. So if you if people are like going around spitefully disliking the videos just because they don't like me as a person, it's going to gimp them if they like the game because they're not going to be recommended that game or that genre much more, which is quite funny. It's quite funny when people uh, think that they're actually costing me uh, a, a big headache. But it doesn't. It doesn't influence me whatsoever. Uh, it took me a wee while to remember that the charcoal was in the furnaces, unfortunately. Okay, we've got a lot of it. Let's just fill up these furnaces in case we need to smelt something else again. Yep, good. And then we'll make a stack of torches if we can. So I think we need maybe like... Go with nine. Okay, we'll get 36 torches. That should be enough. Done. Whoa, that is plenty of torches. Yep, I like that. I like that a lot. Let's just dedicate this area to torches, I suppose. We'll keep one of these in our hand, actually. Just save us an inventory slot. Put that there, put that there. Uh, this isn't very valuable, so let's just stick it in this chest right here. Good. Done and dusted. Nice. So now we need flint and steel, which means we're going to need a little bit of iron. And to get some iron, we're either going to go back to the other location, or we don't go back to the other location, and we just kind of... Mine out some iron here in our mine. Oh, we'll do that, actually. What's the harm? I made the gauntlet. Check out the Discord after the stream. Okay, I'll do that. I Check out the Discord, uh, whether or not people kind of, like, tell me to or not. Which is pretty funny when people do tell me to. Uh, let's put this in our offhand. Put that there. Nice. And we'll go sit down south side for a bit just to try and find some iron. Maybe not down there. That place sucked. We'll go down this way. Because there is another little hole in the ground that we can kind of use to our advantage right here. Boop. Great. I can use alt gur. I've never heard of alt gur. Is that like an emo thing? <laughs> I like to. Everybody seems to be liking these streams. I found out how to use more things on a Hungarian keyboard. What? That sucks. Or it's good. I don't know. Actually, I don't know much about Hungarian keyboards. Maybe they're good. Maybe they're not. Hard to say. Uh, don't want to put that on that side of the wall right there. We'll keep on mining out through this here strip mine. Someone told me. I can't remember who. Someone told me it's actually more effective to kind of come through here and then mine out blocks every one space and then leave a gap and then mine out more blocks. They called it, I think it was branch mining. And I can't for the life of me figure out why that would be any better than strip mining. And, oh, nice. Finally, we found a little bit of iron. I think this is deep slate. But hell, I'm not going to look a gift horse in the mouth. Nice. Love it. Oh, this is a big pocket. Awesome. It's like men's pants. Sorry, ladies. I, I know ladies' pants have really, really bad pockets, but 
you know, this one's a good pocket. That that was a that was a good pocket. That was like menswear kind of good pocket. We'll mine out a little bit of this so that we can kind of like plug this in. Put that there, I suppose. Excellent. That should do the trick. And one cobble there. Nice. And we'll keep on going. I hear zombies. That's probably not a good thing. We don't have a shovel. I'll just bust through this dirt with my fist. Great. More water. Bless my beating heart. I missed I missed Floodland so much. All right, we'll go somewhere else. Huh. You'd think, but it actually is more effective for some reason. How is it more effective? It literally does not increase the surface area that you can see in any way, shape, or form, because you are still mining out the exact same amount of blocks. I also literally use any block possible to decorate. I, I feel like you should be. I feel like everybody should be using every block possible to decorate. It is Lego. Nice, more iron. I didn't know there was so much iron right at the start. Otherwise, I would have just got all of this. I went pretty deep into that mine. Retrospectively. Okay, we've got a, we've got a bunch of granite in front of us, which I do not like. Put a torch down there while we mine out all of this. This is the stuff we actually want, by the way. We actually do want this. We do want lots of iron. Now that we've got that, we can actually go top side. I'm going to go get that cobble, actually. I'm not going to I'm not gonna screw around too much. We want all of the cobble that we can, we can muster for the nether. Because we do want to block out the portal. I just don't know how long we have to do it when we go in there. <sighs> I know it just gets you more stuff most of the time. Yeah, but how? It's so illogical that that, that would actually be a thing. It, it, it literally does not increase the amount of things that you can see. It is exactly the same. And in fact, if you're branch mining with one gap in between, you should be doing two gaps because you can see the block that you would be otherwise mining alongside from the last branch that you made. Okay, hopefully there's nothing in this chasm right here. No, there is not. Excellent. That is what I want to see. We've got 12 iron, which is um, unusually fast. We, I, I feel like we got this, this iron very quickly. Okay, good. I might turn that big hollowed out area into a forward operating base for the mine, but I don't think I really care about it too much. You meant to do a gap of two? Yeah, that makes the most logical sense, doesn't it? Hello, and if you call me new to the channel, I swear. Hey there, cool kid. No, I, I recognize you. Uh, this is probably like the third time we've met, right? So you're not really that new to the channel anymore. I think you've graduated. You are now, you are now relatively recognized on the channel, which is a much longer name. <laughs> Just opening up with a bunch of dad jokes. Hello, new viewers. <laughs> Here's a dad joke that may be frustrating to listen to. Love it. Okay, we've got one spear cobblestone in our pocket, which should actually probably keep it. And we also need a bunch of flint. So let's go ahead and go back to our little gravel pile over here. And we'll try and get as much flint as we can. I think we may have also lost all of our... All of our, uh, bread. A whole stack of bread, which is not necessarily good either. But since we've lost it, we can just kind of cross that off the list and say, Nah, we're done. We're not going back for it. It's gone. Okay. What have we got here? Gravel. Yuck. Gravel. Yuck. Gravel. Yuck. We don't want gravel! Stop giving me gravel. That's actual stone. That's it. Or is it? I mean, it looks like gravel. It's... What are these? These are different textures. Okay, I don't really see a hell of a lot of stuff around here that we can mine out for, for gravel's sake. There we go. Is that coal? What is that? It's black. Flint. Okay, that's exactly what we need. We should probably actually just block all of this water and stuff off with all of our spear stuff. Got some gravel. Got some dirt. I'm going to start blocking it off. With all the spear stuff that we've started accruing. Awesome. And we'll get all the rest of this gravel eventually. When we need it. When we need it. I've never seen you, sorry. Oh, no, he's, he's, he's new to the channel. He's new to the channel. But that is not his name anymore. <laughs> so many bugs going on on my screen. Mom, why did you open the door at 2am? And then I am literally the only light source in the house, literally. I don't know why your mother opened the door. Maybe she was concerned about you not coming out of your room for, for days on end and she wanted you to go and touch some grass. Maybe she brought you some grass from outside, which is just, like, enabling, honestly. I don't know why your mother would be doing that. Okay, let's, let's process this gravel into more flint. Because I know we can just break this over and over again. It, it does change. Okay, that did nothing. Put this here, here, and here. I'll bust it all down. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Oh, well. Unless there's another little weird difference between bedrock and java. Maybe some gravel is just destined to always be gravel and not flint. Was it like a 50-50 chance? Maybe it is different. Okay. 
You never know without testing. That's the thing. You just never know. Uh, we'll take one of these iron ingots right here. Did I take them all? Apparently I did. All right, we'll put the rest of them in here and we'll only take the the one right there. And then we'll make another flint and steel. Then we're going to go and build ourselves a forward operating base to the nether. Nice. Okay. I touched grass today. That is absolutely great to hear. That is andesite. It's not very useful. Yeah, we've already kind of found out how useless andesite is. I feel like it might be a good decorative block if you're kind of like doing a lot of uh, very fiddly stonework. Like if we start making turrets and stuff on the corner of a castle, we probably want to diversify the materials that we use. Maybe andesite and diorite would be useful then, but otherwise I don't really see any other use. Can we light, thing Can we light creatures on fire with this? Yes! Well, sucks to be that sheep, huh? <laughs> oh, I killed it! Oh, well. <laughs> We've got food! <laughs> right, I love it when a plan goes right. Good. Okay, let's spawn in here, and then we are going to start dumping cobblestone all, ar all around us. Cook button time? Oh, hell yes, it was. Oh, flint RNG is, like, a bit different, is it? Okay. So, I'm going to start putting these here, here, here. How wide do we want to make this? Probably wider than normal, right? Uh, so we came out facing this way. Probably want this to go out around here. Uh, pardon me, whatever the hell you are. Could you move? <laughs> it's not very nice. What is this crap? It mines like dirt. Whoa, what is this? Is that glowstone? Okay, we won't get too distracted, okay? Don't get too distracted, everybody. I know everything's all new and beautiful, but don't get too distracted. What is this stuff? Literally ignoring my own advice. Rules for thee, not for me. Okay, and then a little, like, one gap, maybe? Yes, one gap here. And we'll keep on building this wall up and around. This should be our little forward operating base, okay? So we'll encase ourselves in some nice blocks of safety. Then we should be good. Oh, I think this is some kind of new soil. I've never seen this before. Neat. I like it, obviously. But I don't know how functional it's really going to be for us. Okay, we'll keep on mining this out here. And that one can also go. Probably need a shovel, right? Okay, good. Oh, these trees are wacky looking as well. I know that's wood. I know that's wood. I did actually watch, uh, Scott, I did watch your tutorial on how to grow the trees. And I will be kind of like using that to our advantage. I know that acacia is probably the least effective one that we could be using now. Although, it, it's the best looking one, so it's probably the most functional for building that we are going to be using. We'll get like a small forward operating base here. And then if we need more space, we'll mine downwards and kind of expand out that way, right? Okay. Put one here. Another couple of blocks here, here. What is this? I don't even know what the hell that is. What is this? What is this? Crimson Ruth. No. Weeping Vines. Okay. That's emo. Uh, more emo stuff coming out. Coming out of the woodwork. Okay, we'll put that there and there. This will be our door out into literal hell. Uh, put that there. Build up around here. I'm glad a ghast hasn't fired at us yet. Okay, we'll bust that down. We should probably encase ourselves fully, right? Which means we need to do a roof. Do we want this tree? Ah, uh, we'll need an axe for it first. We'll get that tree. Okay, good. The hell was that? What the hell was that noise? What is that thing? Hello? What's your name? I'm Jensen. I don't suppose you mind telling me what kind of tree this is? Oh, there's more of you. Okay, I feel like I'm about to be killed. <laughs> okay, <laughs> we're gonna build up a little bit. I feel like we are actually close to death. Oops. Why are they coming in? What is he doing? Is he attacking me? I don't trust this. I don't trust this interaction whatsoever. Is he going to attack me? I feel like he's about to attack me. Oh no, he's just doing some snarls. I speak their language. <sighs> My intrusive thoughts almost won. I beg your pardon. I think they are kind of like forming a game plan to gank me. I kind of like these trees. 
I know that they're trees. I feel like maybe the glows, maybe glowstone grows on them. Or I could be completely wrong about that, actually. There you go. Completely encase this up to the top of the portal. Is this glowstone? It's got to be, right? What is this? Shroom light! Oh, well, free torch. Oh, yes. Free torch, I suppose. Uh, we'll get rid of all of these vines, and then we'll keep on encasing out this way. We'll leave a gap so we can get back up here. Good. Nice. And we need to do, like, what, two more lifts before we can even think about a ceiling? Okay. One, two, 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 two. <sighs> Shroom light. Oh, I see. I've been trying to work on my anger issues lately. I'm doing great progress. That is actually not word. That is hyphae. What, the, uh, the mushrooms? Okay, we'll keep on busting up here. We're almost out of cobblestone, unfortunately, but at least we'll have a perimeter wall around the portal so we won't get ganked every time we want to come in here. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. I'm not doing the corners because I'm saving on materials. Whoops. Okay, I am also going to illuminate in here. What the hell? There's another nether portal literally right next to us. Wacky. Wacky and weird. Okay, I see lots of glowstone. I don't see a hell of a lot of nether quartz, though, which is kind of the thing we need. That's why we're here. Oh, well. Oh, well. Oh, well, indeed. We'll illuminate that, and we'll also illuminate behind this nether portal, like here and here. And we do have a way up. Ish. No, we don't. We closed it off. Whoops. All right, let's go back. We'll get heaps more cobblestone, because we definitely need them. Sarah Temps, hello. What did I miss? You did not actually miss a hell of a lot. We are in the nether. I think I want to try my chances back in the nether. Whoa, ow. <laughs> it looks like Silent Hill. It's a cool screenshot, actually. Let's go ahead and just... Whoop. Nice. Uh, no, you haven't missed a hell of a lot. So our plan was to make some automation. And I kind of remember how the redstone works from the Bedrock Edition. I've got some compact schematics that I do want to trial out in the Java Edition. But we need nether quartz to be able to make redstone comparators, which are kind of essential in making... Uh, redstone clocks that aren't an absolute ear sore. Okay, we'll come around here. And we don't have earmuffs in the game, unfortunately, so we, we can't really do anything uh, too loud without really pissing ourselves off. Is it nighttime? It is nighttime. Or is it? Weird. I don't think it is nighttime. Sunrise! All right, let's get a, a good screenshot of this. Oh my god, that's nice, isn't it? Actually, I'll tell you what, we could go to the other shader pack for just just a little bit. No, not the resource packs. We need to go to video settings, don't we? Video settings! Uh, we'll try out this other shader pack, BSL Original. I do love this one because it's very cinematic. Oh, look at that. That is gorgeous already. It has been 50 minutes, dang. Yeah, it's slow progress, but we are kind of like setting up forward operating bases and stuff like that. And... Whoa! I love that so much. This is my first time watching you play Minecraft. Am I good? I played this back in 2018 religiously with a few friends. I've, I've played the Bedrock Edition quite a lot. The Java, the Java Edition is very, very new to me. We've got a Shroom Light here. I think we'll just go and try and get ourselves as much cobblestone as we possibly can. We'll probably need like four stacks or so, maybe. So we'll go down into the mine proper and we'll start strip mining. And every time we hit something that's just not cobblestone, we'll, we'll do a turn, we'll do a pivot. Okay, good. We've got lots of iron on us, so we should be able to make any spear pickaxes we need. Uh, Want to go all the way down here? Yes. Slow progress is me reworking my Snowden build every time. There's always improvement, right? There's always room for improvement. That is the largest room in the world. A lot of people think it's kind of like a stadium or something like that, but it's actually the room for improvement. Okay, we'll come all the way down into our mine. And now we probably want to continue along this one, right? But in a different direction, maybe this way? Try this way, because we don't want that yucky ass granite. And I, it is ass. It is an ass material. We don't want it. Yeah, there's some deep slate. Again, we probably don't want that. Great, more granite. Ah, we'll bust through it anyway. See what happens. We are still technically in desert biome territory, so I'm not terribly surprised that we are still finding this red stuff. Okay, we got through it. There's a little bit of andesite here. We can throw that in a fire, for all I care. Ah. I always rework my stuff, that is my motivation, and something to keep me determined to keep doing. I 
honestly just like the relaxation of it. I'm going to put a torch there. There is iron right next to us. Love it. Free resources, uh, even though we actually wanted the cobblestone. Perfect. Look at all this. Do I hear a skeleton? I think I do. I think I hear a skeleton. Okay. Yep, I definitely heard a skeleton. Let's be quick on the mark here. Unless we get sniped. What is this? Whoa! Look at this! Oh, there's actually a uh, path to the to the top side as well. Cool! Oh well. Now to ignore it forever. Let's go this way. Oh. I've never made it this far in Minecraft. Really? That's actually um, that's surprising. That is really surprising to hear. I'm I've got a few more plans for Minecraft going up uh, in the future. I'm going to be doing like a, a hardcore skyblock with other players, and every other player is going to have like one game with me, and they'll die somehow. Okay, let's bust through this yucky andesite. What is through here? Oh my god, even more, even more death and destruction follows us around. What is that? Oh, that's a spider down there. Okay, let's uh, put that gravel there. And I'm going to go back. I'm, I'm going to backtrack a little bit because there's got to be a better way, right? Maybe, maybe just keep on busting through this. We shouldn't be able to get through this too far. On account of the fact that our pickaxe is about to break, but it never really hurts to try. Okay, good. Busting all the way through this. I always feel like Lego. Uh, sorry, um, Minecraft is just Lego for adults. So, like, the building aspect of the game is probably the best part about it. Okay, we'll go all the way back, which is why it's so satisfying to do. Okay, that's definitely the way back. Uh, oh, actually, we've got so much cobblestone here, we don't need to mine anything. Okay, good. We'll take some of this cobblestone. Now we're going to go and encase our little forward operating base. We'll still need a couple of doors as well, so we'll need some wood. We've got enough wood. Perfect. And we should be absolutely fine. I would go, but eh, I think not, because one, I don't know how, and two, I'm basically solo, and always, and I don't know if I can join everything, and I'm shy. Yeah, but death! You're supposed to die! The whole point of the series is that everyone dies in a different way. Dude, I'm an adult. I can officially say Lego is Lego for adults. I suppose that is now, but when this game first came out, there was a little bit of a taboo, at least in my country, of like grown-ups playing with Lego. It was a it was a bit of a taboo, but now it's like a collector's thing, isn't it? Because all the people who grew up playing with Lego now actually have the money to buy the Lego. And Lego's definitely capitalizing on that as well. It's, they are not screwing around with their Lego products. I like the shader bag. I like them both in different ways. I love the lens flare. Okay, we're going back to the nether. We don't have anything valuable on us necessarily, uh, aside from this charcoal, and eight iron, which I'm going to go and dump into a furnace at the first home over here. Let's got lots and lots of this uh, sugar, sugar cane. Okay, where do we want to put this? Probably on the valuables, right? Or maybe not, maybe it's not valuable whatsoever. A uh, stack of charcoal right here. Okay, we've got a lot of charcoal in here, actually. So, what else? Probably want to put our flint and, we want to keep that on us, actually, in case we get ganked in the nether. Will we get the portal ganked in the nether? Yes. Okay. The bigger, more complex Lego sets are uh, fun to make. I have Venom's head on my shelf right now. That's cool. That's really cool. All I know is a couple of guys that, like, collect the Formula One racing cars, and they put those together, and they're, uh, my mum's new boyfriend... Uh, no, this is not a GameStop meme. My mum's new boyfriend actually does collect those uh, Lego collector's edition items, the huge ones, like the enormous ones, and he puts them together... And they look really cool. Some of them are even like remote controlled, but he, he just keeps them on a shelf for um for viewing. Oh, look at that. That's cool. I don't think I've ever looked at the distance from here. <sighs> Hungary is the second hardest language and the second most priced country. Okay, I will never be going there then. I'll never be going there. I'm more of a turkey guy myself, to be honest. I finished a lot of 18 plus Lego sets. I hope you mean like adult Lego sets and not just like... You know, adult entertainment Lego sets, like a, b a bunch of a bunch of dildos or something like that. Because it's not beneath Lego. It is not beneath Lego to start making adult entertainment. I'm surprised they haven't done it already, to be quite, <laughs> quite honest. Uh, we probably need to get some bamboo, right, for the scaffolding in here. Okay. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to create a temporary 
easement so that we can climb up here. We don't have any dirt on us, hilariously. Maybe the vines will work. Maybe if we put these vines on the side of this building here, we can use it as kind of like a... Or not. Okay, I don't know what these vines do, but it's not useful. Oh, we do have these, which are kind of useful. All right, we'll make a, a very temporary scaffold up here so we can go up there. And also, we probably want to go ahead and make ourselves a crafting bench because if we're going to be staying here long term, we need to. We definitely need this. I'm going to go ahead and bazinga this right into the floor. Oh, no. Oh, no, good. I thought I made this like a an even space. Or have I? One, two, three, four, five, six. Piss! I have made an even spacing. Damn it. Okay, let's change that. Hello? We want to mine out all of this stuff now, unfortunately. Uh, we've got some raw iron here. We probably just want to make ourselves a couple of cobblestone picks. Oh, that's right. So let's actually get out of the crafting bench. We need sticks first. Done. Two of each, I would say. And we'll stick the cobblestone... Whoops. We'll stick the cobblestone on top. My god, my brain is not functioning as intended today. Okay, good. So, now we've got that done and dusted. We'll mine out these two blocks. Excellent. We'll go ahead and we'll patch that in. Then we'll take care of that and we'll put that... Why? Seriously? We don't have anything on our pop bar that allows us to place down a torch, except for this pickaxe, actually. Okay, so that is essentially the bare minimum that we need. And we kind of need to mine these out by one... I hope there's no ghast around. Doesn't look like it. Good. We'll mine out this wall and we'll move it over one more spacing. Ugh. I'm going to your country, for real? They're... They refuse to make mature Lego sets? No way! What? How could they? How could they refuse? Like, I, I would buy a giant dick. I would buy a giant dick, I would make it out of Lego, and I would have a lot of fun doing it. I would have so much fun making a, a Lego dick. Well, hello. Uh, can I help you? What's the deal with these things? No Deadpool hit anytime soon? PTSD from Buddy. Oh, why? Why? Piss off! At least the portal's still up. At least the portal's still up, and we're really, really close. Oh. I knew they were gonna attack me! Why did they do that? Oh. We weren't aggressive! Isn't that supposed to be the whole thing? You don't attack the piglins, they don't attack you? What the hell am I standing on? Water. That makes sense. Ah. Whoops. I never went to mine when I'm not playing on Peaceful because I'm scared to die and lose all my stuff. Uh, you, you tend to lose that fear, I think. The fear tends to dissipate. Oh, oh, we gotta get a shot of the sun right next to the nether portal, right? A nice screenshot. Yes. Oh, no! Oh, that was close. I think we just ran out of all of our food, too. Uh, we need to get a block higher, I think, for a nice shot. There we go. I think maybe this? Yeah, that's nice. That's gonna be real good. Maybe just this as well. Nah. God rays are disappearing. Okay. Good, we've got some cobble deep slate. I wonder if they're going to attack us again. Whew. Do not hit or kill them. I don't have a choice. I literally do not have a choice. <laughs> okay, I think we tricked one of them into going into the portal, which is very funny. What was his deal? Why did he attack me? What a dick. I'm trying to wall off this area so that I'm not attacked by anything. And here he comes. Walking into my home, attacking me with a golden sword. What a dick. You need to wear gold armor. I suspect cap. I suspect a little bit of cap in here, DJ. I suspect some cap. Otherwise, they're all hostile. Oh, okay. Okay, we, we will fix that then. We do have some gold armor. That's weird. What a weird addition to the game. That's not the case in Bedrock. It is completely different in Bedrock. Okay, good. <sighs> I remember my biggest mistake in my Minecraft hardcore world. Oh, I know what that mistake was, actually. The, the mistake would have actually been... Hello there? The mistake would have been setting it to hardcore. <laughs> okay, I've walled him in. Sucks to be him. Really does suck to be him. Okay, good. Take out all of this dirt. Next. Excellent. I'm going to unwall the piglin. Or I'm just going to keep him in there forever. 
for a, for a nice annoying sound effect generator. Okay, and put two here. Good, and then two here, here, here. We can mine these ones out, and now it is a width that I'm happy with. Excellent. We could probably actually light that piglin on fire, right? Should, I, I feel like we should do that. Let's light him on fire. Let's set him ablaze. Let's let's take him out the old the Yinsen way, right? And hopefully we can eat his pig meat. Hello. Hello. Oh my god, that is a crossbow. Okay, I don't know what's happening now. Fine, we are going back home. We're getting some gold armor. We have to test this out, right? My mistake was forgetting where my home was. Okay, we're still going to be attacked by these piglins that are now coming out into the real world. Are these zombies? What the hell? Creepy! They've got golden swords. Maybe we want to set up our nether portal in the middle of the village so that whenever something goes into it, the iron golems just rail them as fast as they possibly can. That'd be funny, actually. That'd be nice to watch. Huh. And then we can put hoppers all around the nether portal. Oh, that's a really good idea, actually. Why don't we do that? That could be today's uh, goal. So the babies of that breed simply try and intimidate you? They didn't really intimidate me, necessarily. They were speaking my language. I can definitely do their whole <laughs> sound effect thing. You know, I, I can do that as well. It's not intimidating once you know how to do it. A lot of fire right there for fun. And let's go in here and we're going to bed. Nice! All right, we'll try it. We'll, we'll try wearing some golden armor. We've got some golden pants over here that gives us flame resist. Hopefully, this should do the trick, right? All right, golden pants. We now look like MC Hammer. Okay, what else do we want to deal with? Probably food? We probably actually need food. Do we have anything that we could... We've got an egg. Can you cook eggs yet in this game? Is that actually a thing? Can we cook eggs? No, obviously not. Ah, but we can actually take this egg and then convert it potentially into... Was that an enderman? We'll convert it into a chicken. Or it could be nothing. I don't think it was fertilized. It was not a fertilized egg. That's uh, probably for the best, honestly. AFK for a bit. Just going to go to the bathroom. Well, that's the first time I've ever seen somebody not on their phone on the toilet. Got to hear what you'll do, though. Should work, but don't open any chests with gold near them. Okay, I won't do that. We'll kind of like... I think... I think we'll go the genocide route only when we've got a nice base set up. I wonder if these guys are just, like, not hostile in our world. It's kind of weird, isn't it? Hello? My dude! My guy! Okay, we also need food. Okay, I'm going to try for it. We'll see if this works. They like gold, if you weren't picking up on that. Yeah, I definitely remember that from the previous uh, playthroughs on Bedrock that I played. But I don't know how reliable the information actually is. Okay, let's go ahead and make some doors with the... Wait, did they take all of our blocks? No, we spent it all, didn't we? We spent it all on this crafting bench. What is this? This is a crimson fungus. Disgusting. Let's got some wheat seeds. Let's just throw that right into the gigantic pit of lava. What the hell are they? There are things down there, in the lava. Oh, there's a thing wearing golden armor over there. What are those? Alright, we've got some glowstone, which is kind of handy. This is a crap spawn. I feel like this is a really crap spawn. Uh, we need wood, actually. So we're going to go back home side, and we're going to go get wood. And then we're going to hope that these things just don't attack us. Spiders are in the lava. Why aren't they dying? Is that just like a thing? We also need food, don't we? All right, let's get our flint and steel out. We'll try and burn some chickens to death or maybe some sheep to death, and then we'll eat their cooked flesh, which is a little bit grim. Oh, chicken right there. Yes. This one will do the trick nicely. Hello there, chicken. Would you like some fire? Yes, he would. Enjoy. Give me your meat. Nice. <laughs> Yum. Delicious. More. More. More! Where is the rest of it? <laughs> I have a bloodlust. I've got a taste for dead fresh chickens. <laughs> striders, not spiders? Like you were striding on something? Oh, like uh, Lord of the Rings, right? Like Strider from Lord of the... Uh, yes, chicken. Yes, chickens. <laughs> I'm gonna eat you. I'm gonna eat your cooked flesh. Ah, missed. That's embarrassing. Come back here. 
<laughs> burn! 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 Burn to death! The meat, yes. We must eat the succulent meat. <laughs> good. Okay. Health regenerating. Let's get some trees. Oh, we got a free egg as well. That feels good. Uh, we should probably actually go ahead and make ourselves an axe before we do this, right? Why are my comments not on a screen anymore? Never mind. Uh, they disappear, I think, when they scroll. I would use up the blocks from the nether to decorate the village or the house or the farm just to add more detail to it or make it a bit better. Uh, we need thematic consistency. I feel like we need thematic consistency. Once we start sticking nether blocks in base villages, it starts to look like something real nasty happened there. And if you want to stay there a long time, you probably don't really want it to look like it's, you know, falling apart because it makes you look like an idiot leader. All right, what do we got? No sticks. What about in here? Any sticks? Any sticks at all? I will take like two sticks. No, but we've got some logs. Okay, let's actually take a few of these logs with us. Then we'll go over here, turn a few of these into planks. Good. We can't really place a lot of these planks in the nether, can we? On account of the fires that literally plague the entire place. Uh, let's get a couple of axes. Where would we find an axe? Uh, probably with this here cobblestone, right? Nice. Two axes, done and dusted. We're going back now. Hmm. I would build a Lego dick as well. Yeah, who wouldn't? Who wouldn't build a Lego dick? That would actually, that would sell so well. I don't think Lego dildos would do too well though. Because I feel like somebody would be brave enough to try it out. And unfortunately, got to be said, Lego is probably not the thing you should be sticking inside of yourself. <laughs> it should not be in oneself. If y'all catch my drift. Look out for hoglins. They hit like a truck. Yeah, one of them already killed us. Okay, uh, we still got cobblestone, which is good. Uh, we now have a bunch of other resources. We got these here axes. We'll see what it does. Okay. Apparently, the... Let's check out our... Uh... Let's check out our resource packs real quick. Fabric mods. Where is tree capitator? Is that actually... I don't think it's working. Okay, I'm going to save and quit to the title. I'm just going to make sure that Tree Capitator is actually functioning as intended. Uh, how do we do this? Open the world folder. Good. So, data packs. Tree Capitator. Okay, so it should be functional. Good. Save. Yes. Weird. Lag the stream, and if I do, I will not be able to watch the stream. How can anybody lag the stream from, from the viewer's side? I love it when the stream decides I can't send anything. Uh, I think that's more YouTube deciding that. I don't think streams are sentient, got to be said. So does Tree Capitator just not work on these guys? We did just cut a tree. No, we didn't actually cut a tree down topside. Maybe I have to go and make sure it's functioning. No, no, I mean lag my laptop. Okay, I'll try not to lag your laptop, even though the uh, data that you are receiving literally does not change. It does not change unless you change the resolution yourself. Okay, we'll come over here. I just want to make... Whoa, that was close. Just want to make sure this mod actually works first, because it's the only mod that I'm going to install. Maybe the borderless window mod broke it. That would suck. That would really suck. Also pretty low on food again. I feel like the food degrades when you generate HP. That's kind of anecdotal, though. It's, I don't have any evidence to cite this. All I have is kind of like what I'm noticing with natural vanilla gameplay. Oop, don't want to go in there. We'll go to the Svana. We'll just make sure that this does actually function as intended. Because I don't want to have to mine all of those nether trees down as well. Also probably uh, light some chickens on fire if we can too. Hello chicken! We've got some axes now. We probably don't need to use this here. Actually we do. We do want to burn them to death. Because we want the cooked meat. Don't go in the hole. Thank you. Excellent. I think we got two out of that one. Alright, let's see if tree capitate is still functional. Yep, it still works. It just doesn't seem to work in the nether for some reason. That's fine. Okay, it's a quirk. You can build all the Lego dicks you want. That's the point of Lego. It's only your imagination that sets the boundaries. Me from Denmark, the country of Lego. I don't know. Is it Danish? Is it actually a Danish company? That's pretty cool, actually. I didn't know that. Where's the cooked chicken? Right here. Got to slam this down our throat. Here we go. The juice just dripping down the front of our face. Okay, let's go find another chicken. We'll get some food made up, I suppose. Because we still haven't automated it. We could probably get a melon farm going at the other base now, but again, we still need nether quartz. There's a couple of chickens just over there. 
Get our handy dandy flint and steel out. Okay, good. I'll jump this. Nice. I mistook one of those torches for a chicken as well, which is why I came over here. Chicken! Why are you running? Uh, whoop. That was weird. I think it just went through the block. Uh, there we go. Good. Die! Thank you very much. Thank you for your patronage. We will slam this one down our throat now. And we probably want one more, right? Just in case our HP does go down, because it seems like we're bleeding the hunger like crazy. Okay, we can't catch rabbits. We're actually in a really, really bad spot to generate food. Ah, yes, it is. We're all very proud of that fact. What, the, um, the food, like, did you, does it actually replace hearts at the cost of food? Is that a thing? Okay, good. Oh, no, Lego. Right, yes. That is kind of cool, actually, if your country is famous for something. But what my country is famous for is, uh, specifically southern New Zealand, is racism and alcohol abuse. Uh, so we don't really have a hell of a lot to be proud about. <laughs> I feel like I broke the mold a little bit, but it, it's unfortunately one of those things that just creeps up on you when you least expect it. Lego wouldn't like little kids being traumatized because they were going through the Lego aisle at the store and saw a Lego penis. Yeah, but like... Like what Fleshlight does, where they model it off of the porn stars. Like, you get a, you get a Johnny Sins Lego, Lego donger? How does that sound? This sounds better, right? Just a picture of Johnny Sins on the front, not an actual penis. Yo, Yensen, can you try to write the shade as name in the chat? I just want to try it after I sleep. Won't sleep yet, still have energy. Uh, I don't have to. It's literally three letters. It's BSL. And if you want one that runs a little bit better on machines, complimentary shaders is BSL, but re-optimized. Uh, those are the two that we keep switching and swapping between. You can probably check out complimentary down here in the nether. I haven't seen it. Let's, let's actually do that. Let's see what it looks like down here in the nether. Uh, video settings. Shared packs. We're going over to complimentary unbound right here. We'll apply it. VSL. Magic Mike Lego dildo trademark. <laughs> That'd be hilarious. Channing Tatum's chode. That's what I would call it. Thanks. No wonder. Sorry. No worries. Uh... We don't want to fall in the lava, do we? Because we'll lose everything. Uh, I'm just going to bust out this little mushroom right here. Nice. I'm busting out these mushrooms like a gooner. I love the description. Yeah, it's part of the ARG that I've been working on. The 1,000 subscriber special is going to be pretty big as well. We probably actually shave off the sides here, right? Okay. Let's kind of like make this a little bit easier to deal with. Okay, so we come up here. Now we need a roof on this bad boy. Do I see any ghasts? I do not. That's good. That's really, really good. I still don't see any quartz around the place, though. Okay. So, I'll go ahead and I'll start building this back up. Excellent. Got this bit of dirt in the way, unfortunately. I hear somebody about to try and gank us, annoyingly. Is this supposed to be like a gigantic mushroom? Rather than a tree itself. We've got some of the wood, actually. What's it called? Crimson stem. I think it is a mushroom. Okay. It doesn't leave us mushroom, though. Huh. I just imagine some weirdie trying to get out and getting some pieces lost inside her. The lore is crazy. <laughs> yes. Okay. I want that cobblestone bit. We'll start building this back up. Keep on going. I don't think I want that other nether portal. We'll, we'll use it as kind of like a contingency plan if we ever need to, but... It'll also pop out a weird place, won't it? Actually, it could pop out at the other village. Uh, I'm going to take this maybe one more higher, and then we'll start sticking a roof on it. Uh, okay. Thank you, mushroom. Again, not leaving mushroom. Go ahead and bust all these out. Excellent. And two, so we can put a roof on top of it. Done and dusted. Let's crouch. Good. Excellent. Look! The wall is going up! We're going to do this around the other village as well, by the way. We're going to build a gigantic sandstone wall. Okay, that's one stack on. Done and done and done and done and done and done and done. Okay. Is it another mushroom in the way? Fortunately, this is the peak of a mushroom. And put that there, put that there. That doesn't matter. It's not going to block us off. Put that there, put that there. Uh, we got another one in the way. These mushrooms are annoying as hell. They're really annoying. Are they not really annoying to everyone else? Okay, we'll keep on coming through, busting up the room. And got to get through here as well. 
We'll take some of these little mushroom lights and we'll stick them up around the room. I think that's probably going to be a good idea. I can't see anything. There we go. I was blind for a second there. I was getting flash banged. Okay. There and there. Oh, would you look at that? It's one of those dickheads that railed us in one hit. Okay. Now I'm going to encase it. I don't know why I'm not just doing it like this. Excellent. Good. Put them here, 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 here. Oops, that's a whole stack gone again. Let's get this uh, kind of like low stack, I suppose. And we'll start getting through this one too. Nice! <sighs> Difficult to tell if it's genuine or sarcasm, but I'm taking it as a compliment. Always take something as a compliment, especially if it's sarcasm. Because if someone's being sarcastic, it means that they're trying to get to you in some way or another. And if you just misinterpret what they say as a compliment, it pisses them off even further. Spite redirected in a constructive way is very effective, effective socially. Okay, we got through that one. Let's get another stack out here. Uh, great. I was going to put a skylight on this, but that would actually defeat the whole purpose of building this in the first place. Uh, we're probably going to die if we jump off any of these ledges here. Oh, never mind. We'll get on top of this, and then we'll just try and jump down there, put a block in the way. That's cobblestone. Uh, now we have to go around, I think. Oop, mushrooms in the way. We probably have to skirt around and just create some kind of barrier. Uh, that's where that pig was, so let's not go down there. We probably would rather just create some kind of path going around this way, wouldn't we? And then just bust out everything that's already in the way. Ah, piglins hunt hoglins, by the way. Really? Oh, we definitely want to be their friends. We definitely want to be their friends. Okay, good. Bust all of the... Oh, that was close. I almost just walked off the ledge. That was so goddamn close. We almost just lost all of the cobblestone we intended to build with. Put that there. Bust all of this out. This is a nice wee platform. Not going to worry about that too much. Then we want to come down here, I suppose. Probably should mine out a little path so we can get up here. Or not. There we go. Done. And I'm going to put another cobble there. I kind of want to create another little easement room in here in case somebody tries to take out the doors I'm about to place. But it probably is going to be absolutely fine regardless. Okay, we've got three doors right here. We'll place them down. Place them out here. Done. Nice. Now, no one can enter here. Beautiful. Let's plug in this disgusting hole. And now we have a forward operating base. Actually, we didn't want it on that line there, did we? We want it one further over. Okay. Bang that up there. That should be fine, honestly. We'll mine out this other wall that we shouldn't have placed already. Shouldn't take too long. And then we'll go on the hunt for quartz, now that we actually have an FOB. Excellent! I'll try and sleep now, be nice to each other, and wear a jacket. I'm leaning into the fact I'm probably the oldest here, Mother Dearest. I am 30. I'm probably the oldest here, to be quite honest. Uh, you have a great sleep, though, Easter Lamb. I, I, hope you, I hope you have your life circumstances improve in the very, very near future. Maybe a sleep will do you some good. Okay. I'm afraid. I'm actually really scared here. Okay. Piglins. Hoglins. Let's see if they attack us. Probably not. I'm not going to attack them. I am wearing some gold pants. So they shouldn't attack me. Ah, there's that goddamn hog. Don't want to go near that thing. Unless it goes near those ones. Oh, look, a child. We could probably kill it. But why would I do that? Why, why would I kill a child? Why did that even cross my mind? Oh, quartz! Right there! There's a bunch of it! Is it any closer? Yes! Oh, yes, there is! But is there a ghast in the way? Oh, this is a recipe for disaster right here. Okay, uh, there, there... I'm going to put another nether warp block right there to block off the flow of lava. Excellent. That way we can walk across this. Gorgeous. We want to go up there. We want to get all of that quartz. Beautiful. And we don't want to get ganked by any of those ghasts either. I also don't know where we are. I'm completely lost. Okay, good. There better not be a hog up here. No, there is not. Excellent. Okay, I'm going to crouch. I'm going to get a little platform kind of built out to catch all of this quartz because I know the perils of mining in the nether and I do not fall victim to it. God, I love this shader pack in here. In the nether, it's actually really, really cool. All of the blocks are shiny and such. Okay, that should be... 
pretty close. Put one there, put one there, there, and there. And another few over here, just to be absolutely certain. Good. Now I'm going to do a dangerous thing, and I'm going to mine straight upwards. There could be lava above us, but that's not my problem. Awesome. So this is going to be our first ticket to automation. We don't have much. We don't have much of this nether quartz, but we didn't lose any, which is awesome. Yeah, we got six nether quartz. That should actually be more than enough to make ourselves the redstone comparators that we that we need. Okay, we've got five. I'm pretty sure we missed one. There's another nether quartz over there. I don't think we'd be greedy. I think maybe we just go back home and count our lucky stars. Right, because we don't want to get too turned around here. And we also don't want to get railed by another hog. Is that a hog over there? No! There's a hog! Hilfe! Hilfe, Mick! I'm running! Towards hopefully my base. I don't know. Uh, I'm coming up. Oh, okay, I fell. Where the hell is my base? Are we still being chased? Ah, there it is. Okay. We need to get rid of this whole forest, right? Uh, let's just... Oh, I can't light these on fire. <laughs> I tried to burn down the forest so we could see our base, but it didn't quite work. Probably need to get this out of our hand, to be honest. Whew. Wow! That actually scared the crap out of me. I am 12, I am the youngest. Everyone says I act 18 and act smart while I think I'm dumb and act like eight. Well, there you go. That's called imposter syndrome, and it is uh, prevalent in every age, no matter how old you are. Oh, we're about to see a sunrise. Let's go to the top of this tower, and we'll admire the sunrise from up there. Because if I know anything about BSL, the sunrise is where it really shines through. We'll get a really, really nice picture. How does that sound? Oh, look, it's already starting. Or well, maybe we just want to, like, go here, perhaps? Maybe over here? That is nice. No, that's, that, that's, that kind of sucks. That kind of sucks, actually, that angle. Okay, I'm going to go up the tower. We're sprinting up the tower. We're going to spend all of our food. Pardon me, farmer. I just stood on him as I went up here in my fervor to catch a great screenshot. Here we are. Oh, yes. Yes. This is the one, I think. Oops. Beautiful. I actually love this. Let's get another one. Okay, good. Gorgeous. All right. Use F3 to save your cords and save points. Sorry? Use F3. Oh, save your coordinates. Okay. I'm the oldest aside from Yunsen, I assume. It's hard to watch Chad and also watch you at the same time. Yeah, you're telling me. <laughs> it's my entire purpose on this channel. I managed it fine. The hyphae can't be burnt. Yeah, we figured that out. What is the hyphae? It's uh, those trees in the nether. They're more like mushrooms than they are trees. It j it just like an eyeball. Eyeballing it. It seems more like trees. So we've got some more of this... Uh, we got some more of this nether quartz. I don't know if we have to refine this further, but now we can actually start making the redstone we need to make an automated chicken cooker. So, now that it's sunrise, we could probably actually go ahead and make a boat and then go back to the other village with all of our resources that we have here, right? We'll take our diamonds, we'll take our diamond pick, and we'll also take our two acacia doors. Because why the hell not, honestly? Anything in here that we want to take? Probably not. A lot of gunpowder, a lot of TNT. Nothing useful to us. Another acacia door, we'll just stack those. Uh, we've got a tripwire hook. We could probably utilize that eventually. I'm going to go ahead and swap that out with whatever the hell these crimson roots are. Good. We've got some leads that we could probably use to set up a farm at the other location too. Let's go ahead and stack that granite onto this block right here. We'll take these leads and we'll also do a little bit of agriculture. We're at eggs as well. Our eggs should be at the other base, but I just don't know. We have an egg, but we need like billions of them. Okay, this should be absolutely fine. Let's make ourselves a boat if we can. We are one too many blocks. I, I was hoping for kind of like a nice, a nice split of the, of the planks to go into the boat, but it didn't really work out that way. Huh. There are nether mushroom based trees. There's another one, isn't there? There's like a blue one as well. I, I feel it's in question. Can you tell me how to screenshot? Yes. If you press F1, you'll be able to hide your HUD. And then if you press F2, you can take a screenshot. Very, very easy to do. Oh my god, I did not know it was that easy. I had to Google it, actually, um, before uh, the first stream. I just wanted to Google it so we could do the shader pack screenshots. Oh! 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 Okay, I pooped myself a little bit. This is going to look really weird. We're going to come back to that and we're going to be like, what the hell is that? I can almost guarantee it. Because coming to back to this game after a week, I've virtually forgotten everything that we were working on. 
I just know the chicken cooker. Thank you so much. Damn, Jensen must be a caveman if I'm grandpa. Caveman? What do you mean caveman? Is it because I'm so buff? Is it because I scream? Is it because I scream while I burn things alive? Fire. Fire kill. Fire cook. Light things on fire. No have to kill, then cook. Only burn. Only burn! There you go. My caveman's coming out. <laughs> no, I'm kind of, I'm very aware that there's a lot of young viewers on the, on, on the YouTube stratosphere. I do my best to kind of protect them as well, because we get some people coming on every now and then who are just kind of dickheads. I also do my best not to swear, and I, I feel like I've got all the nastiest cusses out of my system, but piss ass and... Yeah, and dick and all those other ones. I don't really... Where I come from, they're not actually cuss words. They're just... They're just expressions. Dude, you ain't far off in reality? What? To... To like... Wait, are, are you guys still talking in chat? I'm gonna burn these pigs alive. Sorry, buddy. I'm really sorry. I, I'm so sorry for this. I didn't want to have to do this, but I... I chose to. I chose to regardless. Is it gonna kill him in one? No. Ow! Okay, just lit a fire on top of the grass. <laughs> just push him into the fire. <laughs> oh, we don't have enough room. Uh, so let's throw out this acacia plank block and we'll go ahead and munch down on some of this delicious cooked pork that we now have. So we can run back to the other village and then we basically should just have food sorted, right? Eee. I'm getting my cave, my bloodline. <laughs> Burn, kill him. Food, build house, get food. Build house? That's not what cavemen do. Cavemen build a, a tunnel. They, they build a little hole inside of a ground. Or maybe even inside of, a, inside of a, a sheer face. And then they sleep inside of that hole. And they eat the spiders and bugs. They pick them off the walls whenever that's, you know, the hunting is a little bit weak for the, for the time being. Okay, these pumpkins are also reminding me that I do need to also get ourselves a nice melon farm. So I'm going to do that too. We're gonna make a nice aqueduct and we're gonna turn it into kind of like a, just a, a very, very simple melon farm that we can just hit a switch and it should be absolutely fine. I don't know what observers do. Now that we've got some quartz, maybe I can actually fiddle around with them and see what they do. But honestly, I won't be too surprised if I don't figure it out anyway. Go ahead and replant all of this. It's cause it's candy. Probably need to get a better farm for the sugar cane as well. Cause at this point, we need three to make a piece of paper and we need three paper to make a book. So we need, 27 sugarcane to make a single book, which is almost half a stack. Are you checking off the list soon? Yes, I want to go and uh, check out some of the automation first. Before I go ahead and check off the list, because that's going to take a wee while. It's going to take a wee while to check off that list. It is a huge list, my dude. Like, enormous. Why are they called cavemen? Yes. Okay, good. So, now that we have the ability to make one, we could probably actually just make one out of here, right? Redstone comparator, right here. Okay, we need stone, which we have. Uh, we've got so much crap in our pockets, actually. We probably don't need any of this crap in our pockets. Let's get ourselves a bin, if we can. There's a cactus around the place. I'm going to go grab one of these cacti, and we're going to turn this into a rubbish bin. Because, quite frankly, I'm sick of it. I'm sick of having to throw things around, and then I pick them back up, and I'm really pissed off. We'll just put it on the shop floor just over here. Maybe on the mesa? Can we put it on the mesa? Mm, yes! Nice. Okay, so we're going to throw that on the cactus to despawn them. And what else? We probably don't want these acacia saplings. This one egg is weighing us down. Uh, weeping vines, they're literally everywhere. Don't care about them too much. Feathers are kind of useful. Still got a lot of stone stuff. Diorite, that can go in there, into the bin. Uh, we'll, we'll consolidate that there stack right there. We'll throw the andesite into the bin, of course. It's a warp fungus. I'll kind of keep that. Maybe it's useful. Cobble deep slate, that's useless. We'll throw that out. And the rest of this we could probably keep somewhere. Good. Woo! That was cool. <laughs> done with it. I don't blame you. I was done with it while I was there. So this is our valuables. Yeah, there's going there, definitely. What else? Uh, tripwire hook could probably go down here as well. I don't know where we put all of our redstone stuff. We've got a shroom light. Maybe we could put that somewhere. We'll put all of our valuables into this chest, yes. A diamond, we've got two of them now. Ingots, we've got 20 of those now. Awesome, love that. We've got a diamond pickaxe. I'm just gonna leave that down here in case we need to mine out some obsidian. Nether quartz, that's gonna stay in our pocket. Is this the building chest? Yeah, I think this is. Let's go ahead and just dump all of these other raw material blocks that we aren't really gonna use for a long time in there. 
We've got a couple of spears for tools. We've got an axe. We've got a pickaxe. Gorgeous. Probably also don't need this flint and steel on us at all times either. So we'll go ahead and drop that there, kind of with this. But not quite with it. Okay, so we want to start doing redstone stuff. We have some redstone. We've got a bunch of redstone right here. Let's see what this comparator takes. I think it requires stone. Where would we have put stone? Just cooked stone. We can probably just make one while we're waiting. Let's go ahead and just do that. I'm just going to put some stone right there. And then we'll go ahead and just look for it. We've got a bucket of lava. We're going to need to use that eventually. Here's the dropper. We are going to stick some eggs in that eventually. But we probably don't want to put eggs in it ourselves. That's the thing. There's a hopper that's going up here. Excellent. That's going to be where the eggs flow in from. And then they're going to... I See, I'm pretty sure what this is going to do is pop out a baby chicken who will not be able to touch the lava. We'll put a block of lava above it. And then when the chicken matures, they should burn to death. They should... Drop some chicken and the two hoppers that I have under the slab and this one right here lead straight into this chest. That is basically what I have got going on here. It's a very, very compact chicken cooker. I have to learn compact things as well. You think you give me a medieval build idea perhaps? Yeah, sure. Create a perimeter wall with, with uh, machicolations and turrets on six different corners. Create a hexagonal perimeter wall around a village. There you go. And then on one of those perimeter walls, build a, a, a large castle infrastructure. Done. I just pulled that out of my ass as well. I wasn't even thinking of anything. Okay, so we do have these eggs. That's perfect. We have the lava. That's perfect. So the thing we need now is the stone, right? Which is in the food chest now. Excellent. And can we make a comparator with all this? Not yet. Okay, so we need three redstone torches, which is not going to be that hard. I'll make two of them. And now we can make a comparator. Beautiful. Now we've got two repeaters already somewhere right here. We'll go ahead and grab these as well. We don't actually need that nether quartz either, so we'll go ahead and jam that into our valuables chest. And now we should be able to set up the clock over here. So this from memory goes here. And then we need one repeater here facing that way. No, not that way. Facing that way. And then another one facing that way. I think this is about right. And then we need some redstone dust. Looking around here. And this should create a ticking clock, if I remember right. Maybe it has to come out the front here as well. Okay, so there is an annoying little thing with this as well. We need a lever of some sort, which I'm more than happy to go and make. A lever. We need a lever to start and stop the clock. Oh, we don't have cobblestone, hilariously. Let's go ahead and just take one of these. Put that there. And actually, we should probably sleep before we continue on building this, because we don't want to get the whole thing blown up by a creeper. It's made of sand. Get out of the bed! Nice! Bro just said to make a castle. If I see a pillager tower or a mine, I use it for getting items from the place and use it for my house and decorating. Does that count as investing? It actually does. It does count as investing. Like the tarot cards you pull out of your ass? Yes! Yes, just like the tarot cards I pull out of my ass. I pull divination out of my ass like, um... Like that guy... Oh, what's that guy's name? The, uh, the evangelist who has his own private jet. The one who ignores everybody who pays him money to pray for them. Pray on their behalf. Okay, now that we've got this out of the way... Wait, wait, did we make that lever? I don't think we did. I don't think we made that lever at all. No, we did not. Uh, let's go ahead and make that lever. Put this here good we'll place this down and we got to kind of like mash this really fast okay i think these may be a little bit backwards could you guys piss off there is so many better places that you could be standing that is not on my electrical engineering clock I'm, your job is way over there what the hell are you even doing here get away from me what do you guys want oh they want potatoes they're probably starving yeah, well, sucks to be them, doesn't it? Mm. Okay, so if we keep this up here. I'm trying to remember just from memory how to do this. Uh, maybe it has to be over in the other corner? Yeah? No. Okay, I've completely forgotten how to do it. 
He pulls everything out of his ass. I'm actually, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do something that may be unpopular. I'm going to take a look at uh, the Minecraft chicken cookers that other people have made because I may have forgotten what a redstone clock looks like after six years, if you guys can believe it. Uh, I don't like the, um, the terribly complex ones because I know I've got all of the infrastructure just done and dusted. I just want to know how the redstone works. Oh, yuck. Ew. Ew. Okay, we're going to watch this together. Let's watch Trillom's guide on how to do this. This is the best automatic chicken farm in Minecraft. Because I can see the, the clock at the back collected there. by the hoppers and then fed into the dispenser. All right, what have I done wrong here? Oh, I was so close. I was so goddamn close. Okay, I'm going to create this. So, it's not like this. Got to get rid of all of these. One of these... Can, this is different. This is different. Uh, it goes like that. This one goes that way, I think. And what was the rest of it like? Okay. Redstone around the side as well. Here. 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 Now, I think that we just got to double tap a lever, right? No? Have we got them backwards? I probably have the repeaters backwards. No, I do not. Strange. All right. So we got the redstone completely out of the way. Why this? That confuses me a little bit. Okay, I've completely forgotten how to do a clock. I thought that this was actually it, and the other guy that we just saw uh, used this as well, but it doesn't actually seem like this is the way. Am I stupid? Okay, that's the whole thing illuminated. Maybe I am doing it wrong. Does anybody else have any uh, grand ideas about this? Oh, I think I actually just closed it. Whoops. Okay, we're going back to it. Guys, here's the truth. A single day wow. will shake up your market. See what the Super Bowl did. This is the best automatic chicken farm in Minecraft. The eggs will be collected. Uh-huh, I know how it works. They... So this is a little bit different to the Bedrock Edition. All right. Take a look at that. Yep, that's definitely the same as it should be. I'm hoping the dispenser doesn't actually need to be touching it. Like, I can work with that. But that'd be very strange. I'd, I'd pref probably prefer to just have a giant string of redstone move along the side of here. Seems like that's not going to be the option. Jensen, going to be serious? Do not ask me because I do not know redstone for crap. I'd recommend just watching a full tutorial. Okay, we'll watch this whole thing. This guy's basically just got the setup that I've got, though. He's just recessed the chest into the ground, which I do not do because it looks like absolute ass. Yep, hopper goes on top of there. Very cash money. And then chickens go on top of those hoppers. You don't need to do this with glass, by the way. It, it literally does not need to be done. Okay, let's see if we can kind of, like, mine out the back here a little bit better because it seems like if we just... Stick the redstone clock touching this thing. It should be much more functional, right? This is the dispenser, right? Drop it. Does it have to be a dispenser? I thought, actually, maybe it's not supposed to be a dropper. Dispenser. Oh, it does have to be a dispenser. It doesn't have to be a dropper. Okay, so we actually, oh, we need a bow. That's not so bad. We've got string. Okay, we'll make this. One, two, three. And we need a few sticky sticks. Let's go ahead and grab some from here. One, two, three. And we'll make a bow. Weird. Uh, is it like this? Does it matter what orientation it's in? No, it does not. Good. So we've got a bow. Let's go back into the dispenser. We need a redstone dust and a bunch of cobblestone. That's absolutely fine. We've got plenty of both of those things right there. Done. And dispenser right here. Made. I made a dispenser. So that's not supposed to be a dropper. I don't know what droppers do. It's supposed to be something else. Maybe I shouldn't be making this out of sand, <laughs> to be quite honest. Let's put some cobblestone down. 
This will be temporary though. It's it's not permanent. It's only temporary. Let's just uh, break all of this sand here and then we'll build up a few blocks. That way we can actually put this redstone clock here and it won't be too invasive. We do have to mine out this bottom one, apparently, to get this clock working. Ah, but that gets rid of the place that the chickens are supposed to be in. Yeah, that is a little bit fiddly, isn't it? Hmm. Maybe we can just make it like this. Okay. We'll, we'll knock all of this down, and we'll try and build it in just in a different place. Because it could be as simple as this. I'm just placing all that down there for fun, for the fun of it. Uh, okay, so Comparator is supposed to come out of here. Nope, that's a repeater. Comparator is here. Switch that lever out. Comparator. Okay, that is definitely comparing. So we need one here and one here. And then we need to redstone all around this place, don't we? Like here, 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 here. It's going to power that block. I don't think that's completely necessary, but I am going to do it. Oh, do we even need these? No, this is exactly what we need. Perfect. Oh, awesome. Okay, good. So this is functional. This is actually really functional. I didn't realize it was going to work this well. Okay, good. Let's try and knock out more blocks. We'll make it as compact as we possibly can. No, we definitely need those uh, blocks on that height right there. In fact, we probably don't even need these blocks. Unless the comparator needs to actually be touching the item. We'll see. We'll actually take a look and see if that is the case whatsoever. Redstone comparator. If we put this facing here. No, it's definitely not enabled. So it does have to be touching this little doohickey here. Okay. So let's continue making it out of sand, I think. Because sand is easy to break. And it doesn't really matter if we screw it up. There, there. Uh, we probably need another two on each end here and here. And then we'll get a comparator here. Nice. Now we need the two redstone repeaters. So it is a little bit different than in bedrock, but not by much. Got to be said. Perfect. And we probably, whoops, we probably actually want to lower the, the time. Whoops. We want to slow it down, way down. Okay, that should be absolutely fine. So that is going to send a redstone signal to this here uh, dropper, apparently, which is not dropping anything. Good. Let's try and put an egg in here. I think we do actually need a dispenser there, though. I don't think the dropper is going to work. We'll get an egg, a single egg, and we'll see if it actually functions as intended. All right, here we go. And we'll put an egg in here. Is that too slow? No, it is not. All right, it can't be a dropper. It actually does have to be a dispenser. So we bust that out. It should just fall into the hopper. Or we could just flat out collect it. Okay, dispenser. Is that facing the right way? I can't tell. We can probably tell just by looking at this side. No, it is not. Okay, let's go ahead, bust that down, and we probably just want to maybe take out this side of sand, because I know we're going to have to bust down the sand quite frequently. One, two, three. We'll get in here, we'll crouch down, and then we'll put that dispenser facing out this way. Let's go ahead and mine this out to make sure it's facing the right way. It is not. Why? Why is it not? Okay, uh, okay, that's better, good. So we need that slab right here, and we'll put that down back on top of this hopper right there. We'll fill in this here little kill box, and we need a bucket of lava, which I'm pretty sure is just going to be in this chest. Oops, didn't want to put that there. And then we should be down to clown, like Charlie Brown. We'll put this here in the dispenser. Okay, it's not igniting. Strange, 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 strange. Maybe if we move this over one, and then we actually just have redstone leading onto this here dispenser, it might send the redstone signal. Let's try that. 
I do. This is actually one of my favorite parts of Minecraft, by the way, is like figuring out redstone circuitry. I closed down that guy's tutorial. There we go. It was useful enough, but uh, ultimately, I kind of know most of it. I kind of already knew most of it. Let's get that on off uh, hotbar. Okay, so redstone comparator can't go there. Has to go here. So how are we going to power this? Probably the same way we were doing it, like this and like this. We'll slow down this clock uh, real, real slow. Yep, good. Maybe like redstone that just curls around and goes into the side of here would be a good idea. Daily dose of student news. Hello, this is just DJ's alt. Hello there, DJ. Okay, I'm going to put some sand here and we'll see if this redstone does actually just kind of hook around. Because I think we need to hook it onto this block right here. Okay, I heard it work. It didn't make a chicken. Let's go ahead and start throwing all of these eggs into the chicken farm right at the top here. And that should be golden. Golden goose. All right, uh, we, got, we got a bunch of uh, materials we could do this out of. I'm thinking sandstone because we've got lots of it somewhere. Well, we've got lots of sand. Maybe we're out of sandstone. I'll go ahead and I'll check this chest over here. Whew. Yep, this is promising. Let's take four stacks of this. We'll turn it into sandstone. It's pretty easy to mine, and it's fairly durable as a... Oh! 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 Screenshot. Yes. I love that. Okay. I also have to bring my streaming software up. There we go. Done. Nice! So, we'll go ahead and sleep, and then we'll go ahead and just finish off this machine for the morning. We're really close to finishing it. I did figure out the circuit myself. I feel like I... I don't want to, like... Maybe count the chickens before I hatch. I wasn't paying too much attention to this other guy's chicken cooker, but I feel like I made it a little bit more effective. Maybe it isn't the most space efficient thing, but I definitely feel like I did better. Uh, can we just put this straight into here to make the sandstone blocks? Yes. Great. Love it. Ah, nice. Yes, it is very nice, isn't it? Okay, so we, that's sand. And it's funny, it's not, it doesn't like fall and destroy the redstone. Uh, we'll go ahead and place that there, there, there. And now we need a little staircase up here. Put that there. Put that there. Uh, now we want one here and here. And this is going to be where our battery farm sits. So long as we have a hopper beneath the slab right here. Yeah, we definitely have a hopper beneath that slab right there. Good. So we want to basically make this really high so that the chickens can't just, like, escape. Whenever they damn well please. I know this is hideous as well, but we'll make a better one later when we kind of like create a, a more permanent location. So the reason I was hoarding these eggs is because you've got a low chance of actually getting chickens to spawn from them. Like an almost 0% chance, one might say. I'm at school. Hey there, Faison. I will go soon. That's absolutely fine. Sorry for not talking much. Just getting tired and enjoying the stream. Uh, you do what you want, my dude. Like... I know that you guys are here playing the game with me on the couch, and that's all I, that's all I need. Okay, uh, we probably need to use those leads that we took with us, right? And we need to find an actual chicken and then move it in there. We could get some seeds. There's a farm over here. We could actually just take some of those. Let's do that. Let's try and bait some chickens in. Kind of weird that we threw 14 eggs and got zero chickens out of it, though. That is a, a very bad turnaround. Okay, what do we get out of this? Wheat seeds, four of them. That's perfect. Okay, we'll go kind of like, we'll go off this way, I think. We'll just cross this little ravine here, and then we'll go and find some chickens to bait in. I'm back, I had to take a shower. Excellent. Okay, break is over, I'm going to go now. Bye. Bye-bye, Faison. It was nice to see you. Okay, now we're on the hunt for chickens. And the reason I want to make chicken cookers and not any other creature is because they also drop feathers, which are really, really useful for archery. And if you guys know anything about me, I'm a ranger. I'm a ranger first and foremost. Always a ranger. I will use environment to my benefit every chance I get. And we already have a farm of pigs. Ooh. Would you look at that? Three of them. Great. Come on. Come on, chicky chickies. Come on. We can actually take the wheat that we just got from the farm as well, feed these chickens that wheat while they are inside of the hole. And that should be enough to kind of get us going as well. Now... I'm going to go ahead really quickly 
And I'm just going to bring up the eggs on the Minecraft wiki. Minecraft Java eggs. Because maybe there's a 0% spawn chance in the Mesa. Let's see. Uh, you said spawn in chickens. Let's see. Okay. Thrown eggs use the friendly creature sound. I don't care, honestly. Yeah, they are different as well. Uh, none of this is helpful. Data values. Where are the chances? Where are the chances that they hatch? What? None of that's useful. Seriously? Oh, apparently it's mob loot. That's funny. Fletcher's chest. Good to know. Oh, we can make cake with it. Oh, I completely forgot about cake. We can also make this here pumpkin pie, which would be fantastic. Swan chickens. Okay. When thrown by a dispenser or pressing the use button, an egg has a one-eighth percent chance of spawning a chick. If this occurs, there is a one in 32 chance of spawning three additional chicks on average. Okay. So the chance is actually significantly lower than I thought. I love how positive and kind you are and funny and cool and chill, dude. Love you. Best YouTuber, number one for me. You need more attention. Yeah, baby. Thousand subs confirms everything that you were saying. It's just, it, it's not that hard, though. You, you just, you just got to have a lot of love for life. If you love life, life will love you. It's as simple as that. That's what gave me a thousand subs. Oh, one of them just crapped out an egg. Nice. I also love that chicken and it, it crapped me out an egg, but that was a different kind of love. So what did I miss? Uh, not a hell of a lot. We went to the nether to get some nether quartz. Uh, we built a forward operating base in the nether. I say you didn't miss much. That's actually a very big step, considering we don't even have armor. Uh, and now we are setting up our first little instance of automation. We're getting these chickens over here, and we're going to set up an automatic chicken cooker so that we don't have to worry about food ever again. 1K subs, yes, it's very exciting, isn't it? Nothing's just, oh, egg, yes. Nothing's actually changed for me, though. It's exactly business as usual. I've been told by a, um, a good friend of mine who is also a YouTuber, uh, you know, friend first, YouTuber second, that when you hit that 1,000 subscriber mark, you get kind of like a, a decent amount of rapport with establishment. There are three iron golems in that backyard there stuck. That's funny. And then people start subscribing to you more because you are an established creator, which is very, very exciting for me. I'll kind of like see what my analytics look like after the stream, and I'll see if that's actually the case. But as it currently stands, I feel like just being a, a good person and an entertaining channel to watch is the thing that's inflating my channel. Like, no offense to him, but, you know, I'm not, I'm not going to make Skate 3 content for my whole life like he has. Okay, let's uh, make like a, a little floor. Let's make a floor so that these chickens can get up and into this hole. Perfect. Uh, we'll get the wheat back into our hands. We need three chickens. Where are they? Well, we don't really need three chickens, do we? There should be another one somewhere. Where'd it go? Did it just literally gap it as soon as it stopped seeing the seeds? Talk about tunnel vision. Seriously? <laughs> wow. I can't believe that. What a dick. I'm mostly a negative person. But when I'm here, I turn into this, which is just magical. Uh, you, you're not always a negative person. No one ever has to be a negative person. People go through things that make them negative people. And people also go through things that make them positive. That is probably something to consider. Whenever somebody is mean... I don't, it's not often that they're just a mean person. They're probably just having a mean day. All right, we'll do some feeding. I can't reach the chickens. That's very embarrassing. I don't think they can jump out. We'll see. We'll see if they can actually jump out from here. All right, good. Uh, we just used a dropper to place a block down. Uh, we'll get the seeds out. Boop, boop. Make a chicken. I dare you. Nice. I made them bang! I just made some chickens bugger. Isn't that awesome? Will they do it again? Wait, did they actually make another chicken? I do hear another chicken. Unless they just laid an egg. Okay, so now what we want to do is we want to take the bucket of lava, which we already have in our pocket. We'll get the sandstone out of our pocket too. And we want to go up here and we want to dump it into the hole. Not this one, because it will kill the chickens, but in this one. Why? Because it will kill the chickens. Put that there. Now, every time this dropper successfully spawns a tiny baby chicken, which the other ones should be laying eggs to do, it'll stick it in here. The chicken should be half grown, which is half a block high, and they'll stay like that until maturity. We don't want to kill them as soon as they're born because they don't drop any meat, they don't drop any feathers. Killing baby chickens doesn't do anything for us. When they're adults, we not only get the meat, we also get feathers, and the lava cooks them, uh, which these hoppers are going to pick up and stick into this chest right here. 
I know this took ages to get right, but at least we got it. Oh, the redstone stopped. Oh? It's not because I put the staircase here, is it? Maybe it is. Just because I, uh... What did I do wrong? <laughs> huh? Is it this one? Okay, so let's go ahead and try and fix this. This is weird. Okay, so we could probably get away with mining this one out without the chickens escaping. Nice. Let's go ahead and take this comparator, get the bucket off our hotbar, because we are going to need to place it straight back down. Nothing. Well, that's weird. We haven't changed anything, and yet, broken. Huh. I don't know why. Oh, okay, so every time it actually does have something in it, it just fires the eggs off. Anything? No, no eggs. No chickens. Okay. I also don't know if there's like a 0% chance of actually getting them to spawn here. I will 100% rewatch this when I wake up just to see you and have fun again. Oh, that's so great to hear. I do quite like creating positive spaces, though. And it's a bit of a shame as well, because all of my friends, like every single one of my friends is currently going through some kind of crisis. And it's such a shame. It's such a shame that it's happening, because my life always flourishes when everyone else is having a really, really bad time. So I suppose I shouldn't celebrate too hard, because there's so many people who can't celebrate with me. So many iron golems here. Do we want to cull the population? Let's go ahead and terraform this out, because I feel like what is happening is they're kind of like getting stuck inside of here by jumping onto the wrong platform that they sh really shouldn't have been on in the first place. Okay, mine out all of this. That is sand. We don't want to waste our durability on that. Get rid of all of this crap. I mean, we could just get rid of the, the fences. That would also be a good idea. Maybe we just do that. Okay, I've decided. Done. I've opened up a hole for them. There you go, guys. You can leave. Oh, why would they? That's the next question. Why would they ever leave? They've got everything they want in their backyard. They don't eat, so they've got unlimited food. They don't sleep, so they've got unlimited beds. You know, it's, it's a pretty good life, honestly. <sighs> Gorgeous. Okay, so now that we've got our automated chicken cooker out there, we can kind of, like, do a couple of things. We could, first and foremost, go and harvest a bunch of eggs or go and get some more chickens to stick into this uh, rather grim pit right here. What are the chickens up to up there? I'd say. I'm going to create a little platform just going up this way. Maybe here, 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 and here. Very good. So we can see what we're doing. Are there three chickens in there? There are three chickens in there. Perfect. Do we have any more wheat? We probably just breed them in here instead of going and getting more. Uh, we need to get onto the feeding pile of sand. Okay. I don't think they're hungry. Yeah, they're definitely not hungry. <sighs> my only problem is arguing with my friends every time about everything and then lose them and have a 50-50 on having depression for three years again. Just great for that. I don't care if you are here again. All right. Yeah, unfortunately, depression's one of those things, right? Like, I used to struggle with depression like crazy. I used to uh, kind of, like, wall myself off from my friends. I used to create reasons for them not to hang out with me. And all of it was just self-sabotage, and I just don't do that anymore, and now my friends will love me. Although, in saying that, I've got, fr I got friends who are actually worth loving now, whereas when I was quite depressed, I used to hang out with people who enabled my very, very negative mindsets. And unfortunately, that kind of led me to just perpetuate what I shouldn't have been doing in the first place, which was... Uh, actively trying to be depressed. Okay. Good. A lot of it is actually mental fortitude. It's pretty crazy, if you think about it. If you have enough mental fortitude, you can just get around things like depression and anxiety. Like me. <laughs> okay, we probably want to wall that off in case we fall in it and die. Oh, no! Oh, that's even worse! Okay, we're going to have to get all of these chickens back into... Actually, there's only one that escaped. Okay, that could have been significantly worse. Oh, this guy's stupid. He's just going to go straight back in as well. What an oaf. 
What an actual brain dead oaf. You're calling me a caveman. This guy right here. This guy's MVP of stupidity right here. And back in the hole you go, buddy. Back in the hole. Boop. Boop. Oh, come off it. Boop. Done. All right, let's create like a little staircase here so that we don't have to jump up that really, really jank one. All right, good. And then we only need a couple of blocks there and one block there. Excellent. Okay, so we've got maintenance. We've got access. Everything is functioning as intended, hopefully. We'll come back to that. And if we can collect eggs, I think the best thing we can do is probably just to recycle them into the top lane there. So I'm going to go ahead and break this. Right there. Done. Ah. Your friends will love you like we love you. They do. I've got a little family of friends. It's really, really nice. Last Saturday, I learned that the cat that lived where my dad works, that I love so much, had to be put down. And I was at school the day when he got put down, so I wasn't there to say goodbye. Oh, my heart goes out to you, Sarah. I had the exact same thing happen to the dog that I grew up with. His name was, was Zudo. And uh, no one actually told me the day that he was getting put down, because he was getting a little bit, you know, a loopy. Uh, he, uh, my stepfather and, and my actual mum went out to get him put down. No one told me I came back home and uh, <laughs> just found out this, this really sobering fact. Man, it hits really hard. It hits so hard. I never got over that either. That's still something that really hurts. Okay. So now that we've got the automation set up, we could go ahead and maybe get some sheep. There is a chicken over here. Oh, this must be the one that escaped previously, right? Hello, chicken. Would you like to go in the hole? You'll see what I mean when we get there. <laughs> You're gonna love it. You've got friends, you've got family. I'm certain of it, you can make a family. There's all the room you could ever need, no cap. Just follow me. Oh, not into the cactus. <laughs> He'll despawn. All right, come over here. There's a villager here, I hope he doesn't go. He better not be following me for the wheat. Oh, he's probably following me for a job. All right, get this chicken up here. Why are you following me? Piss off. Get out of my chicken! Ah, oh, well. Hopefully that doesn't gum up the... <laughs> Are you serious? Are you serious? This idiot! I don't believe this. I don't believe this. Well, my father the cats got poisoned by a horrible person. I sued him and got him to jail. Damn, that is horrible. That is really horrible. I don't blame you, though. I like signing up for animals who can't stand up for themselves as well. Uh, my family is a... The only thing... My, um, so my family's divorced when I was about two years old. My mother and my father, they divorced and they just went their separate ways. And they could not be more completely different people. But the only thing that my two families have in common is that they always shelter animals when they need it. And always have. Always will. Always have. Always will. Okay, so we should be getting some... Yeah, so we're getting some eggs put into the dispenser here. I feel like we should just collect these and then deposit them back up here so that we don't need to keep on luring chickens in here. Boop. Move. Are you... This guy's a... <clears throat> this guy cost us an egg. I threw an egg and it didn't break and we got no chickens out of it. What an asshole. Can we breed them again? Yes. Yes, we can breed them again. Nice. They're making love in front of us. They just can't wait for privacy. And now with the choice, plus he did a lot more things bad for the place, so yeah. It's a good choice. It's a good choice. Everybody should always stand up for animals. Because we've kind of like, as, as a human race, we have a responsibility to keep animals at the same quality of life as they ordinarily would have had without our, our presence. We definitely have that kind of responsibility. There's a bunch of crap in this chest. What the hell? Okay, so now that we got that chicken cooker out of the way, and also we have got an automated just smelter, anyway, I feel like maybe we should start thinking about building a base. And I know the perfect place for it. I feel like it should be up there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go all the way out into the jungle. We're going to knock down as much bamboo as we can find, and then we're going to make a heap of scaffolding. And there is a reason for that. We are going to be making a gigantic mesa base, which sounds revolting, but... It'll work out. We should probably also maybe get a, sh a sugar can cane farm as well. Might be a good idea. We also have to change and chop around the tree farm that we've made because uh, Scott's World sent me a video uh, basically on how to farm up all the trees. And turns out the 
worst way that we could grow the trees is the way that we are currently growing them. If we want like unlimited charcoal, ooh, an egg, thank you very much chicken. If we want unlimited charcoal, we need really, really big trees. And I can't remember specifically which ones were the ones we wanted. I think it was spruce, which are only in the, the wet biomes. There was a giant patch of bamboo over this way, I think I remember. I actually see it. I see it through the trees. So we're going to go ahead. We're going to try and find ourselves some better sources of wood so that we can just get unlimited charcoal at literally all times. We should also think about getting ourselves a sheep farm, now that I'm reminded by this sheep right here. I think we're going to need wheat for that, though. We'll do it eventually. We'll do it eventually. His name was Oscar and he got in a fight with another cat and bit his leg and gave him an infection that the doctors couldn't find a cure and he was in so much pain, that's why they put him down. Yeah, unfortunately that can happen. It really, really sucks when it happens, but sometimes infections, they progress way too quickly for anyone to do anything about. And surprisingly, we know very little about how to kind of service animals in the medical field. We know a lot about human illnesses, but not so much about really anyone else. Which is a little bit of a, sh a, bit of a suck. All right, we'll get all of this bamboo. Good. Ooh. My sixth cat survived, though, because I noticed it in time. Good! Always keep an eye out. Always keep an eye out for things like that. A lot of people have things happen to them. All different stories. All of them interesting and unique, making this world actually not boring and bad. And actually good to explore and test, and it's good. Yeah. There's nothing... There's nothing new under the sun, necessarily, when it comes to kind of, like, an economical perspective, because the way economies work, everybody's just repeating what worked already once before. And that's why governments do what they do. But ultimately, in terms of, like, people's life stories, that's always going to be different. Damn, we're getting so much bamboo. We've already got two stacks. Excellent. You guys are going to love this as well. When I first found out about scaffolding, it blew my mind. Like, literally blew my mind. So if you guys haven't seen it before... Oh, perfect! Uh, this is actually one of the things that we need to start growing. This giant 4x4 jungle tree. This is what we need to start cutting down to get ourselves... Ah, oh, yes! To get ourselves all of the charcoal that I was talking about. Basically in two by twos. So the kind of like one patches that I was doing, those are very inefficient. They'll work well for the acacia saplings, but not so well for anything else. Right, good, knock that bamboo down, this bamboo as well. So what do we get out of that one tree? 56 logs out of a single tree. Isn't that crazy? And all we have to do is plant down the saplings. Literally just plant down the saplings and a four by four tree will always grow. It's awesome. I love this game so much. Okay, good. So that'll be unlimited wood. Unfortunately, I'm not really going to do a lot of crafting with the jungle planks because I don't actually like it that much, visually. I think we're just going to use the acacia on the mesa. The acacia. Okay, good. I think we've filled our inventory. We literally have filled our inventory. Let's get rid of that smooth sandstone because we're probably not going to need it. And we'll see how much more we can pick up. We can probably knock down a few more bamboos. Plus, it's boring without problems, and we always learn from them either way. Some people learn from their problems. Some people learn from them. It was Einstein who said that failure is still discovery, but Einstein had an IQ of 180, so I, I feel like maybe a, some people missed out on that kind of wisdom. <laughs> Unfortunately, I hate to say it, I feel like some people definitely missed out on Einstein's wisdom. Can we plant down this bamboo again? Because we probably don't want to just collapse this entire forest, do we? Oh, we can. Perfect. No, can we put it down anywhere? Yes! La, I love that. I love it. Oh, we can also build it up from the ground. That's kind of cool. Never mind, actually, it grew itself. That was not my influence whatsoever. Wasn't me. Okay, we've got a beautiful scene right here. Let's go ahead and take a screenshot because I like it. Excellent. Huh. Your cat also had three legs because when he was a baby, he stepped in a bear trap and lost one of his legs. Jesus! Oh, that may have actually contributed to the speed at which the infection would have uh, gotten to him, unfortunately. By the way, I'm a boy. I'm just using my mom's gout. Okay. I was a little bit confused about that. You definitely seemed much more male in your speech. Okay, we've got two sheep over here. I'm going to lure them over. We're going to stick them in the pig pen. We're going to do that. I hope that we get them to the village before all of the nasties spawn because it doesn't really look like we have much of an option. Come here, sheep. Oh my god, do we just have to abandon these sheep? I don't want to. There's a giant hole in the ground here too. Ah, it'd take too long to go around this. Take way too long. Come on, sheep. Come on. The night is cold and full of monsters. Uh, let's patch this in right here so we can go around. Sheep, 
Yes, those are the sheep we want. Come over here. Don't fall into the ravine. The giant pit of death. I'm serious. If you fall into the giant pit of death, all of this is for naught. Get that out of the way. Get that out of the way. Get that out of the way. This is precarious as hell. Why am I doing this? Come on. We just want to get them into the village, essentially, and then we should be absolutely golden to start up a sheep farm. We're just going to use the white wool because we can dye the white wool. I don't think we can dye the black wool. And we're going to turn these sheep into a wool farm. We're not really going to farm them for their mutton because they drop a very low yield of mutton. It's not worth doing. Bamboo is also good for decorating, but not for desert for obvious reasons. I don't know, like... I feel like the flooring would do really, really well in a desert environment if you already have dark woods around the place, just as a contrast. Okay, we've almost got them in here. We're going to dump these guys into the pig pen. We're into the lit area, which is exactly... Piss off! Okay, fine. We'll engage. Done. Okay. Wait! Come on! Come on, sheepies! That iron golem was doing nothing. All right, where's the rest of them? There are three... What the hell is going on over there? There are four creepers goose guarding the entrance to the farm we want to get to. Okay, we are now being chased. They've aggroed. Okay, good. We can get like one hit off and then we can do a drop assassination. Okay, we now have no weapon. Uh, let's get our... Uh, uh, wheat out. Excellent. And we'll try and lure them over towards here without this creeper doing anything too nasty. Are you taking the piss? I saw that. Oh, come off it. And we got zombies. All right. Fine. Oh, that hurt. I've been smacked. Uh, let's get the stone pickaxe out. We'll see if we can't drop assassinate a couple of these bastards. Okay, that solved the problem pretty amicably. Uh, good. The Iron Golem is doing exactly what we want him to do. Let's get this wheat back out. And we'll get these sheep into the pig pen. That pig almost escaped. That was very close. Okay, good. And in you come. In you come, sheeple. Come on. What the hell are you doing? Get in here. Okay, good. And now we leave. Good. We've got sheep. Perfect. I'm going to go ahead and sleep because it seems like we're really cool with our pants down out here. We might want to start uh, that base tomorrow. We're definitely going to do that. That's why we got the bamboo. Okay. Done. In a house in desert is not bad, but I don't know how much it would fit. Well, we can kind of like create mezzanine floors, right? And if we make that out of bamboo, it'd look really, really good from below and above. I th the hell? There's a skeleton somewhere. Where is it? Oh, there. Surely that's not the one I hear. Okay, I don't know where that skeleton is or even what it's doing. Do we have any valuables? Not really. We do have a dropper. We could probably put that here. I don't know what a dropper actually does, aside from just dump items out onto a pressure plate. Kind of useless in my opinion. I don't need this bucket anymore. Uh, these eggs, we can definitely take these eggs and we can throw them into there. But before we do so, let's actually go ahead and get ourselves a decent weapon. We've got one. We've actually got one spare right there. Uh, Gunpowder, I find that valuable, so I'm gonna put it in the valuables chest. Excellent. We've got one wheat on us. That served us well for the sheep, but we're probably not going to need it again. We are pretty low on food, but we should be fine anyway. All right, I've just pissed off the spider. Oh, we both jumped at each other at the same time, but fortunately I got the head off. There are pandas in the game, and they're so cute, and they eat bamboo. Okay, we've got to create like a panda farm, right? Do they drop meat? Bro, train tracks are amazing in a desert biome. We actually have a bunch of them already. We've almost got a stack of them in that butthole up there, just kind of like northeast of my cross here in that mesa, Kevin. There is a mine shaft, which is why I'm saying up there, that's where we want to set up our base because I, I feel like setting up our base over there is going to be way easier than going into an already pre-established mine shaft, which sometimes does actually have enemies in it. All right, no chickens being pushed through here. There is a bone. Oh, I think a skeleton was trying to get out of the sun in here. That's funny. Uh, we got three more eggs. Let's go ahead and try and spawn some more eggs. Spawn some more chickens. With our little, a cheeky little technique right here. Boop. 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 We haven't had a single chicken spawn from an egg. Is that just really bad luck? Or is it like impossible to do in the desert biome? Because we can move this chicken cooker kind of like over into the tiny section of the plains that we do have. Just over there. It's hard to say. Really hard to say. 
Okay, we'll start making some of this um, scaffolding because we're going to need it. Don't you mean minecart rails? Yeah, he does. He definitely means that. Okay, so we need all of the string that we can manage. That's why I collected string like crazy. We needed all of the string for the bow to make the uh, the object that we needed to make the, the clicker. This, this thing right here. Which is not going to be active for a wee while yet. Okay. So, now that we've done that, we are going to make a bunch of scaffolding. I hope it's not too hard. I think we only need one string per stack. Where is it? Melons. We should probably also make a melon farm while we're here. Block of bamboo? No, we don't want blocks of bamboo. We want... Maybe we do actually want a block of bamboo. Okay, good. Now we've got new recipes. Where is the scaffolding? Scaffolding. There it is. I don't know what it's listed under. Oh, that's so easy to make. And we get six of them per. Holy hell. Okay, good. Uh, how much of this is going to stack into a stack? Almost. So we probably want a few stacks of this, right? Okay, good. We've got two stacks and a bit. That should be enough to make a base out in that mesa up there. Now, we need lots and lots of, of acacia logs. So we're going to go ahead and get that sorted now too. We're also going to kind of like chop and change this here area that we've got for growing the trees because this is inefficient. Like it's, it's nice to have, but it's really inefficient. Okay, good. That one can go down too. Excellent. We should have a full inventory, which is not amazing. Probably want to just go ahead and maybe start dropping some things off. Uh, we've got this warp fungus still. We need to empty our inventory. We need to empty our inventory. Probably right this second. Where's that apple? Give me the apple. Thank you. We'll eat these apples. Because we have no health and we can't sprint. Oh, we also have bread. We've got a boat in our inventory still. Why are we playing like this? This is stupid. Okay, I'm gonna dump everything that we don't immediately need right now into this chest right here. Leads, boat, wheat, uh, spider's eye, these four torches, obviously. Uh, stone is not handy for us. Jungle saplings, no. Jungle logs, no. Cobblestone, no. Sand, no. Bamboo, no. Acacia doors, no. Probably want to keep that scaffolding. The scaffolding could go in that end of the hot bar. Leave a no. Dead bush, why? And also sandstone wall. Which probably also patch that hole in the middle of the, the city too. I'll do that with the sand, I think. We'll go do that now before we forget. Someone will fall in it and they'll get stuck. Or maybe not. Maybe they won't get stuck. Okay, we'll fill that in there. I don't think we've got enough sand actually to fill this in. Maybe we should just get rid of the sand and then fill in these lower blocks with the sandstone. How big is this? Probably big enough to warrant taking all of the sand from the second layer. Okay, we'll take that, and let's just put them here. There, there, there. There, there, there. There, there, there. There, there, there. There, 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 there. Good, and there, there. And there, there, there. Beautiful! And we'll put all of the sand across here. We'll beautify the area. I think we don't have enough sand. Oh no, we actually don't have enough sand. How frustrating. <laughs> God, creepers are such a pain in the ass, aren't they? <sighs> Kill the witch! Just imagine taking a great screenshot of a desert train track system in the mountain at afternoon or morning sunshine. Minecart rails. Yes, thank you for reminding me. And yeah, we will be doing that. We will be doing that. We'll, we'll set up some rails so that we don't have to walk up to the base every single time that we want to go to the base and come to the village. Because we're going to want to set up all of our productive enterprise down here. We want to set all of our automation on that m big mesa plane right here. Just because I like the idea of all the red sands. And maybe we'll set up a more village closer to where we are going to stick, base, what is going to be our mecca. You know what I hate? When I forget my plan for a build I'm making? Yes, that is the importance of keystones, my dude. You've got to stick down keystones. Okay, let's fill that in. And the subsidian here, I'll just keep it there because it looks nice. Whew, we'll take a look at these eggs again. We haven't had any luck with the eggs, though, unfortunately. Not a single one of them has birthed us a chicken. Okay, that was not helpful. Right. We need acacia logs. We'll get a bunch of these acacia logs and now that our inventory is all packed out with nothing. And then we'll kind of like... We'll go and we'll start framing up the base. I'm probably going to go for a big multiple structure straight off rip. Because that's kind of like how I like to... That's how I like to format my bases. I love these acacia logs as well. God, they look so good. 
We're just going to frame it out with the acacia logs. We'll use... I think we'll use the bamboo planks on the top floor. Maybe. On a mezzanine floor. And we'll use the acacia planks beneath. But at the same time, we're also going to... Probably have bamboo slabs on the second mezzanine floor. Keystones? Yeah, so it's a, it's a Roman method of kind of like marking out where a building's going to be placed because they didn't really have things like photographs to reference when they were building all of their structures. We just need to change all of these so that we can actually grow multi-block trees. Okay, just saplings. Yes, please. Let's dump these all down here. I don't think these can come out in multi-block structures, but we can always try. I'm actually going to try. I'll see if there's any soil in here. No, just logs. Oh, we have a stack of acacia logs right here. Perfect. So let's go ahead and dump those oak logs there. We probably need to also get some minecart powered rails, right? Let's check them out. Uh, rail. So we need powered rails. We don't care about detector rails. I don't really care about activator rails either. We want powered, powered rails. That is actually proportionately very cheap, considering what they do. We're probably going to need a few of these to get us up into the mesa, though. So we're going to need a redstone dust, a stick, and probably all the gold we have. We've got 38 gold, which is heaps. Heaps of gold. We've got all of the redstone on our hotbar already. And what else do we need? It was... Oh, we can also make a stone cutter, which I'm pretty sure is a, an NPC thing, right? Probably want to make one of those anyway. Powered rail, right here. And sticks. Do we have sticks? Yes, we do. Okay, so... I feel like... 30 of them should get us up that lift right there. Good God, does that not look absolutely phenomenal? I love the shader pack so much. <sighs> this area here is perfect for building. I can literally see myself building stuff. Yes, yeah, so can I. The visualization is exploding from my brain. My faithless texture pack would not be the best. This is kind of, honestly, where the shader packs are thriving. Because we've got the vanilla textures, right? But they also have what looks like reflective alpha mapping. Oh, I love how that looks right there. Let's take a screenshot of that. I love that so much. If you build it, they will come. If you build it, they will come. Okay, now that we've got all of this, we could probably actually go ahead and just go start framing it up, right? So we'll probably put some temporary rails down to just get us up and down from the actual place itself. We'll prioritize getting us up the... Oh, that's so much more pretty. We'll prioritize getting ourselves up the lift in the first place. And then I think we will get ourselves kind of uh, the rails that take us all the way to the village. I think that's probably going to be the best prioritization of our time. All right, let's go ahead and come in here, because I'm pretty sure the sun's going down. There's a villager already sleeping. Oh, apparently this isn't my bed anymore. That's awesome, my loving. I was about to ask how you made those trees for, but I, then I remember that you said you were using a mod and it was your favorite. Yes, we're using a one mod. Aside from that, we are going to be playing uh, exclusively vanilla. It is called Tree Capitator, and it is such a fantastic mod. I will never live without it. Oh, look at this. Look at this. The beauty! I'm taking more screenshots. Okay. Now, let's go ahead and start kind of like picking out where we want to put the space. I'm thinking there's a little kind of notch right there. I wonder if you guys can see it. You probably can see it. There's a notch in the mesa almost right at the top there. I think if we build our base in between the yellow and the red line on that mesa, we can kind of like just have a nice bit jutting out from there. Then we'll build foundations out of fences or something like that. Leading straight from the ground. Oh, this is an oasis. We never actually walked close enough to this area. Oh, yes. A patch of water right beneath the base. That's going to make us go down so fast. Imagine having a wall around the village. Make it a literal castle of your own or a small town. Then stand at the wall. And when the sun goes down, you will take a screenshot with the shaders. Just oh my god. Now, the reason I like this so much. I'm going to stick it up here. And this faces the sunrise, which will cast over the village. So it's going to be absolutely breathtaking. Oh, look at this. It's already breathtaking, actually. So we should probably just get some temporary easements on these rails to get us up this mountain so we don't have to climb up it over and over again. Uh, we should probably also torch the place up, right? Let's go ahead and just do that. Stick some torches around here. Just so nothing spawns in this tiny little crevasse. 
Excellent. And now we want to build up the side of this mountain, which may be a bit of a pain in the ass. Uh, we don't have a lot of building blocks, actually. Maybe we want to go all the way back and get ourselves some more sandstone. We're going to eat so we can run. Good. I know what vanilla Minecraft means, but I have no idea why they call it that. Uh, vanilla is kind of like what you just call a game that doesn't have any flavor to it. That's essentially where all of that comes from. Like vanilla Skyrim, vanilla Oblivion. It's just devoid of any kind of flavor mods, which is... But people call mods flavoring for a game, which makes sense once you actually start using it. Is it just me or is the stream having lag spikes? It's definitely not me, my man. It's definitely not me. I'm not getting any notifications for any drop frames whatsoever. Okay, we are going to fill in all of these buttholes across here as well. We're just going to turn this place into an absolute paradise of automation. So we can overlook all of our good stuff, like auto smelters. We'll get some, uh, like, fight clubs with villagers. I think that'll be really, really fun to see from our ivory tower as well. Like, some, some really big fight clubs. Not just, like, 1v1, but, like... You know, five villagers fighting five villagers. That would be awesome to see when we wake up every single morning. Just some villagers beating each other to death for fun and sport. And I am now Jeff Bezos, I've realized. Yeah, it's just you, Sarah. Sarah has confirmed. It's just you. Uh, let's get some building blocks. I'm pretty sure we should probably be using sand blocks as kind of like a, a temporary replacement. But if we get... Actually, we probably can get away with just getting some sandstone blocks. And then building up the side of the mountain... Okay, I've got, a, I've got a little bit of a plan on how I'm going to do this, right? We want to get as much of the sand as we possibly can. We also want to fill out the stack that we have here. Good. I'm going to turn all of these into sandstone blocks. And then we are going to kind of like place the blocks against the side of the mountain in a way where we can place minecart rails. And then we're going to remove the sand that we placed uh, underneath them. Or we can just place them on the side of the mountain. Like, it doesn't actually matter. Just as long as they're solid blocks that aren't falling. And also the other thing I forgot to mention, what else Faithless does, it customizes your menu screen and everything. Everything looks amazing, but the best is the railing possibility because of the rework. I probably won't be using a lot of mods. Not until we get into a really, really good workflow with just vanilla Minecraft. Just lovely. Because I am planning on doing Skyblock. Like, not public Skyblock, but definitely private lobbies with viewers. And the whole premise of that is that it's going to be a couple of hours long and every single episode... The viewer is going to die some kind of horrible death, which may or may not be caused by me. We'll see how good they are at it. Okay. It costs around about two food bars to get us all the way out here. So, let's start placing all of this down. I'm going to go ahead and just make a line all the way along here so that we can place some rail tracks later. It's a, it's a bit of a preventative for later. So, here's the plan, right? So, rails turns here. It goes up here, up here. And then we just keep on scooting up here, doing tops and turns as much as we possibly, maybe not like right there. I mean, we probably could just stick it right there. I just don't want to. So, okay, here, turn, turn, and lift. I don't want to get too blind from this. Good, and turn, and turn, and lift, and lift, and turn, and lift. And lift. It's going to give us a little bit of vertigo coming up here. But I feel like it might still do really, really well. Okay, up here. And turn. And lift. And lift. And that's a whole stack of sandstone gone. And lift. And lift. And we're actually very close to where we want to be building this. I'm kind of using the Mesa's stripes as keystones. And turn. And lift. And lift and lift, and turn, and lift, and lift, and lift, and turn, and lift, and lift, and put one here, 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 turn, mine these out, and then we'll just use the natural formation to continue onwards, here, good, and lift, oh, piss off, <laughs> there's a giant chasm there, that's not good, and lift, and lift, and lift, and lift, and turn, and lift, 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 lift. Excellent. Right up here. Perfect. Now here is going to be a little bit weird because we are going to place a block here, block here, block here. And then we're going to lift up this away. Pick that out. Yes. And pick that up. Pick that up. Pick... No, leave that one there because it's nice and natural. And 
this will be flat. Because essentially, this is where we want to make the base. Actually, we kind of want to lift it up a little bit more. Lift, 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 lift. Very good. And we want to mine this one out. And this one, so we don't bump our head every time we come along here. Then we'll continue along. Put that there. I know it looks kind of ass, but it shouldn't do forever. There's going to be a turn there. And this right here is where I'm going to build it. I think. So now that we've done that, let's go ahead and build kind of like a, a reception platform. I feel like this might be a good idea. Good. Put all of this out here. Three more blocks going all the way out there. Huh. I wonder how much your shader BSL will crash me when I use it. I tried to install it on Yintset's computer, which is a fairly old computer. I got her, her first desktop uh, this February, and it wasn't expensive. Believe me, it was not expensive whatsoever. Oh my god, this is our view. Isn't this awesome? This is going to be what we see every time we wake up. I love this. I actually love this. Okay, beautiful. And then we want to recess into here, don't we? So we want to mine out all of this crap right here. Let's just, let's just place down these rails first. First and foremost, let's place down these rails. So we want a powered rail. Okay, so we're going to... How are we going to do this? I'm going to mine this one out. And then we are going to go ahead... No, actually, I've got a better idea. No, I don't. Yeah, no, I do. Okay, so powered rail here, and then we want the normal rails to be going in... We, do we have them? Do we not grab the normal rails? Oh, ploppers. Okay, I wonder if we can jump into that from here. That'd really shorten the trip we take downwards. Okay, I'm gonna go for it. What? Oh, it doesn't look good. We did. <laughs> that was so close, though. We almost made it. I'm gonna go back, get my loot. We're gonna go back home, then we're gonna uh, sleep. That was so close. I wish I had a view like that. Now I need to go to bed. Bye. Bye bye, Sarah Team. Saw whoever you are. This progress is slow, but great. Slow and steady wins the race. Yes, it definitely does. But when the, pro when the progress is over, everything's finished. Okay. We're going to go back. We're going to go get our things. And then we're going to run all the way back to the village in the midnight of what we have here. Oh, that doesn't actually look that bad. It actually... I kind of like it. I kind of like the zigzagging patterns. We probably should have just got the the Minecraft rails. Minecart rails. This is Minecraft. Okay, that's good. Here's all of our things and our experience and all of our shame. There's also shame in here. Look at all that shame in the water right there. Our shame is all wet. Uh, we got torches. Good. There's an armadillo here that I'm pretty sure we didn't drop. There's scaffolding. There's bamboo. There's a bunch of crap all over the place. Okay. We've got all of that. There's copper here too. I think that's everything. We also got all of our gold on us. We, so we need to empty our inventory. What a silly idea that was. What a stupid idea. I can't believe we actually did that. Can we eat this? No. What is this? Warp fungus. We're gonna... Well, that was weird. It turns out shift R actually reloads all of the shaders. I wanted to throw that on the ground. It wasn't even R that I pressed, I was pretty sure. Okay, we are literally on a foot race to outrun the sun. Apollo is catching up on us. You know, Apollo. The guy in the chariot. What a dick. He's the reason all these things are spawning. That is pretty. Whoa! Oh, I didn't take a screenshot. I wanted to take a screenshot. I was just like too... I was too held aback by how beautiful that was. Okay, uh, so we'll do a sleep here. We should probably go and get ourselves a bed of some sort, which means we need to make shears, or we could just steal one from the village. Probably not necessary. Hate that I messed up my space, but want to know the story? Sure. Sure, go ahead. Tell me your story. Was it like a billion creepers? That's usually what happens to me whenever a space gets messed up. Okay, golden leggings. We're actually going to wear this simply because it's really, really good for our uh, uh, goblin. No, piglins, right? Yeah, piglins. Put the pickaxe here and the broken one there. We'll get the stone axe there. Let's make some shears. We'll get some sheep's wool. Actually, no. We'll just breed the sheep. And then we'll come back. We'll just get the wool. Because we're not going to be, like, a, we're not going to be away for any more than a day. Not with all the resources we already have. Uh, this one. That's all done. Got some wheat. Need two wheat. Right here, please. Yes, thank you. 
Done. I'm not going to replant it because I can't be asked. And then we're going to go and we're going to feed the chickens as well because that is also going to be something they want to, to have done to them. They, they want us to feed them. Okay, good. And this one too. Bugger! Bugger, little sheep! Good. I got experience for that. Ooh! Ooh! It's like keeping the placenta. Gross. All right, we've got some seeds here. We're going to feed these to the chickens. I was raging in League of Legends and lost the fifth time and broke it. Oh, no. I, I have friends that have done that before. I don't know how they could do it, though. All right, and this one. And also, there's another chicken right there. Bugger! Little chickens. Okay, so in here, nine eggs. I'm going to enable this, and we'll see whether or not we actually get a single chicken put forward. Ah, nice! Okay, it has begun! Now, we need more chickens up topside, and the reason for that is because they're going to just start dumping. We only got two chickens out of that, but there's still two chickens that we can eat later, which we can't eat now, because they are not matured yet. They mature fast, though. I just smashed the space with full power with my fist. Oh, that sucks. That sucks. My space button actually just wore out recently. I had to get a new keyboard. I don't know if I like this new keyboard. It, d the last one I had had a wee notch on the W. And hilariously, I was watching a Markiplier video recently where he said the exact same thing. So I think he also uh, went from the keyboard that I had to the new one that I have now. All right. Let's go ahead and disable this real quick so that we compile some eggs. And we'll kind of like multiply the chick. Actually, we've got... We've got food for days. We didn't grab the minecart tracks, did we? No, we did not. That was close. That was very close. Let's go ahead and do that. And then we'll start placing them all down. And if we need any more, we can always just kill all the iron golems here for the iron. Makes more like that. Or we could go into that minecart uh, shaft. Sorry, the mine shaft up there. And we'll just go and get more. This is kind of weird. What is this? It is death. It is most certainly certain death. Let's not go down there. Remember, robbers do not do not dare to mess with a gamer rage on purpose. Don't they? Oh, no! Oh, my God. I actually just crapped myself. Okay, we're going to need more red sand, I think. <laughs> it's probably a bit of an extreme reaction to sand dissipating. Okay, so... We've got our little platform up there. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and start placing down these rail tracks. And we probably want... How much do the activator rails actually get us? How far up? Okay, we probably don't need activator rails down... No, we do, because we want to actually go up. So let's go ahead and put one right there. We need one, like, here as well. Okay, one, two, three. I'm just going to put one here. Because I think that's probably a good place for it. Good, and we'll see if these actually do curve onto the other rails. Perfect. Excellent. Oh, this is going to give us such bad vertigo. Ah, so it doesn't work like that. Gotcha. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. All right, that's fine. We'll get these out of the way, and we'll move all of the sandstone platform over one block. There, 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 and we will mine out... The one that we have already placed down. The reason we use sandstone blocks is because we can mine them out real fast. We'll eventually replace them with something a little bit more Mesa-ish, but you know, for now, I think it's fine. All right, so rail here, rail here. That should give us a good run up. Get up there. Boop. That doesn't curve. Ah. So does it have to be the same? Yeah, it has to be the same type. Okay, it's good to know. Good to know indeed. I'll put that like that, and that one is not going to function there. We actually want that one here, don't we? So we can put the rails there and there. Excellent. I like this. And we want to curve that around here so that the activated rail can go there. We'll have one like at the start of every lift. I think that should be fine. And one there, and also one here. Okay, it doesn't work like that. That sucks. Maybe here instead. Yep, that works. That doesn't. Okay, so we actually need to bust this out slightly further than it is. Here. Right there. That should be good. Okay, we'll bit a rail here, 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 and here. Nice. Excellent. I like this. I like how it's functioning. And we're going to need another little run up here. So we'll do the same thing. There, there, and here, 
and we'll curve it around here. So we got an activator rail going there. We'll put a rail here, 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 here. And fortunately, we thought this one out in advance. We'll curve this one around, and then we'll put another air powered rail right there, and here, and here. And yes, I know we're going to need redstone to kind of like power those rails. We do have spare redstone to spare. One there, one there, one there, and here, and here, and here. And then we want to curve this if we can. No, we cannot. Whoops, we were using activator rails for all of those. Embarrassing. Put that there, and we'll get rid of this one here. Good. And then curve it. That's not going to function at all. Oh, no, that throws everything off. No, it doesn't. It doesn't throw anything off. Okay, we'll mine this one out, and then we'll mine this one out, and that should be golden. We'll get another powered rail there, and rail here, here, here. Uh, yes, yeah, so we're going to need a couple of blocks here. We're right next to that really awful cavern as well. So, oops, fell down. That was close. Could have killed us. Didn't, luckily. Uh, let's get rid of that block in case something ends up on the train tracks. And also, while I'm paranoid, let's torch this place up. Okay, good. And we'll put one there, 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 there. This can be a powered rail. Yes, sirree. Good. And we'll mine out some of these so we don't bump our noggins on the way down. Ah. Oh, my God. Hello there, every other papyrus. It seems like the universes are blending, doesn't it? Okay, up here. We should be almost at the end, right? Or are we... No, we're pretty far away from the end, actually. So we're probably going to need to get more of these rails, unfortunately. But it should be absolutely fine anyway. Okay. Rail, rail, rail. Powered rail. Good. And then we want to rail, rail, rail. And then powered rail. Because I'm pretty sure we can only go up like three blocks or something. Okay, we're out now. So if I go ahead and I bump this out by another block and put another block there. If we do get a minecart and we start using this, we'll just stop here, hopefully. We don't actually know, though. All right, that's that out of the way. We're going to go into the mining cavern to get some more rail tracks in the next day, I think. This looks absolutely disgusting, too. I'm quite aware of how disgusting it looks. We also need to make a minecart, too, don't we? Okay! <laughs> Honestly, it's going to be much more annoying to kind of, like, just look at being on the minecart when we go up here. I like make it not eat spaghetti. Do you like oatmeal with dinosaur eggs? Oh, it seems like the other pepper... I think you've uh, finally found your autistic clone there, Dust Believe Pepperus. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Oh, he said that in another stream as well, and it confused everybody then as well. I think it's just like one of those lol ass random kind of kind of autistic outbursts. It used to be really, really popular around about 2011 or so. Okay, good. Our chickens should be doing fine. Let's see. No, we don't have any cooked chicken yet. They need to mature. They need to just grow up. Uh, is it time for bed? Oh. I love this. I love this so much. Okay, take a screenshot of that, obviously. Okay, so now we need more rails. So we're going to have to do that tomorrow. And we're going to have to go up into there, I'd say. Let's go ahead and try and drop off some of our more important items. Like string is quite important. Probably don't care too much about the pickaxes. We've got many torches. We want to keep these acacia logs. But not there. We want to keep them like here, don't we? Got a lot of bamboo too. We'll put that in that chest. Cobblestone, we'll put that in the chest. Terracotta, don't need any of that, honestly. Scaffolding, probably don't need this now that we've got the mine carts and stuff set up. But we are going to be using them just to kind of get up there in the first place. All right, good. We should be able to sleep now. You don't know oatmeal with dinosaur egg? No, no one does. No one has known it every time you've mentioned in the chat. <laughs> Yeah, no, you're, you're trying to make a stone bleed there, Papyrus. Papyrus is not going to actually tell you what the hell he's on about. It's one of those little inside jokes that people go around chats with, hoping that somebody will, like, buy into it, I assume. I don't know what the hell it's supposed to mean, though. 
Savage. All right, so I'm gonna check in here. There's a cat here, probably looking at our chickens. I think we've got three little immature chickens in there. If we've got any seeds, we do have wheat seeds. We're gonna use these on the chickens to try and get them to breed another couple of chickens inside of the little hole that we've got, the little bang hole that we've got. All right, one there, one there, and we want the one there, and if we can get another one, there we go. No, that was just a new chicken. Hello? Anyone else hungry? Anyone else want some seeds? No? Seriously? Okay, we wasted one. We wasted one of the seeds, but that's fine. Okay, we're going up there this time. Uh, let's make a sword, because we also kind of want to collect some of the string while we're up there. It's really, really handy. Uh, where's the bin? Let's just throw this in the bin right here. Done. Okay, so we need sticks. We're probably going to need a few sticks. We'll just take those sticks with us, and we'll need two cobblestone. Probably should also take some cobblestone with us in case we actually need the tools. Okay, we're doing that. Probably also want to... Oh, no. We also want to keep some of the wood on us so that we can create ourselves a bench if we need it. Powered rails, that can stay here in case we die. Put them right there. Good. And I think when we get back here after kind of like getting the minecarts, we'll get the automatic melon farm set up. We'll redo some of the... Uh, the trees that we have here. And then we'll focus on this base full time, I think, would be the best option. Okay, the sword is for the string. What else we got? Uh, we need wood. We need just any wood. Doesn't really matter what kind of wood. And here maybe? Yeah, we'll take these oak logs. That'll serve us well. And now we are good to go. Still have that shield. Oh no, we lost that shield in the nether, I think. We've got a bone for some reason. Don't know where that came from. All right, this one's significantly closer, by the way. I think this one's just more daunting when to get close to it. Because I can kind of, like, see... Whoa, that was close. I can kind of see the uh, mine tracks that we've made, and it is not even remotely close to the summit. It's, like, two-thirds up. So we kind of... We kind of whiff that a little bit. But should be fine regardless. <sighs> Humans say, what is my favorite food? And I don't know, but flower keep... T okay, that's autistic. I think the flower's lying to you. All right, role-playing. A little bit sus, a little bit sus. All right, we'll come up here. And what else have we got? A little bit of sand. Good. We're on Mesa now, we're on Mesa land. So there's gonna be a lot of enemies in here. I would probably extrapolate from just the darkness in there. Let's actually take these torches and put them on our offhand right there. And we'll get our ax out in case we get attacked, not our sword, because it's actually a bit of a crap weapon. Okay, good. Here we are. Oops. Nice. All right, who's in here? This is just, this is just crappy cabin. Okay, I'll illuminate it so nothing spawns in here and catches us off guard. Let's go ahead and drop that on the floor right there. And let's keep on going. Oops, I've fallen down. We've lost a significant amount of progress in our climb, unfortunately. Why do, why do I always insist on just parkouring up these blocks? Why don't I ever make a bridge? I can't believe me. Okay, we're pretty high up. I don't really know from where we are where we'd find that mine shaft though. We'll go right up to the top. Maybe there's a hole up from the top. I seem to remember there is actually a hole up on the top of this mesa where we can kind of like dive into. Or maybe we can at least see the, the sheer cliff sides. Or not. Okay, we're very lost. Maybe we went too high. Is this where we want to be? There's a black cat over there. Hello, black cat. There it is, black cat. Okay, I don't think this is it somehow. I think this is just a crappy little sinkhole. Oh, I think that's it right there. I think we actually did go up a little bit too high. No, it is not. Or is it? No, it is not. Ah! <laughs> it's so obnoxious. Where is it? We didn't place the stone down, so we can't really use that as a marker. Okay, we'll just keep on flanking around the outskirts here. Jensen, when are you going to stream again? Uh, that would be, believe it or not, tomorrow. I'm a daily streamer. I think I see one down here. I think I see one on the mine shafts. I don't remember it being so, so low down, though. Maybe it's a different one. Or maybe it's not actually a mineshaft. Maybe it's just an annoying chasm. Yep, that's just an annoying chasm. Boop, light that up. Wow. Piss on that. I mean, that's a pretty big area. We could probably set up like a skylight base above it, but I don't really have the resources to do that or the drive to do it. What's that? Nothing. 
Where the hell was it? I'm certain it was on this mesa right here. We've skirted around this thing like five or six times. Okay, I'll keep on going. That is too soon. Okay, I'm going to be doing it anyway there, to, uh, Papyrus. All right, so we come down. Let's just actually look. Let's use our eyes and see if we can't see exactly where it is. There it is. Okay, that was actually annoyingly hard to find. Oh. All right, there's another pit of death. Good God, this place is actually a little bit hazardous. What if we can do anything with that red sand as well? It would be nice as kind of like a decorative block, but it does fall. It would kind of make like a, a spice, a dune kind of spice field. Good. And up here. Is it? Or is this literally just a, a hollowed out? Pfft. No, okay, this is not it. I can't find it. I can't find the mine, the mine shafts. A little bit of a wet fart. Okay. Maybe I can't find them because I already took half of the rails. Okay. Come around here. See if there's any other little entrances on the side of the face of this mountain here. I do see a hole there. I'm pretty sure that's just a chasm. Don't think there's anything in there. Whew. Sorry for missing out, but I'll try to stay alert. But when you stream again, it gets to tier 130 or 104 for me. Like AM. That's pretty late, actually. I wouldn't blame you if you just went to sleep. Uh, but the VODs are always going to be up. Don't worry. You won't miss a thing. They're all recorded. Okay, we'll come up here. Got a cacti there. Almost walked into it. Damn, that is a big mesa. Like, that is huge. That is a great place to set up a base. Okay, I still don't see any mine cart shafts. Might be one on this side. We haven't actually been this way before. Let's go exploring. Let's see what actually is this way. It's not really going to be a hell of a lot, though. Just more oasis. There's a little bit of planes right here, which is kind of cool, but... Not a huge amount that we would ever want to see. There's also a giant mountain range over that way as well. Okay, yeah, I'm not seeing a huge amount. Toby Fox confirmed Pepper's favorite food is oatmeal with dinosaur egg. Did he? Oh, that explains that weird ass thing you keep shouting in chat with just unsolicited. Unsolicited shouting. Let's go up here, see if we can find it from here. Good. And up all the way here, hopefully. Uh, we'll bust into this. It's just sand. It's just sand. We can climb this. That is a huge mesa. Oh my god. Okay. I don't see a single mine shaft. In fact, I don't see anything of use in any way, shape, or form. This is all virtually useless to us. Yeah, there's nothing here for us. Okay. We're probably... Let's go back to the village. We'll kill all of the golems, and then we'll try and make some, some rails out of their... Uh, bodies, I think. You think I'll miss out about talking and hang out with the best person? That's dumb and my only motivation and fun. Sorry, but I have to pass on your suggestion. I will sleep after you end the stream. Or if I get too tired. Okay, I mean, it's up to you. It's completely up to you, my dude. I am the sand underman. I am the sand guardian. Guardian of sand. Is that from something? Because I am most certainly the sand guardian. We're probably going to have to wall off our village. Okay, so that was a complete bust. We're just going to... We've got a torch in each hand. That's funny. We're going to have to maybe kill all of the iron golems in the village. We'll take their, their body parts and we'll turn that into the minecart rails. I think while we're kind of like baffing around the village then, we'll just go and change out the tree growing areas that we have. Because they're not amazing. They're not amazing. We could have a much more effective uh, farm at this point. And we only need the four, the two by two blocks, which is four saplings. It is a meme. It connects to sands. You know, sand. Oh, right. Sand. Yes. Sand. I get it. Sands. Okay, we'll go ahead and do an eat right here. I'm going to move all of these dirt blocks. I'll, whoops. I didn't want to do that. Let's break that with our bread. There you go. Literal application of the phrase breaking bread. We'll go ahead and move all of these really into the middle. Honestly, all of these dirt chunks into the middle. And we'll have them in two by twos. One there. One here. And the reason we're doing this is because it actually makes for a more... Eff 
effective tree growing area. Obviously, we'll try and like keep that area as the acacia place because I'm pretty sure they don't grow into two by two trees. But as it currently stands, we are very inefficient with our tree growth. All right, one there. Take that one out as well. Take this one out. Take this one out. We'll go back for the dirts. We've got about five minutes before they despawn, so we should be absolutely fine and dandy. Uh, the sun is going down, unfortunately. So we are probably going to have to... Oh, that's pretty too. Screenshot. We're probably going to have to go to bed. Probably going to have to go to bed. Now, we've got three sheep as well, so we can actually shear them with some shears. And every time we do that, we'll have exactly enough wool for a bed. Okay, good. Get all of this. All of this dirt. It's all valuable. Especially when there's no dirt growing around the place. Thank you. And this one too. Good. And there's nothing in there. We want this one. Uh, we are missing a single dirt block. There it is. Excellent. All right, let's go to bed so that we don't get our entire tree growth area blown up, which would suck ass. I wonder if any of the chickens are going to be cooked by tomorrow as well. We'll see soon. Boom. Nice. Me, it's 10 p.m. It's 4 a.m. Oh, my God. That is late. My dude. Oh, my best friend's actually just changed his uh, shift time around as well. So now he goes to bed at around about 2 to 3 a.m. or so. Let's make some shears. I don't remember what the pattern is, but I think it's through. No. It's just two? Yeah, there we go. Shears. Done. We'll put these back in the valuables chest. These iron ingots. We'll get these shears and we'll go and get some wool from the sheep. Uh, hello there, sheep. Yoink. Thank you. There's a couple over here. I'm not going in there because it, it may open the floodgates for the pigs getting out. Oh, we're getting a bunch of wool. Nice. Uh, that sucks. It's like Silent Hill right now. That's not good. We got five white wool. That's pretty damn good, honestly. Wait, can they actually escape? Oh, they don't want to, though, because there's no grass anywhere else. That's hilarious. Yoink. Okay, I'm taking this guy's wool as well. Watch me here. We got eight wool. That's two beds worth. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and stick the... Let's take these jungle logs. Why not? And put some... No, we want to keep that cobblestone for tools. Put that bone in there. Don't need that. We've got a bunch of sand. We've got a bunch of sandstone as well. We've got a bunch of bread. Okay, let's make some beds. I think we'll make some beds and we should be in a pretty good spot, honestly. Uh, we'll get some jungle planks. I don't like how they look, but they are functional. Whoop, whoop. So this is going to be two beds for us. One, two. Done. That's two beds. Okay, so that is going to go up on the mesa. And we shouldn't have to worry about that too much. Let's go ahead. Let's get some sand on our hotbar. And we'll start harvesting all of the iron golems. It has been three now, three hours. Good progress, good stream. Oh, yeah, I go for like six, though, in these Minecraft days. I really love these, these kind of like really relaxing games. Boing, boing, boing. And now we want to drop assassinate this here golem. Boop. I didn't realize he was actually going to jump up onto that other little area there. That's embarrassing. Okay, so where do we die? Probably. Hello? Are you serious? Oh my god. Okay, we probably actually need to fortify this place, right? Because that is just not good enough. That is not good. We just got railed by a creeper. That's so annoying. I think we lost some of those blocks as well. Uh, we could probably actually do with dismantling that entire building. Probably not really too interested in it anymore. Alright. So over here... I want to take out this giant lump of land as well. Because it's not good for us. Uh, we'll go ahead and we'll re-up our hot bar right here. We'll put the pants on our legs. A stick can go there. Sword goes here. Sandstone stays on the hot bar. Shears stay on the hot bar. Dirt, not useful. Where's the pick? There is a pick here and here. Excellent. Done. And we need sand. Six sand, sure. We've got a stack of sand, actually. Oh, that is so annoying. Oh, I hate that so much. Okay, let's go ahead and just kind of like patch out the underlay with the sandstone. I can't believe this. This always happens. Okay, we've got a second and a half of sand. That's awesome. I'll fill all of this in. And this house, unfortunately, is going to be made of sand from now on. It's going to be a sand castle. There we go. That's one, that's one stack down. Let's go ahead and grab this one here. Fill this out. Sucks to be this guy, honestly. 
Oh no, that's the wall. So we don't want that there or that there. It's really hard to tell, honestly. You can't actually tell if there's sand or sandstone unless you look really closely at something. So we could probably actually use that as kind of like a, a technique for architecture. All right, a few of them go here. Boop, boop. And boop, boop. And boop, boop. And it's a house. No difference to what it was, except for this fence, which kind of looks okay. We'll keep it there. Okay, let's start killing these uh, golems now because we need the iron. Two and three. And hello there, buddy. Boop. And boop. And boop. And one more. Boop. Okay, one more. Boop. Okay, another one. Sure. Boop. Damn, this guy's tough. There we go. He is down. He's done and dusted. Excellent. Whew. Do you know Era 404 Sands? No, never heard of it. I love that rain. It is... It's very cool, isn't it? This is kind of why we were setting up in the desert. Because the rain in the desert is just massive fog. I love it so much. Always 10 or 6 hours. It's not actually usually 10 hours. I've only done 10 hours once, and that was Afraid of Monsters. No. Cry of Fear. That was Cry of Fear. We only did a 10-hour 10, 10 stream once. Okay. Uh, there's another one of the golems up here. Let's go ahead and take him down if we can. Actually, we probably want to set up on the high ground. Okay, he's in the way. One, two, three. And we want to just hit him to get him aggroed on us. Good. One, two, and three, four, and five, and six, and... Whoop, missed that one. Six, and seven. Good. Okay, we don't want these poppies. We don't care about them too much. Nice. I'm culling the population because there's so many of them around the place. There's a bunch of them over here. That is fantastic. Let's actually just block them. One, two, and three. Great. And drop assassinate. Nice. And drop assassinate. Oop, oh, missed. I'm doing an Assassin's Creed here. The game has changed. It's no longer Minecraft. We are now the, uh... We are now Cassandra. And drop that one. One more, I think. Good. And this guy also can go down. I missed. Okay, we'll aggro him over towards us. Oh, no, we have to crouch just to kind of, like, increase our range. And whoop. Nice. Done. Beautiful. Okay, so we got a few of these poppies, which are kind of yucky. I don't want these poppies whatsoever. We also got some iron. We got 18 iron ingots. That is awesome. There's another one of these iron golems just over here. Let's go ahead and take him out as well. Whoop. Whoop. That's a fence. Whoop. 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 And now drop. Excellent. And whoop, nice. A few more. I know it's a little bit time consuming, but I feel like the yield from killing these golems is a little bit better than actually going into the mine. As long as you have the golems to spare. Okay, good. We'll go up to our bin and throw these poppies onto it. There you go. Done. And now we want to make a bunch of cards. Excellent. We've got our first cooked chicken. That feels good. Let's eat it. Nice. And we should have some feathers in here too, so we can start making ranged uh, weapons, which means now we can actually do combat. We can actually do the combat. It's so cool. Okay, we've got 18 of these iron ingots in this chest as well. We've got 21 here. We're, okay, so we've got a total of 40. We're going to need them. How do we make them? How do we make these rails? Tracks? Rails? Beetroot soup? No. How do we make these rails? Activate a rail. Okay, so it's not that. It's not that. It's not that. Do we need, like, sticks in the middle? Maybe we do need sticks in the middle. Like this. And then just iron on each side. Is that not rails? Hmm. Can't remember. Oh, I'm gonna look it up. I'm gonna look it up real quick. We're gonna see exactly how to do this. Uh, Minecraft. Tracks. Also need to know how to make a uh, a minecart. Okay, how do we make this? This is... Oh, it's way less than I thought it was. So basically we just take a single stick and then we flank each side with iron ingots. Wow, that makes a lot. Oh my god. Let's make a stack. A stack should actually set us really, really well. And now we probably also want to get ourselves a minecart of some sort. Minecarts maybe? Okay, I'm just looking at a wiki, essentially. 
Minecraft, minecart. So we want to make one of these and it requires us to basically make a boat out of steel. We can do that. That's absolutely fine. Let's go ahead and throw that in there. One minecart is all we need. Done. And we're probably also going to need... Probably all of this redstone turned into redstone torches too. Okay, good. I don't know what time it is. Can we make a clock? Oh, we don't have any redstone. A uh, clock would be gold and redstone. Okay, we could probably make a clock at some point. That would be really handy for these days where we can't see what the hell is going on outside. All right, now that we've got this, let's go ahead and try and fiddle with our minecart tracks, which are just up here towards this really, really spooky looking mesa. Ugh. Is it finally nighttime? I think it's actually nighttime. All right, let's go back. We'll go back and we'll do a sleep. What the hell is going on here? Oh, that's pretty, isn't it? I love that. Isn't this pretty? Do we all like this? Okay. We'll go back. Uh, we should probably do a sleep for the last time here ever because we've got our beds in our pocket that we are going to put into the new base. Yeah, it is definitely it. Okay, the parrots and the bats breed two animals together. I think by the end of this session, we'll go ahead, we'll take a look at the list that Scott's World made for us. Oh, that's also very pretty. I like this. There we go. Take another screenshot of that. And we'll go ahead and we'll finish off this mine track. Maybe we want to lift it a little bit higher as well, because we probably don't want our base just to be... We want it right on the peak, don't we? So we've got a nice skylight. Or maybe we can just make it really, really high. It doesn't really matter that much. Okay. I'm all the way through here. This is such a beautiful area. Good. Uh, we've got to power all of the minecart tracks. And we are also going to need a, a couple of levers, which means cookstone, at either end of the tracks as well. I didn't realize that minecart tracks were so cheap, though. This is very cheap. Okay, we'll go ahead and put these on our hot bar instead of this dead bush. Where does this dead bush keep coming from? Okay, and we want to jam that right there. Or not. Maybe that doesn't work. Sand? Okay, that works. Good. Uh, let's replace the sand with something that is not really dumb. Maybe we'll just get some red sand. How much red sand do we need? Two blocks. Okay. One, two. We'll put this right next to where we are going to uh, stick this activator rail right here. Go ahead and drop that there so it drops and then put that there. And then we're going to put that torch right there so it illuminates. Very cash money indeed. And I think I want to bust that out so I can put... Oh, maybe it needs to be one block lower. That's fine. It's only temporary. Put that there. That has definitely powered it. Excellent. Uh, this one has to go. So does the red sand. Go ahead and mine that up. Great, and we'll put that one there. Excellent. And there should be another one right here. There's cobble next to it. We can mine that out, definitely. And we'll get this again right there. We should probably put this in our offhand, honestly. For the frequency we're going to be using these torches, we'll just stick it in our offhand. All right, put that down there, and we'll drop that one there. Excellent. I don't know if this is really going to give us the momentum we need either. Hard to say. We'll see. We'll see when we actually test out the mine track. All right, good. That one's already done. And we need a single item here to put a torch onto. Whoops, that is a rail. We don't want that there. Let's go ahead and jam it right there. Very good. Okay. What the hell are you guys talking about? What the hell is going on over there? Are you guys, like, fangirling over, over Undertale? Is that what's going on? Okay, good. That's powered. And this one realistically should be... I don't know if this one's going to work here. Maybe it's a little bit more powerful than in Bedrock. Because Bedrock... Redstone just always breaks. i put that here. And now we can continue up this little lift here as well. And I think we will probably go ahead and move... Our platform, just a few blocks higher. 
Because we can move it. It doesn't actually matter that much. Uh, we'll put an activator rail. We don't have any. Oh, that's right. We needed the activator rails, didn't we? So we needed redstone. We also needed a few other things. Okay. Let's go ahead and put our minecart right on here. Boop. We'll get in it. And then we will just, like, move slightly further forward. Oh! Okay, this... That's not so bad. In Bedrock, it forces your perspective to shift based on where the minecart is. Okay, good. Whoops, didn't want to do that. Let's get out of there. Very good. We'll knock that off of the rails. And we'll go and get some more redstone, I think. We've got to dive down deep into a mine to get some redstone. And we'll need to spend it on some more powered rails. Because, honestly, we aren't getting all the way up to the top there. We're almost there. We're only a few blocks away. Mine crap? Is it? I mean, look at it, my dude. I don't think this is mine crap. It's gorgeous. Okay, a couple of bits of sand that we're probably... We're probably going to do a lot of terraforming on this red sands area as well, to be quite honest. Okay, maybe I jumped the gun a little bit. Maybe I was a little bit wrong about uh, leaving the village as soon as I said we were. We are kind of like... We just need the right materials. We only need redstone now and maybe a few more bits of gold. Still have eight gold ingots. Oh, we've got powered rails. Okay, good. Now we go back. Nice. Mine best. It's mine beautiful. Okay, good. We definitely want this rail system hooked up to the village as well. Oh my god, running back and forth from here is, is becoming a bit of a pain in the ass. My ass actually hurts. It's, it's in pain right now with how many times we've gone back and forth. Mine best or mine cool? I'd say probably like mine okay. It really depends on the player, right? Because that could be mine crap if you are just a really bad player. Okay, come up here. And that's all set up. Uh, let's actually put this minecart down, see if it takes us up to where we need to go. Because if it doesn't, we'll know. Okay, I'm taking my hand off of the controls. Okay. So, this here needs to be a powered rail. Actually, this probably needs to be a powered rail as well. We've got spears. Let's just go ahead and do it. We'll replace our sand with the sandstone. We'll crouch so we don't fall off the ledge. And we'll place that there so that we can place that there. And then we'll get another powered rail right there. Okay. So, that should be okay for now. I know there's going to be a couple of other instances where we probably need to chop and change what we've got but we'll go up there first and we'll just see we'll just see what we need to change okay good that makes it excellent why doesn't that make it weird ah huh. okay get rid of this car and we will move that activated rail ah sun's going down we've got beds on us actually we don't need to sleep Probably could do with just moving it here then, right? We take off this rail and replace this rail with it. Good. Put that right there. And we'll put this one right there. Excellent. We need another block. We need a few blocks, actually. We need some stable blocks. We don't have any. Maybe the smooth sandstone slabs would be a good idea. Right there. Yep. And we'll put that or not. Let's go ahead and mine that top slab off because we're probably going to need it again very, very shortly. And we want to place down that torch. Ah, wrong place. Okay. Break that. Pick it again. We didn't pick it up, annoyingly. Okay, we're going down for it. We probably need to get ourselves a few more stable blocks. Unless we've got cobblestone. Oh, we've got a few stable blocks. We'll just use those. Okay, coming through here. This one gets us more or less up, so if we slab onto this end right here, and then we torch there, good, that should be activated enough. Okay, where's our cart? Right here. We'll go up. And boom! And we're going up. Excellent. We almost didn't make it up to there. That is probably a little bit too slow. I'm genuinely surprised that we are still aren't making it up this one lift here. They're spaced one apart. How is that not good enough? 
Okay, maybe we remove this one from here and we put it earlier and later because we do have spears. Like right here, maybe. And this one can be powered rail. Nice. This one can be normal. And this one can be powered. Maybe this will work. Maybe this will function. Nice. I don't know if we're going to make it up this one either. Go ahead, bust that out, bust out that torch, bust out this rail. We'll make this a activated rail and also put a rail here. And then I'm going to mine this one out. Well, just going nuclear with where I'm placing these things. I think we'll... We're not going to take any chances. Okay, mine that out. And we also want to mine this one here out. Place down a redstone torch. Nice. And put down a redstone torch there. Very good. What else we got? That one may get us up. Doesn't really look good, though. How far up have we got to go? Pretty far way up. Uh, okay. Okay. Oh, that one's not powered. That's probably why it didn't allow us to go up. It's pretty funny. Okay, good. A lot of these are powered by now. Let's go ahead and bust this out. And then we will see how far we get. Put that there. And we go forward. Go! Yes, we're going. We are actually going now. This one's real slow. Probably should put a, a rail up higher. Okay. Well, I know what to do here. Let's bust this out here. Wait, seriously? Where's the card? There it is. Okay. Uh, we want to mine out right there. And we want to place down a torch. And our card's gone. Oh, well. I can't believe we keep forgetting to place down the torches. It's pretty funny, actually. Uh, let's go ahead and knock this down. We're probably going to have to sleep really shortly as well. Okay, let's put that there. And we go forward. Let's go. So this should be okay. I don't really like that slow bit there. Probably move that rail so it's a little bit faster. Go, go, go. Why? Why? Really? Okay, fine. We'll move this one in just a little bit further. Nope, that's a redstone torch. Right there. And this one has to be there, apparently. Uh, that can't go there. Has to be mined out here. And then we put a redstone torch right there. We're actually... Oh, piss off. We're actually running out of redstone torches. So we are going to need some more redstone anyway. We may as well just go do that sooner rather than later. Let's go ahead and get a bed out. We'll place it down so it's daytime to run back to the village for. Done. Nice. Ah. Uh, you didn't miss a lot. You didn't miss a lot there, Dustbelief Papyrus. Uh, we're still trying to figure out these here rails. I think we need an activator basically at the start of every lift. I feel like when we go around a corner, it bleeds a lot of the momentum. And it seems like the only instance where we can't go up a lift is where we don't have an activated rail right at the bottom of it. Okay, so this one's probably going to fail. And we'll... Replace it with this one here. Put that there. Put that there. Uh, bust this out. And now we mine into here. And we'll put this powered rail. No, that's not what we want to put down. We want to put down the torch. That was stupid of me. Okay, that lift should be fine. Should get us around this corner. That one's going to fail pretty miserably, I'd say. And we'll bust out this torch. So we probably want to take out this one, replace it with the powered rail right there. And this one can go there. So we need to torch up this block. We've got cobblestone. We can actually get away with putting it in here. So we'll put it there. And thus, we can put a torch. We're down to five redstone torches. Uh, it's going to fail halfway up here. I can almost guarantee it. Let's go ahead and bust that one down. Put a powered rail right there. And then we are going to mine this out. Is it raining? Yes, but only where we are, not any further that way. Weird. Okay, coming along here. That one is going to fail. So we'll get this torch, mine out that one, place down the powered rail, place down the rail, and we want to mine this hole right here so that we can put down torch. Good. we got four more left. This should get us up that lift. That's not going to get us up anything. And this has to be a powered rail anyway. So we'll do that. We'll put that there, put that there, put that there. Could probably do with a powered rail there. I'll do it. 
I'll do it. Powered rail right here, and then another rail here, and then bend that around here. This one has to be a powered rail. Oh, actually, we need to bunce this out a little bit further. Here and here. So we'll close that and that off. And then we want these rails to come here, 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 and this one needs to be powered. Right? Yes, sirree! Probably do with just having two consecutive powered rails, see what happens. Put one there, put one there. Okay, that doesn't work. Got to go ahead and mine out this block right here. And then we've got to place down a cobble here. Whew. Jensen, I will miss you, so don't want to leave. That's, my dude, the, nothing is going to change. I'm not going anywhere. I've just got monetized on YouTube. I am actually now incentivized to stay. Okay, this is our platform. We do kind of want to lift it up a little bit higher than it is. Unless we want kind of like a train station or an intake of some sort. Maybe. Okay, we'll bust that down and then we'll get another powered rail here. And a normal rail here, 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 and here. All right, good. And then we want one down here so that the minecart doesn't bump off and uh, go back towards the, the entrance. Okay. So, let's go ahead and start torching these up. We only have four redstone torches left, which is not even remotely going to be enough. I've got a sneaky suspicion if I mine this one out, it might power both of those rails. Nice. Love that. Love that for us. Okay, good. One there and one here as well. What else we got? There's, these are all powered, actually. Okay, let's see what... I've also got a sneaky suspicion that maybe if we put another one here we'll get twice the momentum upwards do they just like connect to each other oh they do ah that solves a lot of problems actually it solves heaps of problems okay this one's going to be a tricky one let's go ahead and put a powered one there that one also can have a powered rail there great this one probably needs two see we're learning things we're learning things together he's going to stream for six hours so don't worry uh it's probably more likely going to be around about uh, five hours today, because I need to go and pick Yintzit up from work. She's having a bit of a rough time at work, and uh, she needs the support. She needs support from me. And also, hopefully, I'll be able to convince her to maybe do a Let's Play with me if she's not feeling so rough. Uh, let's just use the last of our activated rails here and here, so that those are all powered. And then we'll see whether or not it actually takes us to the intake top side. I'll piss off. We are not dealing with that skeleton. We're off. Bye-bye. Okay. This is definitely more effective than before. There's lots of enemies down there on the mesa. Oh my god, are we gonna make it? Yes, I think we are. No, right at the top as well. That's embarrassing. Okay. Oh, that's right, it's because we didn't power this one. We are going to power this one with our last redstone torch. Done. Nice. Okay, so this last activated rail up here, this should actually just be a roadblock. Because it's not powered, and thus it should stop the cart. Just broke my pickaxe, that's absolutely fine. Do we have any terracotta? Yes, we do. Let's go ahead and just jam some in there so it doesn't look so arse. So up here, this is going to be our intake. We want to basically shear out a gigantic wedge into this mountain. Like a really big wedge. And then we want to turn it into a base. So let's go ahead and get ourselves a crafting bench right now. Because we are going to be living up here almost full time. Bit of a shame when it's so foggy that we can't see the uh, village off in the distance. In fact, you can't really see anything off in the distance. We're too high. Huh. Imagine live streaming her playing with you. We used to actually live stream games together. Uh, she didn't have a, a bank job, though, at the time. So she wasn't nearly as busy. She was working in a supermarket. Two hours left before you end it? Oh, I'll be the judge of that. Actually, no, that's spot on. <laughs> that's exactly uh, right. Okay, we've got everything that we need up here. We could want for nothing else. Except maybe some materials to maybe make this place out of. We don't have the acacia wood, so we can't frame everything up yet. And we are probably going to need some more rails just to... Uh, some more power rails to get us to our other base. But for now, we have basically just automated the worst part of it, which is this gigantic lift, which we would have to climb ourselves every single time if we were doing anything else. I'm going to stick that right here, just so we know where it is. And we probably want to mine out a little intake here, a little cart intake, so we can kind of like send off materials to be, uh, I don't know. 
They, we can send it to a smelter, right? Where we just have all of our ores and stuff. And that should be from here as well. I'm doing some long-term planning here. Right, so we want to get into the crafting bench. We want to make ourselves another tool, another pickaxe. Actually, we have a pickaxe right here. We'll just use this. We also want to light this place up, like the 4th of July, because we unfortunately have not been doing so. We're going to torch this place here, here, here. Not going to take any chances. And I think this will be the keystone where we stop mining into. So it's going to be a very wide base. We're going to give ourselves significantly more room than people are going to get, really give us credit for. Okay, we'll start the arduous task of mining into here. And this will only be the intake for the minecart rails and the outtake for any ores or anything that we are going to be dealing with. Probably going to want to get ourselves a access to a mine shaft as well from here. And that'll probably require rails too. We'll keep all the villager stuff separate. And we'll even probably end up moving our chicken cooker over here as well. We're going to need a bunch of eggs though. Because I don't want to have to wait chickens all the way up here and i suppose we could just like lure chickens into the minecart but i don't want to do that either okay a lot of terracotta we'll just oh no are we gonna get supercharged monsters maybe let's set up a bed actually no let's mine further into this mountain first before we set up a bed good i like that uh we probably want to go a few more blocks that way to be quite honest maybe up to about that one, I would say. Okay, good. Just want to get a torch placed down on that block right there. Okay, we've keystoned out where we are going to be mining. Nice. I'm going to get some cobblestone to lift up here. And this will basically just be the, the floor, essentially. We're going to mine it down and replace it with something else eventually, but not just now. Daily Justice Student News, I'm back, I had enough time to make a vid, nice, what did I miss? Uh, we got a bunch of lifts, so we can start building a base, and we also went to the nether. Isn't I got a question? Also, welcome back. Go on. Did you miss a few stuff, but we mostly have been working on the mountain base, aka okay, the rails? Yes, yes, we have basically uh, not done anything mining-wise, and we also aren't really doing anything combat-wise, until we get a consistent supply of feathers, so that we can... Uh, get into crossbows. I really like the crossbows in this game. They are so much fun. So I'm going to have a crossbow basically at all times. Uh, you can also use crossbows in your offhand. So you can have a shield in that hand. Yes, it, de it deflects projectiles if you are using the shield. But a crossbow, you can kill enemies before they even see you. And it does actually pack a massive hit. We can even get it enchanted. Maybe have it do fire damage. Which wouldn't really serve us well at, you know, this current point in time. Oh, look at this. Now that is what I call pretty. Let's go ahead and take a screenshot of this. Gorgeous. Love it. I love it. We abandoned the town literally? No, we are going to basically separate the town down there. We've abandoned the first town, obviously. But we are going to separate the economies of the villages down there. And we'll set some rails up towards them. Because most of our stuff is still there. And we're still going to need to do a lot of transit to build up the space here. We aren't going to set up kind of like the... The tree growing area here either. So we are going to be going back to base every now and then, regardless of whether or not we want to. Uh, let's go ahead and actually place down one of our beds. Put that one there. And we'll sleep in it. Skip the night time. <sighs> pretty. It is very pretty, isn't it? So this is going to be our kind of like our scenic area. Oh, yes. This is what we're going to wake up to every morning, by the way. I'm going to have a glass floor on the bottom floor where we put our bed. And this is what we're going to wake up and face every single morning. I love this so much. Actually, let's go ahead and increase our chunk uh, rendering. A render distance. We'll make that 21 chunks. And simulation for 18. This may dip the frame rate, but I think it's going to be absolutely fine. Let's see. Can we see the village from here? We're about to find out. Yes, we can. We can see the whole village as well. We just can't see the jungle. Perfect. That's what I like to see. Uh, now that I'm reminded as well, let's also go into the video settings. We'll swap the shader packs around. See what BSL is, is going to do for us here. Whoa! Whoa! Look at this! This is gorgeous! I actually love this so much. So all of that is just a shader pack, huh? Yeah, look, this is only a shader pack. That's the only beautification we have. I love this so much. 
Okay, I feel like the shader pack has really kind of like given new breath into Minecraft because I have played, if not thousands of hours, tens of thousands of hours of this game on PlayStation alone, not even on PC. Okay, we'll get up there later, I suppose. We'll start digging into the cavern here and then we'll mine out a better egress soon. So here's my vision, right? We want to mine into the cavern, maybe two more blocks further in than this. Uh, I'm also going to need a wall, so right there. We are going to mine in about this far, and this is going to be kind of like a train station intake that leads up to a mezzanine, a first mezzanine floor for our base, where we are basically going to be living and putting all of our, our stuff in. Maybe. Possibly. Uh, we'll create a sorting system on that floor. We'll create another floor that has like an automatic chicken cooker and a uh, meat smelter so that the sorting system uh, takes raw meats from our inventory and then dumps it straight into some furnaces. It's going to take a lot of iron, though. It's a very ambitious project. Whoa! It gets better! Oh, my days. Isn't this awesome? God, I love this so much. Okay, screenshot. Done. But I almost just walked off the ledge there. That was stupid. Yes. Okay, so... That's a flat face. One, two, three, four, five, six. Inwards. And then we want to start connecting them up. One, two, three. We can get four and five done from here, but we're going to need to go one further in when we actually get into this mine right here. Did you check what you finished on the list yet? Uh, no, but now that our pickaxe, pickaxe is broken. Oh, piss off, seriously. We can probably actually do that now, right? Uh, actually, I probably should mine out that last little bit before I check it. Okay, so we'll get the stone pickaxe. Let's see. Mine these out, and I'll remove that torch and put that there as a keystone tool. By the way, what do you think? What do you think of our base? It's nice, huh? Look at the view. This is going to be the view that we wake up to every morning for the rest of this playthrough, assuming we uh, stay at this base permanently. And we're going to turn all of the flat land down there into kind of like automation and stuff like that. He didn't. No, I did not. Uh, we're going to do that right now, actually. Uh, where was it? Discord, right? Let's go ahead and open up Discord, and we'll check out this enormous... Look, it's actually a gargantuan list. Like, it's huge. An enormous list. There it is. Uh, I'll get this off in case there's anything private. Probably not, though. Uh, that is the portal one. Where did you send it? Did you send it to the Discord? You must have sent it to the Discord. Chat hub? I was certain that I saved it, but I didn't. Oh, the embeds for Discord are working now. That's perfect. I'm in house. Saint Sonia. Nice. Uh, seen a lot of screenshots. Here it is. Custom challenges for Jensen. That's the one, right? So I'm probably going to have to branch this off and make my own. Right? I think. Okay. Let's blow this up. No, I don't want Firefox to do anything. Please and thank you. Here it is. This thing is going to be it. Yeah, so this is the one. This is definitely the one. I know that this is the one. Should be in the chat hub. Yeah, I found it. I've also uh, saved the link to it. I don't know if I can change anything, though. Final challenges, mining. We haven't done anything. Building. Jesus Christ. There are going to be so many things to look at. It's probably going to take us six hours just to read through this whole thing, to be quite honest. Um, all right, so. Have you uh, kind of like sorted this out? Have you put like little check check boxes in at all? I'll tell you what. We'll take a really good look at this in the next session. I will go ahead and uh, I'll edit it myself so that I have access to it myself. No one else can edit it. And then I'll put um, radio buttons right at the right at the start, or even just check boxes, so that we can take a look at uh, you know changing the colors of all the ones we've actually done, or even just hiding them just straight off the script. Because uh, I can definitely do that. And it is going to take a long, long time to look through everything on that list. We've done quite a few of them. I can take a look at the advancements right here already. We've made a crossbow. Shoot a crossbow. Kill two phantoms with a piercing arrow. That's pretty cool. Give a pillager a taste of their own medicine. Nice. Uh, we got emeralds and we traded. And now we need to trade with a villager at the build height limit. The hell? That's kind of cool. A bunch of smithing styles. We haven't done a lot of these ones, I don't think, but what we have done 
is some of the nether stuff. We've finally gone there. Maybe not. Husbandry. We, we haven't done anything, have we? Breed all the animals. Okay. Parrots in the bath. Yeah, we bred some animals as well. They were chickens. We've done a few things. We haven't actually got very far. Uh, diamond armor. We're not going to get that for a while. That is going to be a, a long-term thing. Enchanter. Weird. Deflect a projectile with a shield. We did have a shield at one point, but we lost it because we got ganked in the nether. Uh, follow an eye of ender. We need to kill an enderman to do that, which means we need some kind of um, armor. Weaken a zombie and then... Oh, sorry. Weaken and then cure a zombie villager. That is also probably going to be an annoying one to do because I remember doing that on console and it was a pain in the ass. And the end portal. We've done a few of the things. We've done a few of the things. I'll go ahead. I'll take a look at the uh, challenges that you've put forward there, Scott. And I'll put some checkboxes in there. I'll kind of format it so that it's easier to read as well. So that everybody knows what we have and haven't done. And we'll kind of have it like the Azurius uh, peace maps. I don't know if anybody's ever used a torrent manager before, but... Views has this absolutely fantastic one where you can see the pieces that you're downloading in real time. And it's just this gigantic... Uh, kind of like map of bits and, and bobs and they're white when you haven't downloaded them they're red when you're downloading them they turn blue when you've downloaded them and you want all of them to turn blue it's very satisfying to watch okay good this is going to be the terminal this is definitely going to be the terminal we're going to mine this out we're going to give it a, a, a big high area and we're just going to make it kind of like the transit area for all of the mine carts we might even recess into this mountainside and potentially Get into the cave diving, because I know there's a giant cave in this cave as well. Did Cool Can of Beans comment? I have absolutely no idea. No idea whatsoever. Okay, good. I will be using those checkboxes, though. Uh, it's just going to be kind of hard to have a, a big old fanfare every time we tick one of them off, on account of the list being so goddamn big. <laughs> like, there are probably thousands of entries there to do. And each one of them could potentially be their own video. Okay, we got clay, we got terracotta. I'll take a look. I'll, like, see myself some goals for a stream, and I'll opportunistically do some things I think might be goals. But committing that whole thing to memory is just going to be really, really difficult. Going to AFK a little bit? Okay, they're peppers. Okay, we'll put down these torches so that we don't get ganked. I don't want to get ganked. I'm playing Minecraft, not Gankcraft. Or Mine Gank. <laughs> Good. Uh, we're getting a lot of materials as well, like these here cobblestones. We're going to turn them all into furnaces so that we can start cooking things up. We're going to need a lot of glass. Like, a lot of glass. So it's probably good we've been hoarding sand. Good. Mine all of this out. Gorgeous. And we still need to go three above us as well. Three blocks above. Try and mine some of these out so we give ourselves a little bit more space to work with. We're going to need a few more chests to stick all of these materials in because we are getting a bunch of materials. And they are going to clog up our inventory like a plumber clogs a toilet. And good. I don't know if that joke translates too well to other countries, by the way. We just have this meme here in New Zealand that plumbers become plumbers because they always clog their toilets. Okay, good. Got another pickaxe. Boop. Knock all of this out. And basically until we can't reach the roof is how far we're going to be knocking all these out. Not on my alt anymore. God, I cannot wait to use the shader. Uh, you'll need a decent computer. You will need a decent computer. I think complimentary does work fairly well. BSL is a bit more gainly, but I, fi I find it's more cinematic. I definitely find it's more cinematic. How could you not, though? How could you not want to use the shader after seeing something like this? Take out the screenshot of that. I'm basically uploading the uh, screenshots as thumbnails as well, just in case anybody wonders where I put them. Also, I'm back. Hello again. Okay. You did not go AFK very long. Okay, we'll go ahead and mine out all of this. Where are all the clouds at? There are clouds. There's just none above us. Maybe we're cursed. Maybe we're actually cursed. Okay, good. Mine all of this out. Nice. I feel like we might be getting to the end of the day, potentially. In fact, would it not be worth our time to get a picture frame and a clock so that we can just see what time it is at all times? Just while we're here. While we're here in this base. Because we are going to be at this base full time. And we probably should know what the time is. Especially if we're going to be spending a significant portion of the time inside. Okay, good. Mine out these. We're going to need a bunch of pickaxes as well, I think. Like a heap of them. Because we are going through them like undies. 
Did Happy Ninja comment? Yes, actually. They did. I'm pretty sure you did. Just got a notification. Had to check it. What was it? Was it Hero Wars begging you to come back? And in exchange, they will give you uh, like five Robux or something like that. Seems to be the state of mobile gaming these days. I know we're probably being a bit overkill with all of these torches, but it's better to have more than less. I feel. Especially if we're going to be living here. We don't want a creeper just to crawl up our ass and do what they do best. Okay, we'll mine out all through here. Good. This is what I like about Minecraft, by the way. Setting a gigantic, gargantuan task and then just working towards it over a long period of time. This is probably my favorite aspect of Minecraft. Do I have another pickaxe? No. Let's just make a few. We're probably going to need a bunch of them. Like, we can probably start with six. Honestly, one, two, three, four, five, and then six. Right there. Done. And we filled our inventory. Excellent. We are probably going to fill our inventory with everything else as well. We should probably get a couple of chests just to dump all of the materials in anyway. Should we do that now? I feel like we should. Let's just throw something that's not worth too much off of the edge here. Oak saplings. Yeah, we've got plenty of those. Let's throw that off of the ledge. And now we're going to go with four chests. One of them is going to be somewhat useful. And the other one is going to be useless crap. Like this one slab. Actually, let's get rid of that. We don't need that. Uh, we also probably don't need two white wool on us, but they will stack into more beds. So we will keep them. Two red sand. We'll get rid of that. There's one sandstone wall. We'll get rid of that. That's about it. That's about all we need to do. Let's go ahead and put these chests. Yeah, did I not make... Oh, bugger. I don't actually think I made all four of them. Whoops. Uh, two, three, and then we've... Move that middle one there. Good. Done. Okay. There, 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 and there. This is going to be the useful stuff chest. We'll put the bed in there. And minecart. We'll also put the shears in there. The iron ingots, definitely. Rails, sure. And that's it. The rest of it can go in here. All the cobblestone, all the dirt, all the crap. That isn't wood can go in here. Sticks we'll also keep. Uh, jungle logs will stick in there. And we should be golden. Oh, that's nice. A little bit oversat undersaturated, though. Gotta be said. Okay. We'll dig this out. Ah. Duolingo threatening to kill me. He does that, doesn't he? He's a, he's a murderous owl. He forgot I had the control, so I pulled the revolver to the phone and he kept shut. Yeah, but my dude, wouldn't you just shoot your own hand off? Isn't that what he wants? Isn't that exactly how Duolingo gets his reputation? Have you ever had double-digit viewers on a live? Uh, yes, I've had up to 15 viewers on a uh, single stream, which is pretty good. Pretty good. I'm kind of averaging like four or five, which again is really, really good for somebody who had under a thousand subscribers. But now that I've got a thousand, it's kind of, it's, it's average. It's average numbers. Okay, good. I was just kind of like savoring the, as, as little fame as I possibly could when I was small, because I, I know that everything's going to start changing when more and more people pile into the streams. You know, chat's gonna move, like, way too fast. We could even place bets on chat, see who wins. Like, horse races, I could start a bookies. I could start, like, um, start charging money. I could have a platform that, that is just a bookies. We could all take bets on who's the fastest chatter. That kind of stuff. Put money on it. Kind of? <laughs> kind of, yeah. Don't blow your hand off with a revolver. That's a big no-no. Good choice, though. Not a lot of people use revolvers anymore. Mainly because they handle, like, ass. I love the argument, right? I love the argument with revolvers being a really reliable weapon, and that's why so many people choose to use them. But they, they aren't nice to shoot. They're a really bad user experience. It's no wonder people use the, the semi-automatics. All right, go. Oh, ha, 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 yes. Oh, yes, that is the one. I even screenshot all those creatures burning on the, in the ground down there. That's funny. Ah, I handled it good. Excellent. Okay, we'll get rid of that there dirt. Oh, there's more dirt. Great. Get rid of that. Start mining out the rest of this terracotta. Don't call system of a down. They love their terracotta pie. Okay, it's just dirt up here, it seems. Maybe we even want to take this wall even further inwards. 
for a better intake. Maybe. Maybe. I haven't decided yet. Okay, we'll get all of this out of the way. Nice. Maybe we should also kind of like set up a sky lounge for the enchanting area so that like at the end of the day, we can go in there and we can see the sun set while we're enchanting things. Because we're going to spend a lot of time at the enchanting table eventually. Uh, we don't actually need to make another pickaxe. We can just use that. I've been tossing up about using another mod as well. The one that kind of like replaces tools that you had in your hands with the exact same tool from your inventory. But maybe I won't. Tree capitator. I just, I just find getting trees down really annoying. It's one of my least favorite parts of the game. It's kind of fiddling around getting logs so that you can do all of the other aspects of the game. Shot my toe twice. <laughs> yeah, well, now you'll do your language lesson, sir. It is a harassment experience, isn't it? I used Duolingo for a wee while. It's not amazing. Also, you could use the orange sands for walls that would fit and make a positive little base, and then just the glass and the shader and torches. And then some decorations, I think, is a good idea. Maybe. Maybe. I kind of want to utilize some of this terracotta. Because there is a stone cutter in this game, and I haven't seen what the stone cutter can really do. So we're probably just gonna be fiddling with that and using whatever pops out of the stone cutter for decorations. We're also getting a significant amount of this terracotta. And it can't be used for anything else, so we may as well just use it for its intended purpose, which is decorations. All right, good. Mine out this one too. Excellent. I do have a vision. I do have a vision for the base. And when you guys actually see it fully made, you're going to be like, whoa, that is cool. I tried to make it in the hardcore worlds a couple of times. I got about as far as framing it before uh, some bollocks would just come and destroy my life. Usually that bollocks would be a creeper or an enderman or heights or something like that. I don't know, though. I feel like the best bases in Minecraft are kind of not planned too much in advance. Like, yeah, having a vague idea is, is good and all. But if you kind of like sit there and draft up a building, you're really limiting yourself to a lot of the potential that you could have. All right, good. A lot of soil over here. Okay, let's just bust that out with our hands, even though we've got unlimited pickaxes right now. Like, literally unlimited. Okay, good. Stone cutter is not a bad decoration. No, not decoration. It actually cuts stone. That's the thing. We can actually make one right now. I think I've got some iron on us. Maybe I don't. Is it in here? Yeah, we do actually. I'll make a stone cutter so you can see exactly what I'm talking about here. So we get cobblestone and a line, and we put this here. Or maybe it has to be cooked stone. Actually, probably would be a good idea to have some cooked stone because I don't necessarily want to have to keep on plugging all of the mountain face with cobblestone. It looks hideous. I don't like it. So let's get a few fern eye, and we'll put them here. Good. Now we need a material to burn, which also shouldn't be too hard to get. We just need to go back to the village and get some wood. All right, I'll pick up all of this terracotta because I do actually want it. But no, the stone cutter, it, it actually does have a function. It definitely has a function. It changes the look of blocks to be like more decorative. We just need to actually get one first. Okay, good. I also think a villager can use it to get a job. Although, I don't know where I'm pulling that information from. Probably because they are found in villages pretty frequently. Possibly. Okay. We'll bust all of this out, so that we aren't blotting out the sun. I think we will, might, like, maybe two, three blocks further in that way. We aren't going to make a small base by any measure of the word. Okay, that's another one gone. It's fine. We'll keep on keeping on. Good. Yeah, we will. We will definitely mine in a few more blocks. We'll recess into the mountain, and then we'll create just an absolute font of endless diversion in here. We don't want to be limited to space. I do also like that we've kind of, like, mined up in between from this layer of terracotta to that layer of terracotta. Because you can see it from the outside. It looks really, really cool. Maybe we'll set the height limit to uh, the levels of the terracotta. We'll, set, we'll have some, like, big grand staircases that go up as well. That'd be cool. Okay, get some of all of that out of the way. We're down to our last two shears of the face of the mountain. What else we got? 
Yeah, we're actually very, very close. Uh, so we are going to recess further into the mountain right after we complete this little chore here, I suppose you could call it. And we've got one line left now. Gorgeous. I got a little bit of vertigo right there. I thought that I was looking all the way down for a split second, but I am not. Okay, good. Excellent. We are filling up our inventory with a bunch of crap, though. We definitely need to figure out exactly what the stone cutter can do for us, though. That is something we should plan in advance. Because I think that maybe we might be able to get some diorite or andesite. One of them looks like marble. And we should be able to make some, like, marble columns all through our base. That looks really cool, I think. Really, really cool. Marble columns all over the place. All right, let's take a look around. A nice objective view. Here we go. It is definitely a hole. It is a hole in the side of a mountain. I like this. Not sure I like that angle, though. Maybe we should terraform that. Maybe that's why I'm hoarding TNT. Maybe we should just make a, a gigantic bomb site of some sort, of some description. Let's go ahead and dump all of our crap in here that we don't want. Cobblestone, we don't need that now. We've got a billion pickaxes. Why terracotta? That can go in there. Okay. We'll put that there. And we'll go three more into the mountain here. Uh, want to move that torch there. Good. One, two, three. And from here, there's going to be a staircase that goes up through the center and then, and then flowers out. All right. Mine all of this out as well. Put a keystone torch here. Good. And I also want to go onto the other side of here and we want to mine another three into this side. Oops. And here, and here, and here. And then we'll see whether or not this is big enough once we finish. Because it may be. Keystone there. Good. Then we'll just follow around here. Who knows? We could do with having grand designs. We deserve it. We definitely deserve it. We deserve all the grand designs we can get. Especially after the weird, weird spawns that we've had in this game so far. Okay, good. We've bust out into the other area. Oh, that's my pickaxe gone. Let's go ahead and use another one. Excellent. Okay, so I'm going to start by mining out this face right here. This should be good enough. We could even, like, mine a recess further into the wall for the staircase that comes in and out. We could use the actual terraforming of the mountain to our advantage. Torch there. Good. Now we'll keep on mining all of this out. Nice. And I think there's one block left at the end here to mine out before we get started on the next one. Nope, two. Definitely two. Okay. My depth perception was playing tricks on me. I've actually raised the field of view in this game. Okay. We're not really looking at anything bad, particularly. We still need to set up a mine. We could probably also have some kind of mine coming in from this room as well. We basically just want to use this room as a central hub for transit, which is why I'm making it so goddamn big. It's got to be huge. It's got to be absolutely enormous. Okay, good. Mine all of this out. I still think we'll use acacia planks for the actual building on the inside, though. How are we looking? Pretty good. I do kind of like how the shadow of my mountain now kind of encases over the village. That's really funny. Okay, I can't sleep yet. We're pretty far away from sleeping, actually, I think. All right, we'll mine all the way up here. Five blocks. Okay. Good, we'll mine that out, and this should be the last one before we hit the face. Yep, there's our keystone torch. We'll come around here, and we'll keep on busting this out. Five, and one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Maybe we should start using a iron pickaxe, because this, the stone pickaxe, they're pretty easy to make, but relatively slow in comparison to the iron pickaxe. We'll just be blasting through iron, though, at a very alarming rate, which we kind of want to save up for the transit to get to the village. So maybe we don't want that. Maybe we don't want to do that. Okay. We'll pop all of these out. Good. And here we also want to pop these out as well. I wonder how we're going to get the minecarts to stop at the other end of areas. Maybe we could use buttons on the powered rails. That might work. Okay. 
we are down to two pickaxes before I just kind of like give up on stone pickaxes for good and then we just start using the iron ones full time. All right, good. And here as well. I don't think the monsters can spawn in the sky, can they? I don't think they can. I really don't think that they can. So we probably don't have to illuminate the sky. Three, four, and five. Do we have to sleep? Oh, yes, we do. Oh, isn't that pretty, though? Look at that! The moon is shining over the village. Love it. Okay, good. Get all this cobblestone. We'll get into bed, and we will sleep through the night. Okay, we are actually still doing very, very well. Like, we are making good time on here. Oh, ho, 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 that sunrise. It's never going to get old, I don't think. Okay, I'll start from here. And we're probably going to get the entirety of this room pretty much mined out before we get to the point where we lose both of our pickaxes, I think. We've also got a lot of cobble to work with. I think after we mine this out, we'll go back to the village, we'll get some resources... We'll try and kill some iron golems, and then we'll try some make some more of those powered rails by going into a mine, finding some redstone, because we only need a few more of those, and then we are absolutely Gucci. We also need more redstone for the torches to power them. Uh, I suppose we could also use levers for that. They just look hideous. I don't know if we want to do that. I think redstone torches are probably cheaper anyway. Okay, good. And mine all the way through this. Actually, maybe levers will work. They won't look as good, though. Maybe they will work. We'll give it a go. We'll try levers. Because it could work. I feel like a lever up top here would actually give us kind of a, a, a way of busting out of here in our minecart. Okay, we're definitely getting a generous bit of uh, land here. It's pretty nice. Okay. Mine all of this out. Very cash money. Maybe cobblestone for the lower layer. Not cobblestone, stone. Maybe we just make kind of like a, a stone intake. Or maybe sandstone. I haven't decided yet. Yinsense? Yes. Hello there, Dust Belief Papyrus. Or did you accidentally, uh... Did you mean to type that in Google? Chad always has my attention. I don't know why people call my name. I have bad news. Oh no. Oh no. How bad? Everyone I have met... In the last few months, it's had bad news. Not you two. Go on, what is it? Okay, we'll mine out all of the stone right here. We're very close to finishing. Oh, that's a... We're down to our last pickaxe, which is fine. I gauged exactly how much we needed pretty well. Probably going to get down to around about half durability with this one here. And then we're going to go harvest some iron golems. We also need to go down into a mine to get some redstone. Pretty sure the only place we could do that is down in the other village, which I really don't want to go back to because it kind of sucks. I think I have to sleep at 5 a.m. You sleep, Pepperus. Don't, don't stay on the stream at the cost of your health. Your health is very important. You go have a great sleep. Okay. We'll keep on mining all of this out. Bust all of that out of there. Uh, inventory is filling up with cobblestone, though. I don't think we're ever going to run out of it. Feels really good, though. Feels really, really good to just have such a huge amount of space. It feels really good. Okay. Go ahead and pick all this out. We're very, very close to the end of this area, too. I think this might be the last one. Nope, second last one. Good. And one more. Big old hanging dong in the middle of the room. And done. Here we are. So I um, actually I do want to take it back a little bit further as well. Oh no! I want to take it back like five more blocks. Hmm. I'd say I'll take out these ones first before I choose. But how in the Kentucky Fried Chicken do I stay up at 12 p.m. sometimes? I have no idea. My limit is only 5 a.m. Maybe you're getting old. Maybe you're getting old. I definitely, I can't stay up any longer than uh, 11 anymore. And I used to be a registered clinical insomniac. Uh, let's get our inventory emptied into the crap chest here. Dump, 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 dump. Good. And now what we want to do is go down into the mines. We want to get ourselves some iron from the golems. We need some redstone. So we are goal-oriented. Let's go ahead and get our minecart out of our valuables because that is how we are going to get back 
to the village. And then I think right at the bottom, we're just going to try and get as many rails towards the village as is humanly possible. All right, let's put our minecart right here Boop, and get in it. And now we are going down. This is going to be significantly faster than any other way, believe me. And no, we don't want to see it. No, we do not want to see the angles that this minecart is taking. Whoop, there we go. Good. We'll get out of there. And let's keep on railing out here so we can kind of like minimize the distance that we have to spend actually traveling. Kind of a shame that you can't go diagonally with these things though. All right, that can go there. Nice-ish. We'll curve around this away. And we'll use all of our rails, I think, just to maximize the amount of distance that we can cover. I don't think we'll actually make it this far without any powered rails, but if the minecart's down here, we know exactly where it is. Okay. Let's go ahead and do exactly what we were going to say. <sighs> I'm sorry I gave you up. No, it's absolutely fine. I'm not going anywhere, my man. I'm going to be here basically every weekday. And uh, now that I'm going to be in the city, I'm also going to do some edits in the weekends because I wasn't here for the last two weeks. I wasn't actually in the city, which means I wasn't at my desktop. Okay, good. And thus, I did not have access to my editing suite. I wanted to make edits, but I, I didn't have access to it. Uh, okay, so let's just get through this bread. I think that we probably have got this automatic chicken cooker down pat, right? Yep, four cooked chicken. That is awesome. Probably need lots more chicken up in the uh, breeding chamber, though. So maybe, maybe we go and get some wheat or some seeds or something like that. And we also need to change this around because this looks disgusting. Mm, nice. All right, where are the iron golems at? Then they're, they're all in the smithy. Do we have any sand? No. Let's go get some sand. 37? Sure. Done. Let's go ahead and dump this over here so we can go and harvest these golems. One here, one here, one here. And we want to attack this bastard. Uh, boop. And boop. There we go. Because I can't reach three blocks up, which was an excellent tip that someone gave me in the first time we streamed this. And probably one more. We probably need another axe as well, to be quite fair. Okay, good. Probably going to break the axe before we break him. There we go. Although, we do do a huge amount of damage anyway. I think I dropped four iron ingots. Ah, that was way more than last time. I uh, probably want to throw these poppies out. There you go. We'll make another axe out of the iron that we just got. And hopefully it should be absolutely fine to take out the other iron golem. Done. Iron axe. Let's go ahead and just sand this guy to death. Good. I'm actually going to push him a little bit that way. Or not. How about three, four. Excellent. And now we are going to drop assassinate him. I can't reach him. Yeah, I'll say. Well, that's embarrassing. Are we too high? One, two, three. Yeah, we were too high. Okay. We almost couldn't reach him. We almost could reach him, but we didn't. One, two, and three. And let's go and give him a little boop on the nose. A little kawaii boop. 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 How many iron axes does it take to kill him? Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Damn, that guy has some health. Hooey. Also, I have a tree frog. I'm done with work. What should I do now? You can do whatever you damn well please, Scott's World. That's the, that's the perk of, of working. You can do whatever you want. Have fun. Amazing meeting you again. Good luck and see you tomorrow. Love you, nighty night. Love you too, Dust Belief uh, Pepperus, but in a very platonic way, not like a romantic, weird Minecraft girlfriend kind of way, if you catch my drift. We'll do a desert build now just because of you and get a memory. See ya. See ya, Pepperus. Desert builds are awesome. I don't know why more people don't build in the desert. I have always loved the desert in Minecraft. It's so, it's not, I wouldn't say sterile, but the potential to put things in the desert is so much easier than putting them on planes and stuff like that. Like, I know planes are nice and green and all that stuff, but deserts, it's, it's, it's all limited to what you as a player can create. Okay, beautiful. Uh, now that we've got the iron ingots, we got six iron ingots out of that last guy, actually. That's heaps. No, we didn't. No, it wasn't six. That's way too high. We'll, okay, we'll kill all of these guys. 
try and get them right out of the way. A uh, little bit of a boopy whoopy. And another one right there. Good. A couple of crits going on here. I feel like these guys are kind of old. Because they have a lot of vines all over them and stuff like that. Never thought of it somehow. I have a sphinx in the desert in my world. Nice. That is cool as hell. I love that so much. Never even got to it. Didn't think it through. Yeah, the desert is kind of like... It's a meritocracy, right? The desert is exclusively a meritocracy. And we just got lucky enough to find a bunch of villages in the deserts. Okay. Gonna drop assassinate this guy. Nice. Judging by the angle of the sun, the sun is probably about to go down. As well as our ability to see. Okay, got some more poppies. Can't have been very popular if we only had a couple of poppies. All right, there it goes. Damn, I love the shader pack so much. Look, you can even see our like base getting made up there as well. Look at this. Screenshot. That's gonna be really, really cool in post. Okay, maybe we should knock down some of these trees and fix our god awful yucky tree farm. If you make their own, they still have vines, I think. They just have them from birth. Yeah, but some of them have vines and some of them don't. And it seems to be something that happens to them over time. Which is very suspicious. Okay, can't plant that in the sand. Hello there, sir. I know I've moved out, but uh, get out of the bed. This guy's finally like, oh, finally, I can get in my bed and I can have a good night's rest. Not on my watch, dickhead. Okay. So we want to throw these in the bin, these poppies. Not really too interested in them. What do we need? We need redstone, essentially, don't we? We need redstone so that we can do a bunch of things. So it's probably going to behoove us to go down into the... Mm, into the other village mine. Because we don't necessarily have any obvious mines here. And we do already have access to redstone down in the mine proper in the other village. Okay. Uh, I'm also going to change the album we're listening to to something nobody has ever heard of before. Believe it or not. Yeah, sure, this one. Done. Anyone ever heard of Hollywood Undead? <laughs> the first You Bop You Lose challenge? God, this album's good. Okay, we still have some resources in here. I'm not really depositing any more resources into this, though. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, we've got 21 iron ingots. That's awesome. How much have we got now? Only 21. Okay. I feel like we should get ourselves an iron pickaxe or two, and then we should go down into the other mine and try and get ourselves some more redstone. Because it is so goddamn useful, and we have kind of screwed ourselves by not having any. Let's put that back in there. Take two of these here pickaxes. The stone sword is kind of useless to us again. Minecart in here, I suppose. Diamond pickaxe, we'll take that as well. Actually, do we need it? It's only for obsidian. No, we don't need it. We aren't taking it. Okay, good. We're going off now. Where's our boat? Where is our acacia boat? Whoops. Acacia boat? Okay, I'll make another one. We want to go down to the mines. We're going to go down to the mines. We're doing it right this second. Huh. Hey, do you want me to make you thumbnails for your portal videos? They don't seem to have any, and it's frustrating my little brain. Oh, sorry, my brain a little. You can do whatever you want, my dude. If anybody makes art for my channel, I will just use it. You'll get full credit in the description. That's just a rule that I go by. However, I will be making thumbnails this Sunday, a bunch of them. And I don't know if you've noticed, but that's probably the only reason other things aren't coming out. Because Nightmare House 2 took about a month to, to come out simply because I didn't have the drive to make a thumbnail for it. And then I eventually did make thumbnails and it was fine. Good. Got some cows over here. Cows are useless to us as well. Maybe. We don't ever use leather, do we? Oh, every time I see these pumpkins, I'm reminded that I need to make the melon farm as well, which is just going to be a gigantic sandstone aqueduct and that goes through the village. It's going to look really, really cool. You'll have to trust me on this. Like, trust me, bros. But yeah, anybody makes anything for my channel, it will get used. Some way. In some way or another. Like, even the thumbnails that Dogshark used. Uh, I think he wanted to make thumbnails for every single individual Deltarune one. He did half of them. And then I just recycled the first one over and over again. It'll always get used. Okay, good. I'm not one of those people that just kind of has people do work on my for me and then uh, 
never ever thanks them or anything like that. Because YouTube's kind of full of people like that, and I don't like it too much. That is a disgusting area. God, I hate that so much. Ew. It's just getting worse the more it renders. Okay, I'm not even going to look at it anymore. We don't look at it anymore. Gross. Okay, we've got to go around here. And I see the tower already. I probably want to make an underwater base as well at some point too. Just because it looks awesome. I love it. Reminds me of Pandora. What? That? Oh, look. It's improving. <laughs> it's all improving. Okay. Crouch here. And we break our boat, our acacia boat. God, I love the... I, I don't know why. I love the acacia wood. It's so nice looking. That's a... The hell is that? Oh, this is that thing we placed there right at the start of the stream where I said, hey, I'll place this here and then later on the stream I'll I'll come back to it and I'll look at it and I'll be all like, what the hell is that? And that's exactly what I just did. God, I know myself well. <laughs> Hear that, Bible? Know thyself? You got no power over me. Okay. We'll come over here. Cactus, don't care. We want to go to the mines. We don't even want to hang around here too much. Okay, so... Come in here. Nope, that is somebody's home. None of this is what we wanted. But yeah, this right here. I turn this into the mine entrance. Good, we'll come all the way down here. I'm going to turn that into something I'm pretty sure one day. Or not, who knows? Hard to say sometimes. You mean Pandora as in Borderlands, right? Borderlands 4 got announced. Do you have any opinions on it? Because I saw it and I thought after the movie that it could be really good or it could suck major ass. I have no idea. I just don't have an opinion on it. I have to wait. Okay, good. We didn't get too far down there, did we? Or did we get flooded out? Maybe we got flooded out. No, we didn't get flooded out. I think our pickaxe just broke. All right, we'll keep on going this way. We don't have a lot of strip mines that just go forward. Okay, good. Oh, piss off. Do I just leave this here as a warning? I do. I'm just going to leave that there as a warning. Yuck! Okay, we're going to go this way now, but we're going to go further down into the mine before we actually branch off that way. Oh, this one's confusing. Okay, how about right here? I'm feeling this one right here. I'm feeling this little strip. Okay, good. And I'm going to mine one block up as well so that we stop hitting the goddamn deep slate because it kind of sucks. It's not a great resource and we've already found immediate profit. If we didn't mine up one, we probably wouldn't have found this. No, we definitely would have. We would have seen it. I'm not that negligent. Okay, we'll get this. Pandora as an avatar. Oh, right. Right. That makes sense. I suppose they did have a bunch of floating tree islands, didn't they? That makes sense. Okay. It's, we're probably actually more relevant to Pandora from Borderlands in this game, unfortunately. Because it seems like the franchise has taken a, a, a bit of a, a bit of a crap. A bit of a crap on itself. Okay, I'm going all the way through. This branch mining thing that everybody keeps telling me to do, is it actually worth doing? I mean, I could try it out, but I feel like it's just going to make us get lost every time we want to go back. Okay, fine. I'm going to do it. Okay, can't go there because there's a torch. Let's go every two. Yuck. Crappy resources I don't like. Okay, and here. Nope, nothing. Nothing. I'll go three ahead, place a torch, and then we'll go branching. So far, we've found no additional resources by branching. Two, three. One, two. One, two. Is this a troll? I feel like everybody's trolling me with this branch mining thing. It feels like a troll. Because now we also have to count out blocks, which actually slows down the mining. Nothing. Nothing. No, it's more effective? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I'm, I'm giving you everybody direct evidence that is not much more helpful. Okay, good. And now we have to count here, here. So far, it's yielded us zero ores, and just going in a straight line has yielded us a pile of iron. Go here, here. Mine out this. Nothing. Mine out this. Nothing. Go two in. Mine out. Nothing. Nothing. Okay, we've had nothing so far. 
I'll keep on going through. I'll keep on branch mining. Maybe we'll find something. Which would be profit. However, it is slowing down kind of like the progress that we were doing. And we're not getting any additional resources. Okay, nothing. What else? All right, let's roll the dice again. Nothing. Nothing. Let's keep on going. This has got to be a troll, right? Nothing. 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 I hate to say it, but I, I don't really fancy my odds of finding anything good with this new method. On account of having not found anything with this new method. We should probably just go through this chunk, right? We know what it is. There's just that diorite crap. Yeah, this is just diorite. We'll bust through to the other side of this vein, and then we'll keep on doing the thing. Nothing. Okay. We've almost broken our iron pickaxe for literally no profit. Nothing. Put a torch down. That's gravel. Love it. I feel like there's also water. Okay. How much gravel is in here? Well, it's quite a bit of gravel, actually. Okay. Well, it does actually help to mine out gravel in these deep chasms anyway, because if there's something behind them, you would have missed it otherwise. So I'll do it. I'll, I'll get all this gravel. Uh, let's put a... Whoops, that's not what I wanted to place down. That's not good. Put that there. And I'm going to mine this out with my boat. We probably shouldn't be doing the middle of the gravel, because that doesn't make a hell of a lot of sense. Let's just beat them around the edges. Because that's where the ores are. It's also quicker, and we don't have to spend any durability on our pickaxe. Nothing. This feels like it is worth doing, though. Because we get a bunch of flint, too, which we kind of need for the arrows. What the hell was that sound? Yeah, big, deep rumblings of the non-Euclidean. Whoops, that's sand. Uh, put that down there. We'll start using our boat to mine all of this crap out. Okay. Not seeing a whole lot, though. Alright, that's actually a real uh, rock right there, so we can't mine that out. I hope this doesn't put us into a chasm. That'd be real nasty. Keep on going around the edges here. Yeah, so far we've found nothing but an additional source of the crap materials we don't like. Hmm. I don't fancy our old somehow. Nothing. And in here, nothing. Nothing in there. Well, this was unlucky. Oh well. It's better to have gravel than not, right? I think there was an easy way to transfer gravel into flint. Because we are going to need heaps of it anyway. I want to go into ranger main. If you break the bottom block and place a torch, they will all break. Is that actually true? Okay. I put the boat down. Sure, game. That's exactly what I wanted. <sighs> oh, it does work. Perfect. Nice. I like that technique. That's a good technique. Anything behind here? Nope. Anything behind here? Nope. Okay. It's probably not really going to be anything here either. Oh, I don't think it got to fall. Oh. So you got to wait until they actually do fall. Okay, gotcha. That is cool. I didn't know that was a thing. Was that put in so that archers didn't have to, like, spend so long getting flint? Because if so, that is very, very self-aware of, of Mojang or Microsoft, one of the two. Okay, so let's go ahead and start mining all of this out again. Our iron pickaxe is about to break. There it goes. And we'll keep branch mining through here. Right here. Go all the way through here. 
I found copper. Nice. I love copper. I don't even know what it's for, honestly. We picked some up. I don't know what it does. Uh, probably not going to find anything in these, this material right here. So I'm not even going to bother branch out from it. All right. Now it's probably worth doing. I probably want to torch that up. Let's keep on coming into this here. Stone. Keep on branching out. I'm not finding a lot of efficiency here. I found gold. Didn't need to branch out to find it either. Okay, found a bunch of gold. Nice. Excellent. Okay, that'll be some more powered rails for us and also some iron. Excellent. I'll put that torch right there. Oh, nice. There's lots of iron down here. I do kind of... Uh, I want the redstone. That's, that's basically why I'm down here, though. So maybe this isn't amazing for us. I do also love how, like, deep down into the world, the... What is this? The iron and the gold does tend to spawn pretty close to each other. All right, we've got gravel next to us, I think. Yeah, that's definitely gravel, right? No, that's stone. Okay, not going to bother with it. Branching out. Nothing. Branching out. Nothing. Branching out. Nothing. Okay. Okay, mine all of this out next. I feel like I'm at a casino, honestly. Mind this one out. Nothing. Am I doing this right? Is this actually branch mining? Or are you supposed to kind of like mine further into the branches a little bit? Because if so, that's just strip mining. I'm not taking the copper. It's literally worthless to us. I see that the stone on the right of us is a different type of stone and thus nice. Okay, finally, found some redstone. Uh, we gotta use an iron pickaxe. Good. Perfect. This should be enough, actually. This should be enough already to kind of give us exactly what we want. If we get any more, then that's just profit. Oh, there is more. I love this. Nice. Okay, let's keep on doing this. And we should find exactly what we need. Okay, nothing. You're supposed to mine a bit further, but not super. Okay. We'll try that. Uh, like three? How does that sound? Is three okay? Nothing. Granite? No. Nothing. Yuck. Keep on mining into the main thoroughfare here. There's not like an item that'll ping you whenever you're close to an, a vein of ores, right? Wait, what the hell is that? Oh, it's nothing. It's literally nothing. Okay, so I'll go three in. Still nothing. Deep slate. Don't want it. More granite. That's great. Also don't want it. I'm going to take that stone, though, because we're probably going to need heaps of it for our new base. Three in there. Three in here. Nothing. One, two, three. One, two, three. Nothing. One, two, three. I get the logic, right? You're increasing the surfaces that you can see, but it's really not actually doing anything. Unless you're trying to game spawns. Like, get the, the spawns of the actual ore veins themselves. Put that there. Oh, piss off. Okay, block that off. And we're going down here next. Get the stone pickaxe. Keep on going this way. Granite! Wow, nice. Love granite. Granite and gravel. Oh, be still my beating heart. Okay, this isn't even stone. This is that other crap that we don't want. All right, that's one pick gone. I'll keep on going until I break this iron pickaxe right here, because we do have spears. Ah. What the hell is that? Oh, it's just the shader pack. Okay. All right, we're under a gigantic ravine. We got a little bit of redstone. We got 29 redstone, which is more than enough for our purposes. I'm going to go ahead and light this up in case I ever decide to come down here again. Which I probably won't. That's probably all that we need before we go ahead and set up our mine in the other base. That is literally all we got, by the way. All we got was 16 raw iron. Yuck! 
We got a bunch of stone, obviously. We got some flint, which is okay, I guess. We got seven raw gold. Yuck! <laughs> and that's it. That is literally all we earned in that entire mining session. My god. My actual god. Nothing useful. Okay. Here we are, back in the main thoroughfare. I think this is the path. Yeah, definitely. Here's that big wide-out area. All right. Maybe we should start mining into that. No, that's where the water is. That's why we turned. Okay. Okay, I think... I think I'm pretty happy with the redstone that we got, but I'm not particularly happy with how we got it, unfortunately. We wasted a iron pick and a half just for a few redstone, which is just a disgusting yield. And, I mean, we have what we need, but at the same time, we had nothing more either. Let's eat some bread. Instead of smacking it against the stone. Okay, it's nighttime as well. The chasm might be infested, which it's not. That's good to see. I do like when there's no infestations. Okay, we'll come up here. And we've got another staircase. Yep. That I've placed down, obviously. Oh! Yes! The sunrise! Look at this! Look at the sunrise! What the hell? Oh, come off it! An armored skeleton comes after me. I probably should have remembered. Ow, my face. Hello? I'm gonna die here. Okay, I'm dead. That's embarrassing. Uh, we're also at the other base and we have to go back on foot. That's quite annoying. I know what you're all saying, get a shield. Get a shield. We had one. We had one. We just didn't, uh, we didn't use it. And we lost it in the nether. Okay. We basically have to rush all the way back as fast as we possibly can as well, simply because the... I hear a skeleton dying in the distance. We don't want to lose any of that redstone. We spent a lot of iron getting that tiny little bit of redstone. And we don't really want it to despawn. So we're probably going to have to take the land approach this time. We're still going to go straight through this mountain peak right here, as is customary to do so. This is basically the landmark that I use to gauge where the villages are. What did I miss the other village? Like three times in a row past this place. Okay, good. Go all the way over here. Nice. Got a couple of sheep over here hiding from the sun. It's probably because they need shearing. Probably too hot. It was too hot earlier where I live today. It was like maybe 20 degrees this morning, which is weird because it's still technically winter. And uh, now it's like about to piss down with rain. Yuck. I don't like looking at that. Let's go around that. Oh, that's right. This place also has a gold block on it, doesn't it? So we can probably take that on our way back. Because we are going to need the gold for the powered rails. Was it this one? And it has to look. Yes! There it is. Okay, well... What the hell is that? Oh, that's lava! Gotcha, 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 gotcha. I thought that was more gold. We definitely have to distinguish between the two, I think. I wonder if there's a way of making, like, a salmon farm or something like that. I do kind of like the idea of just automating all of the resources in the game. A couple of turtles, that's fine. Uh, let's go over these hills and far away, because that is where we died yesterday. Hopefully it hasn't respawned yet. Despawned yet. I think because we just absolutely made a beeline for the village, we probably won't lose our things, right? We shouldn't lose our things. We're about to find out. And if we do lose our things, I'll be quite upset because <laughs> we have to go back to the other village to get another stone uh, iron pickaxe. Where the hell are we? This is weird. Do we pass it? I don't think we did. I think... This is where it's supposed to be. There it is. I see it on the horizon. Okay, got a free egg. Here you go, cow. I just hit him with an egg. <laughs> Why not? Why not throw eggs at the livestock? What are they going to do? Moo? Squirt me with milk? Nutritious, delicious milk? <laughs> oh, no, don't. 
All right, we've run out of, unfortunately, uh, health uh, hunger bars, so we can't sprint anymore. We closed a lot of ground in one single sprint, though. Okay, good. I realistically should have slept in that bed up in the tower that that villager was in before I took on that skeleton, but I'm pretty sure the sun had risen already, so it wouldn't have made much of a difference. Okay, we're back. We're back at first base. The tree farm there looks pretty good. We could probably take all of that wood as well. Okay, we... I don't know if we would have actually saved time by stopping at the last base, crafting some bread, and then eating it along the way. Because we did close a lot of ground. All right, let's see if all of our stuff is still there. Yes! Oh, thank the Lord. It's mine now! Okay, good. As long as I got that redstone, I don't really care about anything else. Okay, let's get the stuff in our pocket. We'll get these pants on us. They're getting, they're not really degrading very slowly, to be quite honest. Okay, he's doing something weird. I don't even want to know what he's doing. Let's get the bread on our hot bar. Where is our food? We had bread. We had a whole stack of bread. Where is it? I'm certain of it. What the hell? Oh no, did the villagers take it and recycle it? Oh, <laughs> that sucks so bad. I'm also going to go ahead and reflate our iron stockpiles because we don't have any. We realistically don't have a whole lot of iron. Let's drop assassinate this guy as much as we possibly can. Good. And boop. There we go. Crits. 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 These villagers are like, what the hell are you doing? And why? Please define what you are doing. Okay. Get rid of all of this. And now we will harvest our fresh crops of iron ingots. Nice. I like. I like this. One, two, three, and X time. Boop. 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 And boop. And boop. And one more, most likely. There we go. Done. So soon. This village is now defenseless, but we are slightly wealthier. Feels good. It feels good when we are slightly wealthier. We got 10 iron ingots out of that, out of that little excursion. That feels awesome. Okay, let's go back to the other village. Still a bit of a shame that we can't eat anything. I mean, actually, we could probably... We could eat this fresh produce that we planted the entire farm for. Okay. I'm just going to mash the button, break all of it. If there are beets, perfect. If there aren't beets, I don't care. Let's eat these. All right, good. That is half a... Half a hunger. Yuck! This stuff sucks! Ugh! Gross! I hate that! Okay, we're never going there again. That was a terrible idea. Beats are a bad, bad idea. We're never doing beats again. Okay. Maybe we'll take that gold block off of the nether portal. We'll go get the other one as well, just so that we know that we have it. And hopefully we won't die while we're holding it. Maybe we will fall into a chasm of some sort. Don't know where we'd find one of those. Okay, we'll come around here. And now I am going to pick off the gold at this portal. Unless those annoying ass piglins are still there. In which case, I'm probably not going to. No, I think the coast is clear. Is it still up there? Yes, it was. Oh, nice. I just unlocked a new recipe. It's gold. Cool. Thanks, game. Cool. Uh, let's throw down our acacia boat right down here, and then we'll sail over to the other portal, which should just be to our immediate left. Boop. Oh, God, the boats are so good in this game. I never utilized them to their truest potential. Like, ever. Wait, are we going the right way? Yeah, I'm certain we're going the right way. Is that that little island? I think it is. We definitely want to set up a base down underground uh, in the in the ocean as well, I think. That'd be sick. If we can find like a, um, what is it called? Ocean temple, I think they're called. I really like drying those out. So we'll definitely try that at some point as well. Also probably should do something with the planes right here as well. But I don't really think it's terribly necessary just yet. 
Okay, so if I remember right, the nether portal should be like right ahead of us here, but I don't quite see it. I'm still here. Hey there, Bruce. Finished every, finish a very basic thumbnail. I'll take a look at it. I'll take a look at it after the stream. Uh, well, I say after the stream, I also have to pick Yancy it up, which is why I'm going to be leaving the stream slightly earlier. But I should have time tonight. Spaghetti is my language. That's weird. My language is English. I don't speak spaghetti. I don't know many people who do. That's lava. That's gold. Okay, let's take this gold and not the lava. Done. Beautiful. Okay, come up here, and I'm pretty sure the village is just going to be on the other side of here, right? Why is everybody, uh, like, doing this whole spaghetti thing these days? It's so weird. Everybody has something weird to say about spaghetti. I just got a stack of netherite ingots in a public server. I don't know what those are. We're, I'm playing this essentially blind. That's the whole purpose of this playthrough. I don't know much about the game. Uh, I know enough to know that that is certain death, and I'm holding two gold blocks, so let's go around that. If we can. But yeah, uh, I used to play a lot of Minecraft back and, and before 2018. And since then, I've taken a bit of a break. That was a ballsy move right there. And now there's a bunch of new stuff that I've never seen before. And I also used to play in the Bedrock Edition, so I'm quite pleased that automation functions. Should I haven't played Minecraft? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay. Okay. Okay, so here's our village. I feel like maybe we should start dismantling, uh, dismantling a few houses and we should start building some of our own so that our villagers just kind of have a, a, a better layout of the land. That way we can just run an aqueduct through them. Might be a good idea. An aqueduct with the melon farm on it. Okay, good. Over here. And get out. Nice. Break our acacia boat because I can't make another one with anything. Ugh. I was just being concealed by a shadow. Let's go ahead and just use someone else's bed. I don't want to use a, a bed myself. What's in here? Cactus and a branch. This guy is poor as hell. My god, Pokemon would shame him on stream. Right, we did it. We did it. All right, now that we have all this gold and all of this redstone, we could probably actually start making ourselves some more of these powered rails so we can link up our base construction to our village right here. Might be a really good idea. I'm gonna go ahead and do some eating while I'm here because I don't have any of my bread anymore. Fortunately, we've got four cooked chickens in this chicken cooker right here. We need way more chickens, I think, to sustain us. Like, way, way more chickens. I'm not gonna waste it. I'm not gonna waste the chicken, though. Okay, so I'll come over to these here farms. I'm gonna start breaking them down. We'll feed the chickens the seeds, and we'll feed the sheep the wheat. Where's the rest of the wheat? Why are these guys growing beets? Beets are such an ass crop. Yuck. I don't even know why they bother, to be quite honest. Okay, now, we could also make lots of pumpkin pie. And the reason I say this is we've got lots of sugar cane over there. We already have lots of chickens in this here chicken cooker. Even though this cat is trying to eat them. Yes, I know you are trying to eat my chickens, you asshole. Perhaps you may like to piss off. Good sir. Let's see how we handle that. Okay, uh, we want to get all of these blocks off of our bar. Get that iron off of our bar. Can we feed them beetroot seeds? Yes! Gorgeous. Okay. One just got bread. Please, more? I'm trying to, like, snipe this one in the corner who just won't... won't get out. Please? We have really created something heinous. Okay. They're splitting. A little bit of mitosis there. Oh well, at least these two are buggering. Okay. Let's feed the wheat to our sheepy sheepies for the first time ever. I'm pretty sure this is the first time we have decided to breed sheep. There you go. Do a bugger. Good. They made love and they made a little lamb. Excellent. So... Okay. Now we probably want to... 
Start refining everything into the iron tracks, don't we? We do actually have quite a bit of iron ingots. We'll need a few powered rails, obviously. Dropper could be useless. Let's get lots and lots of sandstone together. We'll start actually making the aqueduct that I keep on talking about. And perhaps even we will start on the uh, tree farm as well. Where do we want to put this thing? I wanted to run it like in the middle of the village. Maybe we just want to make it along here. Okay, it has to be five by five. We are going to make it out of sandstone, obviously. Sand, 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 sand. Uh, let's get a stack of sandstone. Oh, that's smooth. The hell? <laughs> we don't have all of the sand we need. Oh, yeah, we do. There we go. Good. Uh, sand, 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 sand. And we'll put that sand right here for all of the sandstone. I, mm, I kind of want to... So I want to build it a little bit higher. I want to build it into fences, which would be kind of cool. And this aqueduct I'm going to make is going to have a hopper system that basically just pulls things from the water and then drops it into a chest. We could have it coming into this water right here. That'd be kind of cool. Okay, we'll frame this out a little bit. We'll frame it out. I'll kind of like try and run it along a couple of blocks away from the buildings, like along here maybe. This will be the first one. One here. And we'll make this kind of like a four by... No. A five by five structure, I think. Yes. Uh, let's go ahead and... One, two, three, and... Whoops. That's not where I wanted that. Let's just put it there. That's an axe. <laughs> it's trying, to, trying to pick out the, uh, the stone with an axe. What an idiot. Okay. I'm putting down foundations. One... Two, three, place there. Foundation goes there. And also, one, two, three, here. Put it there. Now we're going to need a few fences to kind of create a lift, I suppose. Aside from one of them, which we're going to stick a ladder on the side of so we can get to the maintenance for it. How high do we want it? Probably... Not too high. We don't want it to dwarf this gigantic tower. How high is that? One, two, three, four. Maybe four high? Probably not a bad idea. Okay, the rest of these have to be fences. And since we are going to be here crafting this for a wee while, we'll go ahead and make a crafting table. Uh, bust that out. Put that there. And let's go ahead and turn these into fences. Those are slabs. Those are fences. I want them to be smooth as well. How do we make smooth sandstone? We do have 64 smooth sandstone. Maybe we go out and we just mine some from under the desert, but again, like, still quite fiddly. I'll go ahead and just look it up. Smooth sandstone, because there's got to be a way to craft this a lot easier than how we would be doing it, which is literally just mining it. Uh, Minecraft, smooth sandstone. Let's see. Obtained by smelting sandstone. Perfect. That's exactly what we wanted. So we'll take this over to the smelter. And then we'll focus on the rails for a little bit. We're not going to worry too much about this until it's all smelted up. We probably do want a lot of the rough sandstone anyway, though, to smelt into the smooth sandstone. Okay, I'll put it in here. That's sand. Sandstone, right there. Done. So that should output into here. We've got a bunch of stone. We can put that literally anywhere else. In here, maybe? Excellent. What else we got? We got a block of gold we should probably be taking apart. We'll do it there, though. I think we have to do it in a crafting bench. Yep, we do. We'll put all of the uh, gold ingots in there. Now, we need power rails. We need a few of them, actually. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to see how hard they are to actually make. Where the hell are they? Right here, powered rail. So we need gold sticks and redstone dust. Okay, we'll take all of this gold. We got redstone dust and we also got sticks. Awesome. And here, powered rail, we'll make four lots, 24. That should be good enough. I'll get rid of that one dirt. Now we need lots and lots of the actual rails. How hard are they to make? I don't see them anywhere. Yeah, they are rails. They're really easy to make, actually. 
Good. One, two, three. Yeah, okay. We'll get 64 of it. We'll get a stack of it. And this should allow us to basically build out the rails to the village so that we don't need to walk all the way. Good. We also need a bunch of redstone torches, which is going to be absolutely fine because we've got more than enough redstone to accommodate. All right, good. Where is the rail? <laughs> I don't know where it came out. Kind of actually been that close. We did not get far at all. Oh my God. Wow. Okay, so if I put this here and then I get some redstone torches, not too many, maybe like 10 of them. 10 redstone torches. And then we just light this bad boy up like that. Get another one over here. And we put that there. Light that up. That should be absolutely fine, right? Uh, we probably actually need to stick more in. And we can save our own redstone torches just by taking these rails and then blasting them in a big line, right? There we go. Three, and they're all powered. And this one here can go, and also this one here can go. Boom and boom. And now we want to carry on with this in a straight line. Excuse me. Good. And now we want another three of these in a line. Put that there. Keep on placing these rails. There was a gap, unfortunately. We aren't getting very far with this, to be quite fair. We'll get this one lift, and then we'll get more powered rails. Good. And we'll put that there around the middle because it looks nice. This is probably overkill on the powered rails on the flatlands, but I don't really take chances. Okay, we got kind of far, but also not very at the same time. We'll get some powered rails, just to give us some momentum to blast off into outer space anyway. Okay, we probably want to go up back to base now. Have we resty, resty? So I'll come over here. We don't have our minecart. We do still have a few more rails that we can place down. Place these down. We'll go back to the village. We'll get our minecart. And then probably going to be going back up top side to the main base that we are going to be building out. I think. Or we could probably actually sort out the, the, the tree growing area first. Because we don't have a great tree growing area. Alright, good. Get all of that out of the way. Chicken cooker is still going strong. We've got 16 feathers, which is pretty good. Uh, we still have some smooth sandstone right here. Done. And we want to go ahead and do a sleep. I feel like I'm spreading myself across many, many projects. I don't know if it's any good for us. Hello there, sir. Get out of my bed. Oh, well. Okay, let's go ahead and grab the stone that we have cooked. We'll turn these into fences, I think. No, those are slabs. Like that? No. How do I make these fences again? Uh, we definitely need to sleep, though. Let's go in here. We'll get into the bed, and we should be golden. Done. Respawn point set. That's not good. Okay, this guy, uh, I think he just tried to assault me again. What a weird man. What a weird, weird man. So we want ourselves some walls, don't we? Stone walls? Fence? What the hell? Okay. What is this thing called? Ah, we can't do it here. We need to do it in the crafting bench. And I'm pretty sure they are called walls. Yep, here they are. So sandstone walls. Oh, we can't do it with the smooth sandstone. Right! That's an annoyance and a half. Okay, we'll make the actual uh, platform out of the smooth sandstone then. We'll take that out. We'll kind of get all of that out of there as well. We'll see if we've got any more of the sandstone in this chest. A little bit. Okay, we want to turn this into fences right here. Somewhere I'll find the fences. Wall. That's right. We need to use this wall. I think I accidentally just clicked the wrong thing. Okay, so we've got 60 of these here walls, which we are going to use to create the framework for the aqueduct. It's going to be about, around about four high, maybe? Maybe five high? I thought that that was actually that tower. My mistake. Okay. 
We'll place that there, and these should realistically just be smooth sandstone, because they look better, I think. Mine all of these out. The foundations can be the rough stuff. I don't mind too much. Two, three, four. I wanted this five high initially, didn't I? We'll make it an equal height to this. I think that's probably going to be a good idea. Okay. We'll move these along here. Good. We'll get some scaffolding to finish off the, um, the pillars, I think. Okay, I'm going to drop off here, despite the obvious safety risks. I'm also going to move these foundations here as well. I think, yeah. I'll make them further back so we have a bit better of a gap. I think would be a really good idea. Okay. We're probably going to drown before that one mines. Never mind. So we probably want to make them like seven wide, right? With a gap of seven. So we'll get these powered rails off of our hotbar. We'll get these sandstones down here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Right here. Good. And that means we'll also need to put it over in line with this, which is just over here. Is that good? Looks good. I don't like how that looks. Oh, we're going to put some steps up there. We're going to decorate the place. We're going to make it look really, really nice. Okay, uh, sandstone walls up all the way, if we can. Probably need to get some ladders or maybe some scaffolding. Probably ladders, actually. Ladders makes the most sense. Uh, this is ladders, right? Yep, three. Really? That's pretty stingy. Okay. I got six ladders. That's probably enough. That's exactly enough. Alright, great. And here we are. We'll continue on with this. Don't worry, we are going to frame out the aqueduct a lot better than this. I want it three wide, essentially so that I could basically just create a nice little, little funnel. We're going to have pumpkins on one side, melon on the other, and we are going to hide them. Actually, no, that won't work, will it? Because we'll need somewhere to put down the saplings, and then we'll need another block for it to grow onto. And we can kind of game that by putting two saplings next to each, next to each other and only two other places for them to go. So that'll be pretty easy to game, but what won't be easy to game is the... Mm, the redstone required to kind of run this. Maybe we do need it wider. Maybe we need this way wider. So we'll need piston, saplings, and the melons can go on the same route, and then we'll need water. So that's five. Okay, we can actually do this. We'll keep the pillars where they are. We'll decorate them a little bit, and I think we'll just keep on expanding this out sideways like that. Okay, smooth sandstone. A little bit more of this, please. Good. I'll put all of this down here. And put all of this here. It's just the framework we're putting down right now. One, two, three, four, five. Good. One, two, three, four. Awesome. So we've given ourselves a little bit of an engineer's entrance. And I think we should be absolutely fine to just continue this along the whole way. All right, good. Those fences we are going to use to support the aqueducts. And um, we'll put all of this up here. We'll try and close in this gap. Because this is going to be where everything starts. I don't know if we've got enough of the stone. We probably do, actually. Yeah, we definitely have enough. Okay, I'll keep on building out this way. I know it's kind of hard to see the edges against the sand, but... We should be fine anyway. We can still kind of, like, set up the farm... The, the start of the farm up here regardless. Okay. So now that we got up here, we essentially want dirt. How wide is this? One, two, three, four, five, six. We've miscounted. Oh yeah, we've moved out one that way. And this way we need to go out one more. Okay. Well, what better an opportunity to go farm up a bunch of sand, huh? Let's go and do that now. We'll try and get up as much sand as we can possibly muster. We'll do some terraforming. We'll get some sand. We'll set it down into smooth sandstone blocks. And then we'll finish off that aqueduct. I know it looks like ass right now, but it won't look like ass forever. We want sticks and cobble so that we can make some shovels. 
And then we'll just continue onwards. Sand in there too. Great. I'll take that. Smooth sandstone. Yes, please. I'm seeing a lot of... There's the cobble. There's some cobble right there. Got him. And we also want some sticks as well, if we could afford them. I'll just turn these oak planks as sticks. I don't mind too much. Okay, planks. Boop, 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 boop. Done. And we have 25 sticks. Good. So we'll make like, I don't know, four shovels. And then we'll deplete our resources as best as we can. Cobblestone. One, two, three, four. Done. Okay, we've got a bunch of shovels. That'll give us 400 sand. I'm pretty sure we can get like 100 blocks out of a, a single stone shovel. So we'll get 400 of those. I, again, don't really want to waste a lot of resources on the... What are they called? The, the guys. We probably also want to move this over a little bit more as well. Like if we move this over one more block, it'll look significantly better. Or even two blocks. Okay, I'm going to do that. What is that? Yep, that's exactly what we want. Let's get rid of this. Bump those out of the way. I'm also going to take that because they're kind of valuable at this point. Let's go ahead and put some sandstone walls there to keystone it. And... This might, this might be a little bit annoying. Okay. And this line right here, right next to that. Right here. And let's go ahead and stick that there. We want to mine this one out now, since we have kind of like decided on moving the entire structure. It's better to do earlier than later, though. That's the thing. It's really, really good to kind of like plan this in advance. We may dry on before we get this sandstone block right here. I'm still going to do it. Like, you can't really stop me from doing that. Good. Okay, so that one should have a little sandstone wall to keystone it. Good. And we've got some more sandstone floating hilariously over there. Okay. How wide is this? This is probably actually wide enough. I like this. Okay, we'll keep the width and we'll decorate it with a bunch of stairs after we actually come into uh, the wealth of owning the stairs that we can decorate it with. Okay, it's definitely five high. Excellent. And the vision that I have is to stick these all around here, all the way along. Put one in each one of these corners, and thus we have some sort of aqueduct. Maybe we could make these foundations out of something that looks a little bit sturdier. Yeah, that's probably actually a good idea. All right. So let's go ahead and start getting some of the sand over here because we don't really want all of these piles of sand. We'll just go ahead and we'll terraform a little bit. Good. And hopefully there's no cavern beneath us where the sand will fall out beneath us and we will die in some weird kind of Indiana Jones style trap. I mean, it could still happen. It could still happen. We, yeah, and the presence of Indiana Jones has never really been confirmed in Minecraft, nor has it been denied. Mainly because no one's ever asked the question, but, you know, I know better. I know better than to ask. Never ask Microsoft an obvious question. All right, good. Keep on shaving off. There is literally a lava pool right there. How bougie. You probably use it as a source of fuel, but we have so many trees now that we could probably just get away with just using the charcoal instead of the lava. Even though it, like, smelts 500 things. And unlike the bedrock edition, it doesn't waste the heat. It's quite nice as well. Getting all of this. Excellent. I'm flattening out the landscape. Because we probably want to build more village over here than we think. Even though it's right next to this lava pit right here. Okay. So we'll shave into here next. Excellent. Get all of the sand that we're going to turn into these giant sandstone blocks. I mean, we could just go down south side and get some, but... That not only takes time and effort, it's tricky to tell the sand and the sandstone apart. Okay, it's getting kind of dark, so we should probably just go to some form of bed. We could probably just filch one of these houses right here. Boing. We'll go around here. Probably make a nice bridge around here as well. Okay, I'll go into this little area with this bed, and we will sleep in it. Very nice. Very nice indeed. Okay, now that we have done that, I am going to go back and shave off some sand. We'll get lots and lots of sand, I think. Is that actually a cavern? Seriously? 
What is up with this game's cavern generation system? It is so weird. Okay, good. I think sand is my favorite building material, honestly. I know it's everywhere, but no one ever uses it. No one ever actually uses sand as a nice construction material. I always do. Other than glass. Other than glass. People use it for glass, I suppose. All right. We'll keep on coming through here. We'll shave off through here. Nice. I wonder how I keep ending up with these dead bushes in my inventory as well. They're all over the sand here, and every time we break them, they turn into sticks. They never turn into dead bushes. It's just weird. Okay, good. Shave off all of this stuff that we've just kind of, like, committed to shaving. Excellent. Try and break as many shovels as we can. Nice. Get all of this terraformed. I feel like we're starting to get down to sandstone block territory, which is uh, even better. It means we can skip having to get four sand. Okay, good. That's another shovel down. Good. Excellent. Yeah, we can get like a stack and a half out of one single shovel, which is pretty good. Uh, what don't we want? We've probably got something in our inventory we don't want. This poppy can go uh, into the bin right there. Excellent. And we'll mine all of this stuff out here. Nice. This is therapeutic. This is super therapeutic. I like, I know the meme of repetitive actions, meaning you have autism, but there is a certain satisfaction in having a direct impact on a world, right? Because life is just so ephemeral these days. You don't necessarily have the opportunity anymore, even when you're doing a paid job, you don't really have the opportunity to physically affect something in this world. That's one thing I really missed about being a builder, was actually building houses. But it seems as though now, there's no incentive to actually remain offline, to do a physical job or anything like that. And I've noticed a lot of people are leaving trades these days, simply because there are easier jobs on the internet that they could just do. Like, obviously, there's some builders who do kind of or are always going to love their jobs and thus will always have that job. But at the same time, there's very little opportunity in life to actually get this kind of effect on a world. Like, if we kind of step back and take a look at this village and think, oh, we've been here for 10 hours and already this place looks like, looks like a, a very, very bougie villa. It's a nice village. It is actually a nice village now. We kind of like reinforce all the foundations. It didn't even take that long. And now we're building a literal aqueduct through what I assume to be the center of it, where we are basically going to be setting up an automatic melon farm. A permanent automatic melon farm. Now, what I don't know is whether or not melons like grow on soil or not. So that's going to be something I have to figure out myself. But I'm pretty sure that we could pretty easily figure it out just by having one melon seed um, only able to be placed on one specific patch of land. Okay, good. Got a lot of sand from there. Still got the shovel. Let's keep on shaving off. Keep shaving until we get this shovel busted. And then we'll probably have enough of these resources to finish off some element of aqueduct so that we can come back to it in the next session and think, hey, that's exactly what I was doing. So I do, I do still have the memory issues. They creep up every now and then. That's a little bit of a shame, but it still happens. Okay, get all of this mined out and we should be good. Nice, excellent. We broke it exactly when I thought we would as well. Take these two blocks here. And now we're off. There is one downside to this BSL shader, unfortunately, and that's that you can't really see anything in the sand which is not the case in the base game of minecraft maybe we want to use the other shader for a bit oh yeah we're definitely going to want to reinforce these here foundations with something a little less crap okay so go ahead and turn this into smooth sandstone like so done another one maybe yep like so okay we've got a lot of resources now we could probably use them. Let's go ahead and place some of these fences. As we move these, I don't think we'll move those ones. How wide is this? One, okay, wall, one, two, three. So there'll be pistons, seeds and melons, water. Seeds and melons, pistons, and we need to go out one more. Perfect, we have laid this out like pros. Okay. Put all of this along here so we can 
stick the foundations in there. Excellent. Okay, this might be a little bit trickier than I thought, because I can't reach. We'll go up top. We'll go on top of it. Actually, we'll put the sandstone wall down here first. Good. Done. These are our foundations. Come up here. And I know, again, we can't see anything, but that's just the shader pack. We can always change it. Boop. There we go. Good. Now that we have this, we kind of have this, this aqueduct that we can always take from here. And then we can just have it going down here in a big long line. So we're always going to be farming melons. I think that's good. I think that's probably a really, really good thing. Okay, so go ahead and I'll place the rest of these blocks here. I know it looks ugly initially, but it will have purpose eventually. Good, that's all of our smooth sandstone. So now that we've done that, we've got this normal sandstone here. Ow, my ankles. We could probably do with going another seven wide, right? Because I'm pretty sure that's how wide we were making these spacings. Uh, keystone, one, two, three, four, five, six, and then foundations. Gotcha. One, two, three, four, five, six, foundation. Right here, and I'll also put a wall on it so we know. Now we can just square these off here. Right here. Good. Put that there, put that there. And these are going to make the foundations of the aqueduct. Now we'll build it up at the walls. We'll definitely build it up at the walls. I'm actually kind of tempted to just to make this whole lower platform out of the the sands, the the rough sandstone, because it's very very accessible. I think we'll actually do that. I will definitely do that. We'll mine all of this out, even though we placed it, and then we'll get ourselves the rough sandstone. We'll put the rough sandstone up here as a floor, and then we'll use the smooth sandstone as kind of like the edging. I would say. All right, good. Here and here, here, there, and here, and here, and here. And here, and here, and here, and here. I also think I'm going to utilize that building that I've just built next to. We're probably going to build a staircase that leads up to here so that we don't need to uh, kind of rely on that ladder. Okay, let's start replacing this. One, two there. Put another couple here and here. Nice. Put one there, put one there, put one there, put one there, put one here, put one there. Excellent. Build out this floor. So I feel like if it looks a bit more rough, it'll just, it'll just feel better. From an aesthetic point of view. Okay, good. And we'll mine all of this out. Maybe we want to make it out of stone. I don't know, I haven't decided. We're just getting the rough shape at this point right now. Maybe we want to do something completely different. I haven't decided. Whoops. Ah, oh, well, it's supposed to be walled off anyway, so. Good, and we'll put all of these here down. Nice. Put that there, and that there, and that there. Nice! Okay, so... Half of this is rough, half of this is not. We'll keep on going with this. Mind that up, 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 mind that up. Stop that one from being there. Okay, we'll mine all of this out. I just haven't decided whether or not we'll... Okay, that's our pickaxe gone. I've decided we'll, what material we're going to make this out of, necessarily. Okay, we've made an absolute mess. Let's go ahead and pick up all of these resources that we've just dumped into the ocean. And... Excellent. We'll get all of that out of the way. Now, I do actually have to go. So, I'm going to shoot off. I'm going to pick you and set up. I will be back tomorrow for whatever the game is that we all voted for. How does that sound? Does that sound good? I'm pretty sure that sounds awesome. So, everybody, thank you so much for watching. Right up here, you're going to find the playlist for Minecraft Vanilla that I have made. And right up here, you're going to find another playlist that I think you would really, really enjoy. And, of course, down in the description of this video, you're going to find a link to my Discord, where you can talk to me and my community personally. And of course, until I make the next episode, or you catch the next stream, thank you so much for watching. I will see you later. Goodbye!